Jeffy. Daddy, I just made this new song. It's so fire, you have to hear it. No, I have a headache. Well, too bad, Daddy. I'm gonna play it for you anyway. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Right here. Jeffy, turn it off. Daddy, I'm gonna sing for you. I poop my pants. I didn't wipe. It's running up my back right now. It's starting to itch. Jeffy, turn it off. It's on my fingers. Jeffy, turn it off. It smells real bad. Jeffy. The piano so loud. Daddy, check out this D major. <laughs> Jeffy, stop being annoyed. Mario, use his toy. Go get it for me. <laughs> Jeffy, here's your toy. Go, go get it. All right, guys, welcome back to Junior's Toy Reviews. I'm gonna show you off my Thomas the Tank Engine collection. Here's my regular Thomas. Here's my little baby mini Thomas. Here's my fat, chunky boy Thomas. And here's my limited edition, never before opened, solid gold PSA 10 gold Thomas. <laughs> Jeffy, you just ruined my video. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior, what are you doing? I'm trying to become YouTube famous like Ryan's Toy Reviews so I can make millions of dollars and get a gold play button. A gold play button? What's that? Well, when you hit a million subscribers on YouTube, they send you a solid gold play button with your name on it. Oh, I want a solid gold play button, Junior. You want to help me make YouTube videos? Heck yeah. All right, so I was thinking that we could prank Chef Pee, Pee but I didn't have anyone to hold the camera. Okay, and we can throw hammers at him or something. Yeah, we can prank him with like a fake snake or something. Oh, that would be so Pee, -pee Junior. Yeah, look, 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 let's go prank Chef Pee, -Pee. All right, let's go. All right, Jeffy, we're going to prank Chef Pee, -Pee with this fake snake. Look. It's so real. Oh, that's so sick, Junior. We're gonna get all the views. Yeah, he's really gonna believe it. What? No. Pumpkin, get away from it, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's a bad Pumpkin. Pumpkin, get away from bad it. Bad Pumpkin. But look, Pumpkin believes it's real, so Chef Pee's gonna think it's real too, okay? All right, Junior, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy, unleash the snake. All right, Junior, pull me on and get my pants. No, the snake. Oh, you're talking about a thing that's bigger than two inches. I got it right here. <laughs> No, 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 can't touch this dude. Jerry, what's going on? Pranked. What, prank? Uh, you trying to throw a hammer? Are you killing me? That's not a prank. Pranked. You know what, I'm going to tell you that. It's just a prank, Chef Pee, -Pee. calm down. We're going to get so many views for Chef Pee, -Pee freaking out. Hey, we sure are, dude. Let's uh, go upload it to YouTube. Let's go upload it. Mm -mm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy, I uploaded our video, and I titled it Chef Pee Pee Prank Hilarious So Funny Ha Ha Gone Wrong With Hammer. Oh, sweet, Junior. How many views we got? We got a rockin' five views. Okay, well, how many until we get our gold play button? Well, we need a million subscribers, and if we assume that the five people that watch it subscribe, we still need a bunch of subscribers. Like, we're not even close. Oh, dang it, Junior. I want my gold play button now. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting, too. I wish I had a gold play button, like, right now, but I think it's gonna take us a couple years. Well, what about this Super Mario Logan guy? He's got 38 M views. Wait, that means million. Wait, he has to have a gold play button. <gasps> Wait, what if we break into his house and we try to steal his gold play button? Oh, I think we should totally do that, Junior. Let's Google his address. Yeah, let's Google his address and see if it pops up. All right. Jeffy, look! His address is online! PP! Junior, we should totally go there and steal his gold play button. I mean, his address is online, so he's basically begging us to come steal his gold play button. Right! Right! Like, like we should show up at nighttime and say we're fans, because because he's going to think we're fans, and we're going to ask to take a picture of his gold play button, and when he's not looking, we're going to snatch it. Yeah, Junior, let's go! Let's go to his house right now! Yeah, let's go right now! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's his house. And he's got the Lambo sitting out front. I call dibs. We're not stealing the Lambo. Oh, come on, Junior, please. Okay, fine. If we see the key sitting around, we'll steal the Lambo. Yes. All right, so we're going to knock on the door, pretend we're fans, and when he lets us in, we're going to steal the gold play button. Um, Junior, I think we should take these ski masks off or else he's going to think that we're going to rob the place. Well, well, we don't want him to see our identity because if he sees us while we steal, he's going to call the cops on us and know who we are. Yeah, but if he sees us in masks, he already might call the police. So I think we should take them off. Okay, how about you take the mask off and pretend to be a fan and when you get in the house, you open up a window so I can sneak in with a mask on and take the gold play button and he'll never know that I was snuck inside the house because you opened up a window. Oh, good idea, Junior. Let's do that. All right, you go to the door. I'll go to the back. All right. I'm at his house, 11 o'clock at night. Nothing weird about this. I'm just going to ring his doorbell and maybe he'll give me a house tour. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. Well, who's at the door? Bro, I don't know. This is your house, and we almost had that scene. 11 o'clock at night. Uh, exactly. It's 11 o'clock at night. The fans cannot show up at night. It's your house, though. You need to tell them to go. I swear if it's fans, I'm, I'm going to scream. Uh, hello? Ah! 
Are you Super Mario Logan? Yeah. The creator of Jeffy? Yeah. Where's the Jeffy puppet? Um, Lance has it. Can I hold it? Well, Lance isn't here right now. Well, I saw his truck out front. Okay, well, he's upstairs, but we're not using Jeffy today. Okay, where's Junior? I mean, I'm using him for a scene. We're trying can to I hold Junior? Well, we're trying to get a scene right now. Well, I can be in the scene. I'm the best to set the scenes. I'll get it one take. Well, I mean... Uh, It'll be a one take Timmy. Okay, well, we're trying to get... Can I get a house tour? I mean, we're not letting fans... Can I live here? Well, we're not letting fans inside the house because of the cough cough. Well, I've already had it, so we're good. So, can I, can I live here? Well, where's your parents? Oh, they're in the car. We drove all the way from Alaska nonstop to be here. Wow, this is Alaska. all I wanted for my birthday. I just wanted to come see you, and now I'm here and standing in front of you. I can see you with my eyes. I can see them. Yeah, okay, well, Alaska's a very far away. Yeah, it was. It was a, the tires never stopped moving. Okay. Like, nonstop. We didn't even sleep. What? Two days. Two days we drove here to see you for my birthday, and now I'm not leaving until I get to hold the Jeffy puppet. Can I have some merch? I mean, we have merch. I can give you some merch. Okay, okay. Can I get a PlayStation 5 well, that's and an merch. Xbox X that's and an merch. Xbox S? I mean, that's not... Where's Precious? She's in my room. Can I see Precious? Can I hold Precious? Can I have Precious? Well, she's under the bed. What about Pumpkin? Where's Pumpkin? I mean, he's in the house. Can I have him? No. Why? Because he's my cat. Why? Because I want... Look, look, look how about... Hold on, hold on. Can I eat dinner here? No, I, no. Hold on. One more thing. Can we FaceTime my brother's sister's best friend's husband's cousin's sister? I know he'll answer. And if not, we'll just try it 20 more times because you have time. Well, I don't. I, look, we have to really get this scene. I'm, I'm, I'm Okay, I'll watch. Well, no, we just. Look, okay, how about this? Thanks for being a fan. Okay, hold on, hold on. One more thing before I go. Can I have a picture with the gold play button? Oh, yes, that's something I actually can do. Okay, so, all right, let's do it. You get a picture with that, uh -huh. and then you gotta go, okay? And then I can drive the Lambo. No, no, you're not old enough. How old are you? 17. Uh, look, okay, listen, look, let's just go get a picture with the gold play button, and then we'll think about it. All right. All right, here's the gold play button. When's the HTML movie coming out? I mean, we're still working on it. Take your picture with the gold play button. I'll have a phone. Well, how are you supposed to take a picture? It's hot in here. Can I open up a window? No. I'm gonna open up a window. It's hot in here. Don't. <sighs> What, well, Jeffy, you made it inside? How is it? Oh, it's really cool, Junior. He let me see the gold play button. Is it golden? Oh, yeah. It's super gold, Junior. And I think my chances of driving the Lambo are pretty good. Really? Yeah, and he's really, really nice. So he might even let me have the Lamborghini. That's so cool. Okay, let's grab the gold play button. All right, this is a good idea, Junior. <sighs> was it a fan? Yeah, now he's inside the house. He won't leave. Wait, wait what? You let him in? Come on, Logan. Why? We, we filming right now. I know, but he wanted a picture with the gold play button, and now he won't leave. He's opened up windows. <sighs> Did he fart? No, he's opened up windows. I don't know why he's opened up a window, but Lavelle, can you help me get him out? I guess. Look, you gotta learn to be me, Logan. Dang. <sighs> yeah, this is why you don't let people in your house at 11 o'clock at night. Here it is, Junior. Whoa, it's so golden! Oh, yeah, I've already seen it, though. This is, like, my second time seeing it. Okay, help me get it off the wall. All right. <laughs> what? It's, like, stuck on the wall. Yeah, Junior, how are we gonna get it off the wall? Okay, well, we only want the gold part, so let's find a hammer, shatter this glass, and steal the gold part. Oh, good thinking, Junior. All right, you stall, I find a hammer. All right, Junior. All right, here's Lavelle. You're the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Mm -hmm. You're the voice of Joseph. Yep. You're the voice of Toad. Exactly. You're Charlie, dude, Charlie. Uh, uh Charlie? Uh, okay. Hi, guys, I'm Charlie. <laughs> uh, so what What you want? You want a picture or something? No, I don't have a phone. You're Chef Pee Pee, do the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Uh, so what do you want me to say? Anything. Uh, Junior, get out of this kitchen. <laughs> Where's Lance? Um, you know what, Lance, come Lance, here, someone want to see you. Lance, 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 where are you at? Hey, Lance, there's a fan here. Can you please talk to him so he'll leave? Okay, yeah. Ah, you're the voice of Jeffy. You're Lance, that's you. Yep. Um, can you say something in your Jeffy voice? Well, what do you want me to say? Say, hey, Jeffy, what doing? All right. Hey, Jeffy, what doing? <laughs> that's so cool. I'm going to go upstairs and see if there's some stuff I can take. Um, Logan? What? He said he's gonna go upstairs and take some stuff, so. Oh, you were supposed to help me get him out! But you let him in your house! Oh my god, I'm sitting on the red couch! Can I have it? No. This is the red couch that you film on! I know. I, I, can I have Junior? No. Why? Because I need him. Well, can I have Joseph? No. Can I have Cody? No. Why? Because I only have one of them. Well, can I live here? What? No, I gotta get back to filming. Well, I drove all the way from Alaska. I wanna live here. Well, you can't live here. Just look, can you please leave? No, I can't leave because my parents dropped me off. I told him to come back in a couple hours, so I'm what? stuck here. Well, I need, to, I need to get back to filming, so can you just, I'll call you an Uber. No, I don't want an Uber. I want to live here. I want to be in the film. Can I be in the film? No, I, I gotta finish filming. Look, please just leave. No, I want to see you on the red couch watch you film. Leave! Oh, wow. You're mean. You're the meanest YouTuber I've ever seen. Ever. Wow. Never meet your idols. I'm glad you got demonetized. Rude. All right, I'm about to steal that gold. Wait, what? Hey, Logan! 
There's a kid in the ski mask trying to steal your play button. I gotta hurry up and bring it. Hey! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Ah, Jimmy, we're caught! Run! Yeah, you're caught! Run, Jimmy, run! Oh my god, that was the weirdest fan ever. Ah, oh, the weirdest, dude. The weirdest. <sighs> Well, that sucks. We didn't get the gold play button. Yeah, Junior, and they were super mean. Yeah, they were the meanest YouTubers ever. I can't wait to tell everyone that the Super Mario Logan is the meanest YouTuber in the world. He didn't give us any merch. Yeah, but we did get one thing, Junior. What? what? Is that the Lambo key? It's the Lambo key. Shotgun! <laughs> All right, let's try to get this scene. What's that noise? I'll go check. Uh, Logan? They took your Lambo. What? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's Puppet Logan. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I just want to let you guys know that we're having a contest on SMAmerch.com where every $10 you spend on the website, you'll be entered into a contest where you'll have a chance where we'll make a puppet that looks just like you. We'll use it in an SML video and it'll be named after you. So this contest will go on until November 22nd. We'll announce the win on November 23rd. So every $10 you spend, you'll get more chances added onto the contest where you can win a puppet that looks just like you, made to look just like you, and we'll use it in an SML video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Go on SMLmerch.com. But I just want to you guys that you're amazing you're the best fans in the world and without you we would never be able to do something like this so you guys are awesome we love you and we're gonna continue to make videos just for you guys all right guys are you ready to eat our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches dude you know i love my pb and j's jesus joseph leave some peanut butter and jelly for the rest of the world no it's all for me nom, 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 nom. <laughs> The only thing I like about PB and J is the BJ part. What, the butter and jelly? Uh, you missed the point of the joke, but sure. All right, look, let's just eat our peanut butter and jellies. Joseph looks like he's almost done on it. It's mine! It's done! Okay. Yeah. I don't know what part of mine I should eat. Just eat the whole sandwich, dude! God! Well, guys, this tastes kind of weird. Well, what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't really feel good. Yeah, yeah, my throat's closing up. <laughs> guys, I can't breathe! You should have gotten vaccinated. I did! There's nothing wrong with this sandwich! There's nothing wrong with the sandwich! It's just peanut butter and jelly, Cody. Stop acting ridiculous. Hey guys, help me! <sighs> Cody, how's your sandwich? I mean, Joseph, how's your sandwich? Oh, it's delicious! Oh, can I get another one, dude? Yeah, let's go make another one. Hey guys, help! Holy shit, dude! Well, Cody, why do you look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? There's something's wrong, I can't breathe! <laughs> oh, dude, uh, we should call a doctor or something! Or we should call Santa, because he's missing one of his reindeer. <laughs> Hilarious. Cody, stop acting ridiculous. <laughs> Look, we're going upstairs. Come on. Come on, Rudolph. All right, Cody, just lay right here and watch TV until you feel better. I need a doctor, please. A Dr. Pepper? No. Joseph, get him a Dr. Pepper. All right, I'm on it, dude. <laughs> I got you a Dr. Pepper. You need to cut the dark sodas out. It's not good for you. No, I need a Dr. Seuss. A Dr. Seuss I... book? No. Joseph, get him a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, Dr. Seuss. Oh, yeah, Dr. Seuss is good for you. I got the cat in the hat. It's my fave. Uh, no, I need a doctor to make me feel better. Dr. Phil? Uh, Dr. Phil? Go print out a picture of Dr. Phil. All right, I'm on it, dude. Why would All right, you the doctor's right here. Here's Dr. Phil. No, I need a medical doctor. Dr. Phil is a medical doctor. Joseph, Google his degree. All right, dude, I'm on it. All right, it says right here he went to Midwestern State University in 1975. What? Then he went to University of North Texas in 1979. I don't care. Then he went to the University of Tulsa. But it doesn't say when, but he went. Yeah, so Dr. Phil is a medical doctor, so say sorry to him. Uh, no, call me a doctor. Call you a doctor? If you don't consider Dr. Phil a doctor, why would we call you a doctor? I would not get a checkup by you, dude. Uh, call a doctor on the phone. Oh, he needs us to call him a doctor. He could have just said that. Yeah, yeah, hold on, let me go, go call him. Hey there, somebody call Call a doctor? Ew, is that Dr. Phil? Get him out of here. I refuse to work in front of Dr. Phil. He reminds me of my creepy uncle and I don't like him. Okay. Wait, is that a Dr. Pepper? Get that out of here too. Dr. Pepper gives doctors a bad name. Yeah, get a Mr. Pibb instead. He knows his place. Wait, is that the cat in the hat? I hate cats, especially when they wear hats. It's unnatural. Get that out of here. <sighs> All right, what's up? Well, my friend was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then he started acting like a drama queen. Oh, no. It looks like he's having some kind of allergic reaction. A whaty what what? An allergic reaction? I think he was probably allergic to the peanut butter. You can be allergic to peanut butter? Yeah, he probably just has a nut allergy. Look, you just stab him with this EpiPen. That'll cure him right up. Yeah! <sighs> oh, thank God. Doctor, what happened? Well, I think you're probably just allergic to nuts. What? Allergic to nuts? No, I can't be allergic to nuts. I love nuts. I love nuts in my mouth. I love all kinds of nuts. I love big nuts, small nuts, round nuts, crunchy nuts, these nuts. Got him! Well, even, he, even his last name has nuts. His last name is Nut Kiss. Yeah, and he likes dudes. It's impossible for him to stay away from nuts. I'm sorry, kid. You're just gonna have to stay away from nuts from now on if you don't want to die. <sighs> stay away from nuts? No! Yeah!
<laughs> He's so ugly when he cries. He's hideous, dude. <laughs> it's not that serious, Cody. Yes, it is, Junior. I'm allergic to nuts. That's my whole thing. I love nuts. Everybody knows how much I love nuts. God, we get it. You're so gay. Shut up. Oh. Yeah, Cody, you can just like something else now. What, my girls? Ew. I'll just lay here and be sad forever. Well, I'm hungry, dude. I'm eating some M&M's. Oh, can I have an M&M? Oh, sure, buddy. Hey, Cody, do you want m m What kind are they? Uh, it's chocolate, dude. Okay. Ah, here you go, buddy. <coughs> Wait, what kind of M&M's are these? Uh, it's chocolate, but it says peanut on the bag? <coughs> ah! He can't have nuts. Oh, I forgot. Oh, uh, Cody, what do you need? The pen. He needs a pen. Oh, I can, I can get a pen, dude. He wants to write down what's wrong. Okay, uh, here you go, buddy. Here's a pen. Not that pen. He doesn't want that pen. Why, because it's brown, huh? You wanted to drink from a separate water fountain, huh? No, no, happy pen. A uh, safety pin. Oh, safety pin. He needs a safety pin. You said that, dude. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Here's the safety pin, buddy. No, the pen, you imbecile. Uh, a pen, a pen, a pencil. A pencil, a pencil. Oh, a pencil. It was a pencil. A pencil. Here you go, buddy. And it's sharpened. Uh, no, no. Uh, the pen, the pen. Oh, he needs this pen. Oh, he could have said that. Oh, the really? pen that'll save his life. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. I got it. <laughs> You guys could have killed me with those peanuts. Dude, I didn't know there was peanuts in there. I was just trying to give you a snack. It says peanuts right there in the wrapper. You're going to have to start reading off the wrappers from now on. Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Tupac. What are you doing? You said I need to start reading off the wrappers. But no, the candy wrappers. Well, then say candy wrappers next time. <sighs> Do you guys have any candy I can have that isn't full of peanuts? Uh, yeah, I got a candy bar right here. Are there peanuts in it? No, it says Hershey on the wrapper, dude. Okay, I'll have a piece of that then. Okay, buddy. Here you go. Thanks. <coughs> How is this possible? Are there peanuts in that? Um, uh, Cody does not say there's peanuts in it. Uh, read the wrapper. Uh, Tupac, Eminem. No, it's a candy wrapper. Oh, uh, it says, uh, it says Hershey's milk chocolate with whole almonds, but it does not say peanuts. <coughs> whoa, 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 what's wrong with you? Uh, almonds are nuts. All men are nuts. I thought you liked guys. No. Well, you don't like guys? About time. He likes girls now. <laughs> no, I'm allergic. Yeah, you're allergic to nuts, but there's no nuts in this. There's just almonds. You idiot. The pet, do the pet again. I can't use that pen unless you're having an allergic reaction. I am. On what? There's no nuts in here. Do the pen. Okay, if you die for me using this when it's not supposed to be used, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. Everybody stay the hell away from me. Why are you acting like that, Cody? Because I was having an allergic reaction because almonds are a kind of nut. You're a nut. What, what the hell? You guys are going to kill me. What? Almonds are not a nut. Yes, they are. Then why doesn't it have nut in the name? There's peanuts, walnuts, hazelnuts. Macadamia nut? Almond. Wait, okay, what about cashews? What the hell is that? You're just making up stuff now. Okay, that's it. I don't trust any of you with food anymore. We did not know that almonds were nuts. It's really confusing. They should put nut in the name. It should be called an almond nut. But they don't have to do that because everybody already knows it. I didn't know that. Joseph didn't know that. Mm. Okay, look, Cody, how about we go eat a bowl of cereal? There's nothing bad with cereal. Okay, I guess that's safe. As long as it's not Honey Nut Cheerios. It won't be that. It'll be like Fruit Loops or something. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready to eat some Minecraft Creeper Crunch? Well, you guys made a really big mess last time. We'll get Chef Pee to clean it up later. Just make sure it doesn't get near me. Just stay over there. Okay, are you sure there's no nuts in the cereal? There's no nuts in it, Cody. It says the cinnamon-flavored cereal with marshmallows. Ooh, marshmallows, okay. Do you like it, Joseph? Uh, it's okay. I would rather have some Lucky Charms, dude. I think I have some Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh, what now, Cody? There has to be nuts somewhere. There's no nuts in this cereal. Look look at the box. Look at the box. <laughs> What's wrong? Where are the nuts? I, I don't know. I mean, the milk is sponsored by almonds. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. It says right here, sponsored by almonds. It must be the Olympics, dude. Yeah, the Olympics. <laughs> Guys, it's almond milk. What, what's almond milk? It's milk that comes from almonds. You can't get milk from almonds. Almonds do not have titties or udders. You can get milk. Milk from almonds. Milk them right now. Yeah, I want to see you milk them. Yeah. Guys, I need the pen. You're not getting the pen until you show us milk coming from the almonds. Please give me the pen. Come upstairs. Come on. <laughs> All right, Cody, explain the almond milk thing. Look, almond milk comes from almonds. How? All right, show me. Milk them right now. I'll give you $5. Keep those things away from me. I'm going to need the pen again. But how can milk come from these almonds? Look, I don't understand it either, okay? I just know that if I eat those again, I'm going to die. So you're allergic to milk, too? But yeah, sure. I'm allergic to milk. Who's that? What, PJ Crenshaw? Hey, what's up? Did you just walk into my house? Well, yeah, it's raining. PJ doesn't want to get his PJs wet. Uh, that makes sense. PJ doesn't get wet. He makes things wet. Isn't that right, ladies? Yeah! 
I have a slip and slide at my house. Maybe you can come over sometime. It would be an honor, PJ, but what are you doing here? I just wanted to hang like the Scooby-Doo gang, you know, see what's going on. Oh yeah, I would love to hang out. Okay, where's your couch? Uh, upstairs. Who's at the door, Junior? PJ Crenshaw. Here, Jimmy's Crenshaw? Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw. That's the one. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, it's an honor to be in your presence, Mr. Crenshaw. What's he doing here? I don't know, but he brought hot girls. If PJ thinks you're cool, then you're totally hot. Wanna make out? Dude, we're so cool! They want us! Yeah, I just wanted to come over and hang out with the normal people, you know? See what it's like to be a normal kid. I can't believe you brought made a mess in that kitchen with those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches! You better come downstairs and clean it up right now! Huh, peanut butter and jelly? My middle name is Brandon, so my initials are PBJ. PBJ Crenshaw? Jelly Jams Crenshaw? Cut the crust off, Crenshaw! <laughs> hey, who wants to go eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with me? My treat! I wanna I eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches! I, I wanna eat them! I, 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 I can't. Excuse me? What? Shut up, Cody! I I'm sorry, I just can't. Are you really gonna deny my free offer to have a feast of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? You hearing this lady? He just said no to PJ Crenshaw. That's not cool. We're not gonna make out with you anymore. Oh, no, 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 Cody doesn't know what he's talking about. Cody can eat a thousand peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, I saw him eat 25 minutes ago. Yeah. What, no, I didn't. No, no, he can, he can eat more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches than anyone I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Well, it sounds like you're challenging me to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating contest. Yeah, he is. What, no, I'm not. Yeah, he can eat more than anyone can eat in the entire world. All right, then it's official. We're gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating contest. And whoever can eat the most peanut butter and jelly sandwiches wins. But Junior, why would you do that? You know I can't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Well, we don't want those girls to leave us. Yeah. But Jun Junior, I'm gonna die. Well, no, if you start freaking out, we'll stab you with the EpiPen and save your life. It's for emergencies only. This is an emergency. Now eat those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Come on, dude. All right, whoever can eat all five of these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches first is the winner. Uh, guys, I really don't want to do this. Come on, Cody, you have to do it for us. You have to do it for the girls. Yeah, do it for us, dude. Come on. Okay. We'll have the pen ready. All right, three, two, one, go! Guys, uh, I won! Yay! <coughs> Dude, I can't believe you lost! You lost, Cody! Oh, you're so stupid! Come, come on! Wow, I can't believe you lost, Cody! <coughs> I got your stupid EpiPen, but now that you lost, girls will never talk to us. Hey there, champ. Well, PJ Crenshaw! God, is that you? You know, kid, even though you lost the contest, you really gulped down those sandwiches. You showed some real fight, and I'm proud of you. Keep your head up, champ. I'll see you around. Ladies, give his boy some treatment. Okay! Whoa, we just got kissed on the cheek! Dude, I just lost my V-card! Oh, Cody, you got us kissed by girls! I don't care. I need the pen. Oh, right, the pen. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going home. No, don't go home, Cody. You got girls to kiss us. Yeah, I lost my V-card, dude. If I stay here, I'm gonna die. No, no, no. We don't have to eat any more stuff. No more nut stuff. Let's just sit back and watch a nice, calm movie. Okay, that seems safe enough. Uh, what movie do you want to watch? I don't care. You pick. Joseph, what movie do you want to watch? Definitely not Big Hero 6, dude. Do not ever bring that movie up in front of me ever again. I hate Big Hero 6. It's the worst movie in the world. I'm ooh, sorry. Ooh. What if we watch The Nutty Professor? <laughs> I'm not allergic, I just hate that movie. <coughs> Marvin, your phone's ringing. I know, I can hear it. It's right next to me. Okay, fine. Hello? Uh, hello. This is Jackie Chu, Jeffy's teacher. I was calling to tell you that Jeffy's gonna be getting her report card today, just in case he doesn't show you. All right, thank you for warning me. Who was that, Marvin? It was Jeffy's teacher. Let me know he's getting his report card today. Ooh. Ah, Daddy, help me! I was playing on my shirt and it started eating me! It was not eating you, Jeffy. Ah! <laughs> it was just stuck. All right, thanks, Danny, for saving me from the big bad shirt monster. Well, look, Jeffy, your teacher just called me and let me know you're getting your report card today. So don't try to throw it away or anything. You have to show me. Okay, Danny. Well, there's not going to be any bad grades on it because I'm the smartest boy ever. Well, look, if there's a single F on that report card, your life's over. You're grounded for a year. Okay, Danny, but there's not going to be any Fs on it. Well, look, get to school. Get your butt to school. Oh, just my butt? All right, can you help me take it off? Well, no, get your whole body. Just get, go to school. All right, Danny. All right, Crass, today, before we get started, I'm going to hand out your report cards. Here you go, Penelope. Here's your report card. All A's, yes! Junior, here's your report card. Only one F? That's a new record. And Joseph, here's your report card. Oh, dude, I finally did it! All F's. You know how hard it is to do that? Wow, Joseph, that's very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. And Cody, here's your report card. All A's. I knew it. You know, sometimes I get tired of being so smart. Maybe you should get all F's like me. <laughs> 
I'm good. All right, Bori, here's your report card. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna be a trash man like my dad anyway. And Jeffy, here's your report card. Oh, oh no, all Fs. My daddy's gonna kill me. Oh, oh. Guys, guys, I got all Fs on my report card. High five. No, because my daddy told me he was gonna kill me if I got a single F. Well, I don't have parents, so... Well, Jeffy, why don't you just take Cody's report card home and say it's yours? But no, that's not gonna work because my report card has my name on it. And besides, I save all my report cards because I want to get into a good college someday. Oh, and my mom gives me Zerberts on my belly for every A I get. What's a Zerbert? It's where she blows on my tummy and I'm super ticklish. God, I hate you, Cody! But guys, for real, my daddy said he's gonna kill me if I get an F on my report card! <gasps> That's it, Jeffy. Why don't we fake your death? Why don't we call your dad and say you died at school today and he'll never see you ever again? But no, Junior, that's a terrible idea. Doesn't that seem kind of extreme just to avoid getting punished? Well, my daddy said he's gonna kill me anyway, so we might as well do it. Okay, I'll grab my phone. All right, All right guys, it's ringing. Aren't they just gonna look at the caller ID and see who it is? I blocked my number, Cody. Shut up. <sighs> Baby, can you answer the phone? Sure, Marvin. Hello? Hey, I mean, hey, this is Officer Tells Bad News Johnson. I'm calling to inform you that your son Jeffy died today at school. What? I know, you seem very upset. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. What happened? Well, um, Jeffy and another student were playing tag during recess, and Jeffy fell into a pile of ants. And then a plane crashed, only killing your son. The ants are fine, though. They're fire ants. They were normal ants until the fire from the plane explosion turned them into fire ants. But uh, he's dead. Oh my god, is it gonna be on the news? Uh, no, it won't be on the news because the owner of the news, Sir Isaac Newsten, was the one flying the plane and he didn't have his pilot's license so he crashed his plane and that will make the news have a bad name. So we just don't want anyone to know about it. Oh my god, my poor Jimmy! Yeah, so he's dead so you'll never see him again. I'm so sorry, bye. All right, guys, they totally believed it. Sir Isaac Newston. Who do you think invented the news, Cody? I don't know. Sounds believable to me. Thanks, Joseph. So my parents really think I'm dead? Yep, they think you're dead, so you don't have to go home and show them your report card. Sweet. But wait, where is Jeffy going to live? Because he can't go home. Oh, you're right. Jeffy doesn't have a place to live. Hey, Cody, can you stay with you for a while? But me? I don't want him living with me. But it's your fault that we had to do that whole phone call thing. Well, how is this my fault? I told you it was a bad idea. Because you wouldn't let us borrow your report card. Well, I would have rather you taken my report card than have him live with me. Well, look, it's your fault, so now you have to let him live with you. But why can't he live with Joseph? Dude, I live in a cardboard box. <sighs> okay, fine. He can stay with me for one night. Come on, Jeffy. <laughs> what? Baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Jeffy, <laughs> What? What, say it without crying. Jeffy died. What? Well, why are you so calm? You told me to calm down. Well, but how did Jeffy die? What did they say? There was a plane crash and fire and well, a plane crash. A plane crash, really? That sounds like a prank call. Let's call the real cops and see if it's true. Okay. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Oh, uh, yes, officer. We got a call from another officer saying our son died today. Oh, well, who was the officer that called you? Officer Tells Bad News Johnson. Really? Officer Tells Bad News Johnson? No, that's just ridiculous. Officer Tells Bad News Johnson retired 20 years ago. This is probably a prank call. A prank call? Baby, what else did the call say? Well, there was a plane crash, and the guy flying it was Sir Isaac Newston. Sir Isaac Newston? Now, that name's just silly. Yeah, this is definitely a prank call. Well, why would somebody want to fake our son's death? Well, did your son have something big coming up that maybe he was trying to get out of? Well, he was getting his report card today. Yeah, I bet that's it. I bet he got a bad grade, and he faked his death to get out of it. Why would Jeffy do this? Because he didn't want to get grounded. Thank you for helping us, officer. Okay. Yeah, I just, um, guess I'll take off. Just, uh, just leave. Honestly, I really don't want to go. Well, you don't have to leave. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. What about our son? He'll probably come home, baby. He has nowhere else to go. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, so, um, what do you guys want to do? I, I mean, there's nothing to do. Find our son. Hey, you want to play slap hands? What's that? Well, try to slap my hand. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you, loser. <laughs> well, you try to slap my hand. Okay. <laughs> Easy, loser. Oh, no, 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 let me try again. Okay. Nope. Nope. Marvin. Nope. Nope. Marvin. Nope. Marvin! What? Go play Jeffy! Well, I gotta try to slap his hand. Nope. 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 Uh, ow, okay, that's it. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Ow, 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 ow. Uncle, uncle, get off me. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, you can only stay here one night and then you have to go. Okay. Now, look, my parents are a little weird, so just ignore them. All right.
Hey mom, hey dad. Now would you look what the cat drugged in? Hey dad. Ooh, Cody, who's your sexy friend? Meow. Hey woman, keep your eyes on me. I'm the only one that can cheat in this house. Yes, daddy. Well, uh, guys, this is my friend Jeffy. His parents kicked him out and he needs a place to stay, so can he spend the night? If his parents don't want him, what make you think we do? Now, Tyrone, that's not how we treat our guests. So what's wrong with you? You some kind of junkie or something? You gonna hurt our little Cody? Yeah, what you got? What you holding, huh? Huh? No, no, no guys, he, he's not a junkie. He just needs a place to stay, so can he spend the night? I guess so, Cody, but I don't want to hear any of that loud rap music after midnight. Yeah, this is a jazz household. We don't like that rap music. <laughs> oh, and Cody, dinner's gonna be ready in a few minutes. We're having pierogies and party pizza. Ooh, pierogies? Oh, we feasting tonight, baby. So you and your friend go wash your hands and feet. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, welcome to my room. What? Ken, cover yourself up, you dirty, dirty boy. We have company. Sorry about that, Jeffy. Ken just doesn't know how to act around company. I think he needs a spanking. Hear that, Ken? I'm gonna spank your little plastic tush. Boy, you little weird old dinner's ready. God. Come on, Jeffy. Boy, will you hurry up? I'm hungry. I'm here, Dad. W wait, where's Jeffy's food? Oh, Cody, your friend's not eating at the table with us. Yeah, his plate over there in the corner on the floor. W why? Well, we don't know where he's been. He might have rabies. Yeah, he like a stray dog. W I go to school with him. He doesn't have rabies. Cody, don't argue with me. I'll smack you. Uh, okay, I I'm sorry, Jeffy. You have to eat on the floor. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch that food we haven't said grace yet. All right, everybody bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this delicious food. And thank you for not letting any of my side chicks get pregnant. Oh, thank God for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you for good health in a short refractory period. Amen. Amen. That's just a beautiful prayer, honey. That's how prayer should be, straight from the heart. Mm-hmm. I meant that. Okay, Cody, eat your food. Wait, Mom, what is this? It's a pierogi. Eat it. You're going to grow up big and strong. Yeah. Big boys got to eat their pierogies. Oh, I hate eating off the floor. So, boy, how was school today? Yeah, Cody, did you learn a lot of new stuff? Well, we got our report cards. Oh, my God, Tyrone, got all A's. Great googly moogly. You know what that means. Zerber time. Oh, I'm done. Hey, 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 shut the hell up. It's Zerber time, boy. It's Zerber time. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> okay, Cody, let me see that belly. But my book's so ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> nah, baby, give me some Zerbers. I need some. <laughs> I love Zerbers. Ooh, mom, one more, one more. Uh-oh, -uh, give me some more, baby. Give me some. <laughs> come on, mom, come on, do another one. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Come on, baby. Yeah, I need some. Ooh, <laughs> so ticklish. Oh, I want to go back home. All right, Marvin, your turn. Hmm. Oh, you're so done. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you did not just do that. You just lost. Check it out. Oh. Connect four, I win. I, I, did, I mean to put it right there. <laughs> you suck. I wish my wife sucked as much as you. She's really good at connect four. She beats me every time. We're playing again. Can we please go find Jeffy? Baby, look. Jeffy faked his death. He has nowhere else to go. Eventually, he has to come home. Oh, hey, you know what would be funny? Whenever your son comes home, you should pretend you can't see him like he's a ghost, you know, because he's dead. That'd be so funny. That's so mean. That's what we're going to do, baby. Whenever Jeffy gets here, we're going to not talk to him. We're going to act like he doesn't exist. That must be Jeffy. Oh, wait, look, let's answer the door and act like we can't see him. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey, Danny. I'm sorry I faked my own death. Baby, there's no one at the door. Do you see anybody? I sure don't, Marvin. Daddy, I'm right here! <sighs> Must have been a prank. Some kid rang the doorbell and ran away. I guess so. Why can't you see me? I'm right here! <sighs> I wish Jeffy didn't die. Me either, Marvin. I didn't die! I'm right here! Let's go upstairs, baby. Okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Who was at the door? Is that your son? Yeah, play along. Okay. Daddy, I'm right here! I miss Jeffy. I miss him too, baby. <laughs> I'm right here! Hey, I know you're going through a lot with your son dying and all, but I'm ready for the funeral. We're ready for the funeral too. Funeral? We don't need a funeral because I'm alive! I'm right here! Okay, here's his tombstone. Oh, oh the no. tombstone. And here's his body. Oh, not his body. Oh, no. That's no. not my body. I'm alive! I'm right here, oh. Daddy! I'm right here! I can feel his soul trying to contact me. Okay, you ready to start the ceremony? Yes. All right, we're gathered here today to be sad about the death of Jeffy, who was taken away from us too soon. We don't usually question God's plan, but today we ask, Why, God? Why did you take this young man away from us in such a tragic and comedic way? Why? I curse you, God! Amen. Would anyone else like to say a few words for Jeffy? I would. 
Jeffy, if you could hear me right now, we love you. We wish we could hear your voice one more time. I'm right here! Here's my voice! Ah! Settle down. Calm down. That's, that's enough of that. Uh, let, let, let's just have a moment of silence for Jeffy. I pooted. You folks have a nice day. I'm right here! I'm right here in front of you! Wait a minute. I, I think I hear Jeffy from the great beyond. What, you do? I think so. Jeffy, are you there? Yes, I'm right here! Right in front of your face! Oh, I, I, I can hear you, Jeffy, but I'm the only one. Is there anything you'd like for me to tell your parents? Yes! Tell my mommy and daddy that I'm sorry I faked my own death! Okay, he says that he's not sorry and he would do it all again. What? what no! We... I'm right here! Look, we can see you, okay? What? Jeffy? What? Daddy, you can see me? Oh, Jeffy, you're back! Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Daddy! Daddy. Oh, I'm so Daddy. sorry! I'm so sorry I faked my own death! I just didn't want you to see my report card! What? Why wouldn't you want us to see your report card, Jeffy? Why don't you go get it? Oh, okay. All right, Daddy, here's my report card. All Fs, Jeffy! Well, I tried my hardest! No, you didn't! You did not try at all! These are all Fs! We're gonna need another funeral after I'm done with him. Well, funerals aren't cheap. <laughs> Good to see you can beat someone at something. You know, because he sucks at Connect Four and slap hands. You want to play? Slap my hand. Okay. Ha! You suck! Guys, are you ready to play Nerf guns? Oh yeah, dude, I'm so ready. You guys should probably wear some eye protection. Come on, Cody, you're ugly, but not that ugly. Yeah, we're kind of used to you now, buddy. No, I mean, so you don't shoot your eye out with a Nerf gun. We're not going to do that, Cody. We're not going to aim for each other's eyes. Yeah, we're not stupid. Okay, well, I'm going to keep my glasses on. No, if we're not going to wear glasses, you have to take yours off. Well, why don't you just put glasses on? Because it's two people that have to go find glasses and put them on when all you have to do is take yours off. Well, I'm not taking my glasses off. You're a stupid, dumb idiot. Wimp. I don't care what you call me. I'm not taking my glasses off. No balls. Take your glasses off. Okay, well that's ridiculous. Obviously I have balls. I got two big hairy balls. Somebody even say too hairy. Okay, there you go. I took my glasses off. You are so ugly, Cody. Dude, you look like a puffer fish. You look like your name's Ted and you sit outside of school in a white van. Did your mom drink while she was pregnant with you? I'll have you know my mom didn't even know she was pregnant for the first five months. So yeah, she drunk and partied a little bit. And then she stopped after she found out, after she celebrated a little more. But look, can we just play now? Is your phone going off? <sighs> yeah, my mom has a tracker on my glasses that tells her when I take them off. But why? I don't know, I just have to answer this. Okay guys, I'm answering the phone. Now shut up, I don't want my mom to know we're playing with Nerf guns. Uh, hey mom. Cody, why did you take your glasses off? I, I, I just took them off for a second to clean them. Cody, you've had your glasses off for several seconds. Wait, there's a timer on the tracker? Yes, Cody, now put your glasses back on. I, I will, mom. And how are your hemorrhoids doing? What the fine, Mom, just shut up. Hey, Joseph, we should make moaning noises into the phone to make his mom think he's doing something weird. Oh, yeah, dude, let's totally do it. Oh, Cody, oh, oh, yeah, uh oh. Oh, no, Uncle, get out of my room. No, you can't come in here. Please, no, I, no, 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 stop it, stop it. No, not my pants, please. Look, I don't care how many fun toys you get me. No, me, no. Cody, what was that? I don't know, but it made me sad. Cody, put your glasses back on. Okay, Mom, damn! Look, guys, we gotta hurry up and play. My mom's gonna call me back. Okay, let's play, let's play. Ow! Jesus Christ, you got a you got him, God, 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 son of a big hairy c in my eye! Well, Junior, why did you do that? Well, where did I shoot you at? Right in the eye! Uh, call a doctor! Uh, okay, I'll call a doctor. Uh, Can I use your phone? Yes, fine, use the phone! Uh, why is it sticky? I, 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 I'm using, explain uh, it. Just, it's, I'm you know. using my phone. Okay! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Jesus! Could you get that camera out of my face? Thank you. Did somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. I accidentally shot my friend in the eye with a Nerf gun. Jesus, what did you shoot him in both eyes? But, buddy, how many times do I have to tell you to back up? Oh my God, amateurs. Did you shoot him in both eyes multiple times? Why are his eyes so swollen? He always looks like that. Oh, you poor bastard. Am I gonna be okay? Well, I think you're gonna have a hard time finding dates, but can you see? Yeah, I think you're gonna be just fine. But you kids really should have been using eye protection. That's what I said, but then they said no balls. Oh yeah, I've been there, I know how that goes. One time I was doing a surgery, and the nurse said, no balls, you won't do the surgery blindfolded. So I did, and the guy died. But I mean, it was a tonsillectomy, so he's pretty much gonna die anyway, right? Like, a life without tonsils? What kind of life is that? I mean, don't talk to me if you don't have tonsils, right? Oh man, I bully people who don't have tonsils. Don't let me catch you without your tonsils. I'm gonna throw a party, and then it's gonna be a tonsils-only party. And there's gonna be a bouncer outside, and when you walk up, he's gonna say, say ah! And if you don't have your tonsils, you're getting thrown out of the party. 
Tonsils rule! Okay guys, let's play for real this time and do not shoot me in the eye again. How can we not, dude? Your eyes cover majority of your face. Well, just don't shoot me in the face. That's too many rules, let's play. Oh, God, mother right my fucking eye, God, son of a Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, uh, we're playing with Nerf guns. Oh, can I play? Well, we only have three, so ooh, you should ask your dad to buy you a Nerf gun. Okay, I will. Oh, my eye, ow, ow! Hey, daddy. Ooh, Daddy. Jeffy, stop talking to me like that. Daddy, can you buy me some Nerf guns? But no, Jeffy, I've bought you plenty of Nerf guns in the past. Well, those are old and I lost all the bullets. Well, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. But Daddy, I need a new Nerf gun right now because all my friends are playing Nerf guns. Okay, look, I don't have a reason to go to the store. I'm not going to the store just to buy you a Nerf gun. Well, I think you need headache medicine. Why? Uh, ow, Jeffy, why, why would you do that? Because I want Nerf guns. Oh, okay, fine. Now I'm going to go to the store, buy headache medicine, and you a dumb Nerf gun. Thanks, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, there's your dumb Nerf gun. Now leave me alone. What the hell is that, Daddy? It's the Nerf gun you wanted me to go to the store to get you. That's not a Nerf gun. That's a Zuru X-Shot. What even is that? It was cheaper, and they're all the same, Jeffy. They're not the same, Daddy. I need to have the Nerf gun, the official Nerf gun. No, Jeffy, look, th this one's called a, a Zuru X-Shot. Doesn't that sound a lot cooler? Like, X-Shot. No, I'm going to get made fun of for having this, Daddy. No, look at the kid on the box. He looks like he's going to grow up and be a cool kid. And, and look, and look, the, the bullets are black, and, and look, the gun, it has a a skull on it. Ooh, that's, that's, that's pretty badass if you ask me. And and your your friends, they're going to say you're one cool bean. One cool bean. Yep, that's, that's what they're going to call you. So look, go play with it. All right, Daddy, they better say I'm one cool bean. That's exactly what they're going to say. That's what all the kids are saying. All right, guys, the bean is here. The bean? Yeah, I like flicking the bean and eating vagine. All right. Whoa, Jeffy, what kind of gun is that? It's a Zuru X-Shot. Wait, it's not a Nerf gun? No, my daddy couldn't afford a Nerf gun because he hates me, so he bought me this piece of shit. Oh, dude, it looks so cool and green. Can we trade? Sure. Oh, yeah. Be careful. She's loaded. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I wonder how fast it shoots. <laughs> Uh, that sound brings back good memories. What, Jeffy, are you okay? <laughs> he shot that Nerf bullet down my throat! Okay, guys, I don't think we should play Nerf guns anymore. It's too dangerous. Let's all just get into bed and cuddle. Actually, you still might get something shot in your eye. <laughs> what, Jeffy, you should go tell your dad that you swallowed a Nerf bullet. Okay, Junior. Um, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what do you want? Um, don't get mad, but I was playing Nerf guns with my friends. Spit it out! And... and and Joseph accidentally shot me in the mouth with a Nerf gun and I swallowed the bullet. But you swallowed a Nerf bullet, Jeffy? On oh, accident? Well, now we have to call a doctor. Why? Do you think I'm going to die? Well, no, I just don't want the Nerf bullet to, like, turn sideways and clog your intestines and you get constipate to death or... I I'm gonna call the doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. So my son swallowed Wait, a nerf. Hold, hold on, hold, back, back up, back, back, back up. What? Oh, okay, that's it, that's it. You, Ow! Come on, get Ow, your, geez. you need to get your shit together, man. You don't know what you're doing. I'm just trying to do my job. Well, do it better, okay? Pick up that camera. Pick, pick it up. Pick it. Okay, okay. No, back up. You see, right there, right there. You don't get any closer than that. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That guy's been pissing me off all day. So, so what do you need? Uh, so my son, he, he swallowed a Nerf bullet. Oh, that's fine. That happens. Wait, so like, you don't have to do surgery to get it out or anything? Oh, no. He should poop it out in a couple days. As long as it was just a normal Nerf bullet. Well, that's all it was. No, Daddy, tell him what you did. Tell him how poor you are. <sighs> okay, it wasn't a Nerf bullet. It was an off-brand, like, Zuru X-Shot bullet. What? It, it was off-brand? Yeah, it, I mean, it wasn't a Nerf bullet, but they're all the same thing, right? No, 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 this is very bad. Hold on. Okay, answer this very carefully. Did the Nerf bullet look like this, because this is a normal Nerf bullet, or did it look like this? Um, can I see the other one again? Okay, uh, was it this, a normal Nerf bullet, or was it this? It was that one. Oh, no, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Why is this one bad? Because it's black. Why is it being black bad? But is it not? It, black is beautiful. It, it, it's my favorite color, actually. But but no, it, this one's black because it has lead in it. See, it was made in a cheap Chinese factory where they make the off-brand Nerf bullets, so it has lead in it. So he's going to get lead poisoning if he eats it. Well, he swallowed one. That's not good. We need him to throw that up because if it hits his digestive system, the lead's going to get into his bloodstream, then it's going to get into his heart, then he's going to have lead heart, and he's going to die. Oh, no. You're Jeffy, Jeffy, you have to throw up right now. You have to throw up or you're going to die. Just, just please, Jeffy, just, just try to throw up for me. Just, just please, just, just throw up. I don't know how to throw up, Daddy. Okay, just open your mouth and make noises like bleh, bleh, bleh. Ah. Oh, no, no, Jeffy, try harder. Try to throw up harder. Ah. Oh, he doesn't know how to throw up. Can you help him? Okay, I, I have a trick that models use sometimes. Just stick your finger down your throat to try to make yourself throw up. You want me to choke on your fingers, Daddy? Okay, that's uh. gross. Like, I don't really want to 
do it now. Just, just. Oh, no, 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 just tell him how to do it. Just, just, just try to throw up. Throw up. Yeah, the, the, the thin is beautiful, you little piggy. Yeah, that's it. Throw it up. Throw up all that nasty food and get thin. Okay. It's not working. Yeah, it works when models do it. Okay, I, I have an idea. Hold on. Okay, this will definitely make Jeffy throw up. It's just an empty jar. Ah, it may look empty, but there's something in there. What? My fart. My big, loud, stinky fart. Wait, what are you, five? No, look, I grabbed an empty jar, I sat on it, I blew ass in there, and I slapped the lid on real quick before it could escape. Hey there, little fart. I got you, you little rascal. You might fart. There's no way this is gonna work. It's gonna work. I did it all the time in college. Look, all Jeffy has to do is take the lid off and then sniff my fart really hard. It'll make him throw up. All right, Jeffy, take the lid off and smell his fart. All right. Hey, why, why are you drinking my fart? Because it smells good. What? Smells like beef and cheese. Oh, okay. Now I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, okay, look, your stupid fart thing didn't work. Jimmy, Jimmy, let go of the fart. Stop drinking the fart. Oh, okay, okay, I have another idea that'll definitely make him throw up. <sighs> Jimmy, stop the smelling of that. Boom, got him Burger King. That'll make him throw up. Burger King? Yep, it's disgusting. I mean, I used to love it as a kid, but now as an adult, I get food poisoning every time. Well, I like Burger King, hence the crown. My liege. Wait, Jeffy, you like Burger King? Yeah. Oh, man, that's not gonna make him throw up. Oh, man. We gotta think of something. Come on, Doctor, the lead poison's gonna kill him. We'll, we'll make him throw up. Oh, hold on, I just gotta dig in my ass and think for a second. Wait, what, you're digging in your butt? It helps me think. Oh, I have an idea. Jeffy, smell this. <sighs> Yummy! Here, you want to smell mine? No, I, I'm good. Does it really smell good? <coughs> no, it's not good. Uh, Marvin, you want to whip? Uh, everyone, stop smelling their butts. Listen, we gotta find a way to make Jeffy throw up because if he gets, if he dies of lead poisoning, it's gonna be my fault. Listen, because I bought him this stupid toy. Oh, we gotta think. We gotta think. We gotta think. Well, I mean, you're his dad, so what usually makes him throw up? Um. Green beans! You hate green beans, right, Jeffy? Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we gotta get green beans. Well, do you have any green beans? No. And we didn't think of the ending before we started filming, and it's midnight, so nothing's open. We can't buy any green beans right now. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I have this. I, I don't know if it helps. Wait, a printed out picture of green beans? You just have this? Yeah, I just keep it on me in case of emergencies. Wait, Jeffy, look, look at the picture. I hate green beans, Daddy! I think it's working! I think he's gonna throw it up! Hey! He threw it up! Yeah, he threw it up! We did! We no did. lead poisoning tonight! No lead poisoning tonight! No lead poisoning tonight! We on a diet! Alright, Jeffy, shut up. Alright, so we, we threw it up. Alright, Jeffy, so you learned not to eat Nerf bullets, right? Yeah, but you gotta stop buying all the poor brand! Yeah, I mean, he can eat Nerf bullets, just not those. Uh, hey, don't don't really eat Nerf bullets. That's, that's, hey, back it up, back it up. I'm trying to tell them, don't eat, ner don't eat Nerf bullets. Yeah, don't eat them. This is just a joke. But anyway, Jeffy, yeah. okay, fine. I won't buy you the off brand anymore. I'll actually buy you Nerf brand from now on. Good. Hey, uh, hey guys, d do you guys have your tonsils? I have mine. Well, I got mine removed when I was 13. <laughs> Loser! Tonsil-less loser! What a loser! Alright, I'm gonna take off. Hello? Is Cody here? Uh, Cody, your mom's here! Uh, hey mom. Cody, why are your glasses off? I, oh no, I forgot to put them back on. Cody, that's it! Your little tushy's grounded! Come on, you little bug-eyed freak! We're going home! Jeffy! Ah. Stop playing with the megaphone, Jeffy. Ah. Okay, that's it. Stop it. Put it down. Can I play with the violin? Oh, no, Jeffy. That violin belonged to my grandfather. Well, if I play the violin every day, all summer, by the end of summer, I'll be a violin gone. I'll be OP at playing the violin. Now. I said no, Jeffy. Come on, Marvin. Just let him try. Yeah, Daddy. I even wrote a song. It's called The Camel Who Had a Toe. You want to hear it? I want to hear it, Jeffy. Uh. Oh, I don't want to hear this dumb song. Oh, Marvin, it'll be fun. There once was a camel who had a toe, and camel toe was his name. Oh, G A M E L toe, G A M E L toe, G A M E L toe, and camel toe was his name. Oh, stop playing the violin! You suck at the violin. <laughs> well, he's bad at playing it. You said Jeffy sucks at the violin. I mean, I do, but I'm just trying to learn. Marvin, he's just trying. He sucks at playing it. It's my grandfather's and he's breaking it. Look at all the strings. Stop, stop, no. Jeffy! Stop it, Jeffy. Okay, we have to find something for him to do all summer because he's annoying me. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, you stay right here. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. What the? Summer camp? <gasps> Children of all ages? No adults allowed? Baby, I got something for Jeffy to do. Baby, 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 baby. I found the thing. Jeffy, stop it. 
Baby, I found the thing that's gonna make us free! Summer camp, children all ages, no adults allowed. Marvin, that sounds suspicious. So what's suspicious? There's nothing suspicious about this. Look, there's ice cream cones, there's, there's kayaking, there's kids playing tug of war. It sounds like fun. Well, who dropped it off? I don't know, it was just there at the door. Oh, no. Well, look, baby, it's fine. Jeffy, do you want to do all the things you see on this paper? Uh-huh. Well, then look, 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 go, look, it says it picks you up at 10 a.m. <gasps> That's like in an hour, so, so go get all your friends and invite them to summer camp. Can I take the violin? No, you can't take that, but it'll be here waiting for you when you get back from summer camp. So look, grab the flag, go, go, go. Okay, I'm gonna go show all my friends. Yeah, go hurry. Oh, baby, we're free for the entire summer. Marvin, I don't know. It didn't even say when summer camp ended. Baby, it's called summer camp. It obviously ends at the end of summer. That means I have two months of sitting here in the quiet. I can do whatever I want. Hell, I can even learn the violin. You know, I'm not going to, but because I don't want to be annoyed, but no, I can do whatever I want. Guys, 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 it's summer vacation. What are we going to do? Ooh, I know. We should play naked tag where we all get naked and try to tag each other. I'm out. Well, good. It's just for the boys anyway, right, guys? Come on, let's get naked. Come on. Hey, do you guys want to go to summer camp? Summer camp? Dude, is that ice cream? Ooh, there's going to be so many boys there. I want to go canoeing. Yeah, let's go to summer camp, Jeffy. How do we go? Well, your bus is pulling up right now. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Guys, 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 I can't believe we're going to summer camp. I know, dude. It's going to be so exciting! Hurry up, kids! Get on the bus! We don't have all day! Okay! Oh, is it hot out there or is it just you? What? Nothing! Just hurry up and get on the bus, you little scale! Come on inside! Don't be shy! Uh, where do we sit? Oh, you can sit anywhere you want. Hey, do you want to sit on my lap? Pretend you're driving the bus? No, I'd rather sit back here. Oh, dang it. Hey, hey, hey! Does anybody want to sit on my lap? <sighs> uh, hey guys, does that bus driver look kind of familiar to you? Eh, no. Yeah, I don't recognize him. Uh, I guess I'm just being weird. All right, you little cuties. Where do you think we're going today? I, I, I mean, I know where we're going. I just want to know where you think we're going. Summer camp? Yeah, summer camp. Summer camp? Good guess. But no, we're going to my house, which is kind of like summer camp, because I have all kinds of fun games we can play, but they're all in my basement. Uh, his house? I don't think he's supposed to be our bus driver. Guys, we're going on an adventure! Shut up! Do you want to have a boring summer? <laughs> we're going to have a fun time, kids. Now let's get this bus going! <laughs> Come on, start. Oh, start. Hurry up before the cops show up and realize I'm not really a bus driver. Start, damn it. <laughs> oh, I got her going. Come on, kids! Yay, we're about to go! Uh, Junior, I want to get off. Tell your mom to get off the couch and go on a diet because she's so fat. She needs to exercise. All right, dispatch, I'm pulled up behind the school bus. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to get away with this. Hey, kids, you ready to get going? Gotcha! You're under arrest for trying to kidnap these kids. Oh, dang it. I almost got away with it, too, if it weren't for those meddling policemen. Hey, why is our bus driver getting arrested? Well, maybe he doesn't have a driver's license. Uh, no, please, I can't go back to prison. Well, you're going to be in there for the rest of your life, Mr. Winkle. Yeah, Mr. Winkle, I knew I recognized him. Man, those sunglasses really disguised him. Hey, sorry, kids. Uh, Mr. Winkle over there stole this bus, and he passed out a whole bunch of summer camp flyers to kidnap as many kids as he could, so no summer camp for you kids. I'm sorry. You're going to have to get off the bus. Oh, oh man. man! Oh, man, baby. Isn't this relaxing? Just laying down with no noise? Hey, there. Well, hey! What are you doing in my house? Leave! Well, I just wanted to tell you, your son almost got abducted. What? Did you get him back? Yeah. Dang it! Marvin! What, what happened? Well, this guy named Mr. Winkle was going around the neighborhood passing out these fake summer camp flyers so he could get kids onto his bus to take them back to his house. Marvin, I knew that summer camp was a bad idea. But, baby, look at the flyer. It's so convincing. Look at the ice cream cone. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Although, orange ice cream with chocolate? Mm, that just screams bad news. And this no adults allowed thing should have been a red flag. Well, I just thought, obviously, no adults would want to go to a kid's camp. That's weird. I guess. Well, where are the kids now? No, they're out in the front yard crying because they didn't get to go to summer camp. Poor Jeffy. He must be traumatized. Marvin, go get him. No, I want him to go to summer camp. Marvin, I think he should be home for the summer. Absolutely not. I don't want to hear him play this violin all summer. Listen, officer, is there any other summer camps going on around here? Uh, not that I know of. Oh my god. Okay, listen. Can you make a summer camp? You know, just take Jeffy for the whole summer? Make a summer camp? Yeah, I don't want to see Jeffy all summer. I, I mean, I'm kind of busy. I, I, I mean, I, my shift goes till 8, so I, I guess I could make a summer camp that only goes till 8. Like, like a day camp? Just like a day camp, like a quick one. Okay, just do that. I just like, I just want a day of peace and quiet and a day for me to throw this violin away so Jeffy can't annoy me. Okay, yeah, sure, but how much are you going to pay me? Uh, uh, $20. $20? Come on, I'm a cop. Do you know how much I make? Not enough. Give me that 20 All right, I'll do it. Let me just change into something more appropriate. Okay, I have a day to get rid of this violin. But Marvin, that's your grandpa!
Uh, now that summer camp was canceled, what are we gonna do all summer? I guess we could have a blindfolded hot dog sucking contest. I'm out. Well, that's fine. It's for the boys anyway. Come on, guys. Take your clothes off. Whip them hot dogs out. Good news, kids. I got paid 20 bucks to take you all to summer camp. Wait, we still gonna go to summer camp? Yeah, I mean, it's in the backyard, but come on. Yeah, it's summer camp! All right, kids. The first game is the three-legged race. Whoever can cross the finish line with their partner first wins. But wait a minute. Cody doesn't have a partner. He's cheating. Oh, no. I already have three legs. Every race is a three-legged race for me. You might as well disqualify me right now for my performance enhancing penis. You're going down, Junior. There's no way you're going to win. You have a girl on your team, and the only way they're good at running is when they run to the kitchen to make sandwiches. Or if they run away with all your money. Yeah. Someone on our team, based on the way they look, is really good at running. Wait, what, dude? What, gingers? I I'm a ginger. They're really good at running. I never heard of that stereotype. I'm a ginger, too. But you're a girl, so it cancels out. Okay, three, two, one, go, kid. <laughs> 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 Come on, dude, you're so slow! I'm sorry, I'm not as fast as you people. What, what dude? You people that are fast at running, I'm not a fast running. Come on! Uh, 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 it's so hard to run with my big schlong. Uh, 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 oh, dude, Jeffy won! I thought I picked the right partner, but uh, guess not. I'm tired of you! Yay, I won, I won, I won! Ow, you dragged me the whole way! Well, I'm willing to win! Uh, sorry, guys, I didn't finish the race. One of my legs got twisted around one of my other legs. Well, I guess we have a winner. Come on, next game! All right, kids, next up is tug of war. So just break up into two teams, get on either side of this rope, and whoever can pull the other team over that line there wins. But there's an odd amount of people. Oh, don't worry, Penelope. I'm hunky as shit. We can take these three. Oh, and I'm used to pulling strings because I'm a girl and, you know, tampons. Oh, yeah? Well, we're going to win because someone on our team is a black. What? Belt and karate. I'm super strong, so I can pull you guys over that line. And I'm black, so that counts for something, dude. Yeah, and I have something wrong with me, so I'm super strong. So you're going down. Woo. All right, kids, getting position. All right, guys, we're totally going to win this game. Yeah, we're going to pull your rope so hard they're going to crap their pants. Heck yeah, dude. All right, guys, you ready to lose? Uh, don't worry, Penelope, we got this. But you don't even have your hands on the rope. Well, that's because the rope is clenched between my butt cheeks. It's where I'm the strongest. Yeah, I've been doing Kegel exercises since I was in the womb. Ugh, I can crush an apple between my butt cheeks. It's insane. All right, kids, whoever gets pulled across this line loses. All right, one, two, three, go! <laughs> Cody, pull harder! Oh no, Penelope, my butt cheeks can't handle it! Clench harder! I'm clenching, I'm clenching! <laughs> Guys, we almost got it! Pull with all your might! On three, we're gonna pull as hard as we can! One, two, three! <laughs> oh no, Cody! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we have a winner! But, okay, guys, damn, you can stop dragging it. Junior, how long do we run with the rope for? Until they say we won! Why did they say it, dude? Ow, my butthole. Ha ha, Cody, we beat you guys, and it's because of the black belt that I am. Why you keep saying it like that, dude? You never gloated about being a black belt ever! But I am a black belt, and I want to brag about it. That's why we won. Cody, are you okay? I have rope burn on my bunghole. You should probably get that checked out, kid. What's the next game we're going to play? Oh, well, follow me. All right, kids, next up is canoeing. So just get in that boat and go out on the water. You're not going to go with us? I'm not getting in that damn thing. There's snakes in that water and crocodiles and tapeworms that could go up my pee hole. Ooh, I'm going to go, but I don't really want to deal with the crocodiles. The crocodile hunter died. Yeah, it was sad. Dude, I'm not getting in that boat. I can't swim. Is it because you're blown? Huh? 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 Finish your sentence. Bad at swimming? I am bad at swimming. I want to go. Oh, yeah, me and Jeffy will go. Okay, good luck. Just don't tip over. I'm pretty sure that water will give you syphilis. Okay, let's go, Jeffy. All uh right. -huh. So, Junior, what are we supposed to be doing? I think we row the boat with the paddle. Oh, like the song? Row, row, row your boat, throw your paddle in the stream. No, no you're not supposed to throw your paddle. That's how the song goes. Whoops. Well, at least we still have one paddle. But, hey! Bam, Mr. Alligator! Bam, bam, bam! Ah! 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 Uh, help! Dumb! Someone! Help! It help! The alligator bit Jeffy! Mr. Alligator, you give Jeffy back! <laughs> Can you at least hand me the paddle? What? Hey! Hey! Oh, that went so far away. I guess I could just swim. Oh, man, it is a nice day. <laughs> Mr. 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 An alligator got on our canoe and ate Jeffy! What? We had an alligator, he jumped in the canoe and he ate Jeffy, he's dead! Uh, I told you not to go out on that pond. Well, you're not gonna do anything about it? Listen, kid, he's gone. 
Who wants ice cream? Me! All right, kids, I know I said ice cream, but all I have is popsicles, so enjoy that. Woo, I love popsicles, dude! Me too! I dropped mine. Hey, hey guys, do you dare me to like deep throat this whole popsicle? Like, did you shove the whole thing down my throat? Can I get another popsicle? I dropped mine. Dude, we can share one. I don't want to share with you, I want to share with Penelope. Ew, no, Junior! <laughs> oh, God, look! <coughs> All right, kids, you ready to make s'mores? Yeah, I wanna make s'mores! Oh. All right, kids, now we're gonna make s'mores. So just put your stick in the fire and we can cook your marshmallow. Okay, well that was wrong. You said throw my stick in the fire. No, I didn't say throw it, I said put your stick in the fire. Like you put the tip of your stick in the fire. Oh, sometimes I only put in the tip. Nah, I'm just kidding. I get greedy, I put in the whole thing. Dude, I'm afraid of fire. Is it because you're- You better not say it, I swear to God, dude! Oh. You got so mad your hat came off. Oh, you make me mad. All right, kids, let's get to cooking these marshmallows. Wow, those are some good looking s'mores, kids. Uh, I still need to make mine. Joseph, why is your marshmallow black? I wanted it to look like that, dude. Do you have a problem with that? Well, no, I don't. I'll just shut up. All right, kids, you ready to tell some scary stories? I want to hear scary stories. I want to hear them. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, kids, whenever you get older, sometimes you get this ringing in your ears, and it just keeps ringing and ringing, and there's nothing you can do about it, and it just won't stop ringing, and that's called tinnitus, and there's no cure. And whenever you're trying to go to sleep, you just hear ringing and ringing in your ears constantly and you just have to put up with it until you die. And then, if it, sometimes when you get older, you grind your teeth together in your sleep. And then whenever you move your jaw, you hear this kind of like sandy noise, like there's sand in there, and that's called TMJ. And if you don't get it taken care of, that can cause lock jaw, where your jaw just locks shut and you talk like this and there's nothing you can do. And then, there's this other thing. Whenever you have kids, for the first year of their life, there's this thing called SIDS, and that stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. So that just means they can drop dead whenever, and nobody knows why. They just ran Randomly die. Yeah, so you guys can look forward to that when you grow up. So that's 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 all real. So you know, go ahead and tell whatever kind of made up fairy tales you were you were gonna tell. Oh, I got a story, dude. Once upon a time, there was a continent of happy people. Then white people came on boats and kidnapped them. Ah! There's no way that happened. Oh yeah, it happened, dude. Oh, yeah. that's so scary. Yeah, it's the saddest story of all. to run, kids! Ah! What's wrong? How's summer camp going? Oh, it's going pretty good. You know, we played tug of war, we had a three-legged race, we had some popsicles, we went canoeing, your son got eaten by a crocodile. What? Oh, hold on. Rude, I'm not done. Then we made some s'mores, and then there was a swamp monster! Oh, God, there he is now! Oh! Wait a minute. That's no swamp monster. That's Jeff Jeffy. Jeffy. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you, stupid dog. You make me look bad. Booga 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 booga. Well, that's just not the right show. That's that's Courage the Cowardly Dog. Jeffy, it's time to eat lunch. Oh boy, that means I get to eat cookies. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, you're not eating cookies for lunch. You're gonna eat a big old plate of green beans. But Daddy, you know I hate green beans. Why can't you get it through your thick, bald head that I don't like green beans? Well, Jeffy, I know you don't like green beans, but they're healthy and they'll make you grow big and strong. Well, cookies will make me big too. Well, they'll make you big like fat. Well, then I'll be just like you. Jeffy! Jeffy, I am not fat. Look, look, green beans have fiber and they'll help you poop. Daddy, I already crap my pants twice a day. I don't need help pooping. That's well, because of the green beans, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy, green beans are good for you. So look, you're gonna eat these green beans. I can't. Well, yes, you can, Jeffy. You're not allergic to them because if you were allergic, then you wouldn't have to eat them, but you're not allergic. So eat them, Jeffy. Hmm, allergic. I got an idea. <laughs> Jeffy, did you eat your green beans? Jeffy, where'd you go, Jeffy? Maybe he went to his room, Marvin. Jeffy, you are so grounded for not eating your green beans. <sighs> oh, Jeffy, what happened to you? Yeah, Jeffy, what happened? I was trying to take a bite of green beans and then my face started hurting. <gasps> Marvin, maybe Jeffy is allergic to green beans. Yeah, that. What? No, Jeffy, you're not allergic to green beans. You've never been allergic before. But Marvin, you can develop allergies at any age. Yeah, I read that too. You can't read, Jeffy. Oh, I saw it on TV. What? There's no way he's allergic. Are you sure you didn't fall and hit your face? No, I did not fall. You promised you didn't fall? I promised that was not it. Oh, okay, look, well, I will call a doctor and we're gonna figure out what's going on. You better not be faking it. 
Paleo, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, we tried to feed Jeffy green beans and his face looked like that. What, you beat the shit out of him for not eating his green beans? Yeah, he does it all the time. Not this time. Not this time? Look, I put a plate of green beans in front of Jeffy, I walked away, I came back and he looked like that. What happened, kid? Did you fall down? No, I promise that was not it. We think it might be an allergic reaction? Well, it doesn't look like an allergic reaction. It looks like somebody hit him in the face with a baseball bat. Well, what does an allergic reaction look like? Well, you know, usually you get a rash, maybe get itchy, have trouble breathing. So what type of weapon causes that? What? Nothing. I'll figure it out. Oh, so, so it's not an allergic reaction? Well, I mean, if you're saying that he looks like this after eating green beans, then I guess we have to assume it's an allergic reaction. Oh, so that means I don't have to eat green beans anymore. Yeah, I'd stay away from the green beans. What about cookies? Cookies should be fine. All right, pee-pee. But -pee. you're not eating cookies for lunch, Jeffy. What else should I feed him? I don't know. He's not an iguana. He doesn't eat a special diet. Feed him whatever you want, just not green beans. All right, Jeffy, we're going to find something for you to eat that you're not allergic to. Come on, Jeffy. Like cookies. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Cookie time! <laughs> Wait, no, no, Jeffy. Hey! No cookies. You're going to eat Brussels sprouts. But the doctor said cookies! No, the doctor said you have to eat something healthy, so here's Brussels sprouts. Daddy, these look like the Jolly Green Giant's testicles! Jeffy! Jeffy, these are good for you. They're really good. They're a nice vegetable. And they smell like the patch of skin between your ball sack and your butthole. Jeffy, just eat them. But Daddy, she's a 10, but she smells like this. Jeffy, I know they don't smell good, but they taste good. Look, just try it. Please try it. Oh, Daddy, I don't want to try these. I got to make sure you're not allergic. Try it. <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> Jeffy, put it back in your mouth. I don't like it, Daddy. Try it, Jeffy, try it. I think I'm allergic. My throat's closing up. Put it back in your mouth. <laughs> is, it, is it good? Uh -uh. Okay, well, swallow it. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> so, Jeffy, how was the Brussels sprouts? <laughs> Your face. I definitely think I'm allergic to the Brussels sprouts, Daddy. It's so messed up. What is going on? I can't breathe, Daddy. Margaret, we need to call the doctor. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the doctor. Daddy, I need. What do you need? I need. What do you need, Jeffy? Cookie. You're not eating cookies, Jeffy. We have to call a doctor. Come on. Aww. Hey there, you call me again? Yes, doctor. I gave my son Brussels sprouts, and now his face looks like this. Oh, my God. I know it's so bad. Oh, my God. I'm going bald. Oh, God. The bald spot on the back of my head is getting so big. Well, I'm going bald in the front, too? I'm getting bukkake by my hairline. Oh, man, I used to have a full head of hair. Ugh, I hate getting old. Be honest, does it look bad? Um, I would say it's noticeable. Oh, I'm so ugly. Oh, man, we gotta do something about this. We gotta do, like, Brooklyn guy's hair problem fix or, or Brooklyn guy's hair transplant or something. I mean, I guess I could wear a hat. That might cover it up. You think I'd look good as a hat guy? I want you to help me fix Jeffy. Oh, yeah, what about your son? I gave him Brussels sprouts, and now his face looks like this. Okay, you have to be beating him. Facts. No, I'm not beating him. I gave him a plate of Brussels sprouts. I walked away, and now his face is more bruised and his eye is swollen. Well, it doesn't look like an allergic reaction. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if his jaw and cheekbones weren't broken. So what's causing this? I don't know. I mean, I guess it has to be a severe allergic reaction to green beans and Brussels sprouts. So we won't feed him Brussels sprouts and we won't feed him green beans. Would cookies help? I, I don't think cookies would help. I'd suggest you get an EpiPen. No, I don't think I need that. I think I need cookies. You're not eating cookies, Jeffy. We gotta find you a food that you're not allergic to. So come on. We're gonna go find you something to eat. Let's go. What about cookies? Come here, cookie. One bite. Ha! No cookies. Hey! I said no cookies, Jeffy. It's time for you to eat something else. Well, then what am I supposed to eat, Daddy? You're gonna eat a big old plate of spinach. Daddy, you can't just diarrhea on your plate and expect me to eat it. It's not diarrhea, Jeffy. It's spinach. It's good for you. Like, fuck it is. Jeffy, language. Look, just eat it. Daddy, if there's anything I'm allergic to, I'm allergic to this. Where's my bat? Oh, Marvin, what's this bat doing on the ground? Shit. Uh, I, I don't know. Jeffy, were you playing with this bat? No. Well, baby, put it away somewhere. Okay. But that was my allergic device. What? Nothing. Jeffy, just eat the spinach. Just try it. I promise you'll love it. Daddy, I highly doubt I'll love this. Just try it, Jeffy. Oh, I don't want to, Daddy. Put it in your mouth. Go. Uh, ah, Jeffy, uh, stop it. Try it. Ow, hey. Try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> See, it's really good. Dinosaurs eat stuff like that. Aren't you a dinosaur? Uh, okay, Jeffy. Look, it's good. Just eat it. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> Did Jeffy like his spinach? I don't know. Let's see. Jeffy, did you like your spinach? Ooga, booga, booga, booga! Ah! Stupid dog, you made 
make me look bad. Jimmy, you look even worse. Your eyes get me out of your head. What is going on? Wait, what's this mallet doing here? Oh, my bad. Marvin, we need to call a doctor right now. Oh, okay. Well, we have to call a doctor. Jimmy, do you think you're allergic to the spinach? Yeah, I told you if there was anything I was going to be allergic to, it'd be this. Oh, look, I'm so sorry, Jimmy. I'm sorry for trying to make you eat this. Let's go call a doctor. Come on. Cookies. Hey there, you are calling me a lot today. Look, I gave my son Jeffy a can of spinach and his face got even worse. <laughs> you sure you didn't give him cream spinach? Because you look like he got creamed. You know, like when somebody says, I'm going to cream you. Wait, that's from the hub. Never mind. Well, what's going on? Look, look, Jeffy's face is getting worse and worse. Do you do something about it? Well, he's obviously allergic to all the stuff you're giving him. And you can't help him? I'm not really good with allergies. The only thing I'm allergic to is fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass? Yeah, I know. It's kind of a stupid thing to be allergic to. But let me tell you how I found out about it. So, a few years ago, I go outside to check my mail. And I see my neighbor Chuck cutting his grass. And I'm like, Chuck, what the hell are you doing? It's like 95 degrees out here. You're going to get heat stroke. But I guess he just likes cutting his grass. So, I go to check my mail. And I smell all that fresh cut grass grass and I fall on the ground and I start choking and I start seizing up and when the ambulance gets there they tell me it's because I'm allergic to fresh cut grass so then a few years after that I joined the military and I'm at war in a place that's really grassy and I'm behind enemy lines getting shot at and all that and then all of a sudden the enemy starts charging us with lawnmowers cutting all the grass in sight so I smell that grass again and I start seizing up and I can't breathe and I almost died but then I got to meet the president and he gave me a purple heart because I'm a hero so yeah that's what I'm allergic to Okay, well, how's that gonna help with Jeffy? You gotta help us figure out what's going on because it looks like he's about to die. Well, look, every time you give him vegetables, he just keeps getting worse and worse. So I shouldn't give him any more vegetables. Ding, ding, ding! Cookies! Jeffy, you can't just eat cookies. Doctor, what is healthier than vegetables? I don't know. What are you, like, five? Give him fruit or something. No, fruits are too yummy. I, I don't want Wow, to... Daddy, screw you! No, no, fruits are just, like, really bright and colorful. I want him to eat something healthy, like fish or... Look, Jeffy, we will find something for you to eat. Come on, let's find... What it. about cookies? Daddy, just let me eat cookies! No, Jeffy, you're not gonna eat cookies! A cookie a day keeps the doctor away. Look, Jeffy, you're gonna eat macaroni and cheese! But Daddy, you ruined it by putting boogers in it! Those aren't boogers! Marvin, the doctor said that Jeffy can't eat any more vegetables. Baby, I'm just trying to make sure he's not faking it. Faking it? Look at his face! Yeah, Daddy, I'm not faking it! It's not like I'm hitting myself in the face with a baseball bat or a mallet! I have to be clinically insane to do something like that! Sometimes I wonder if you're insane, Jeffy. Marvin! Uh, listen, Jeffy, just eat it. Look, it's macaroni and cheese. It's yummy. You're gonna love it! But Daddy, you keep insisting that I eat vegetables, and now I'm gonna have the worst allergic reaction yet, and my ear's gonna fall off! Your ear's not gonna fall off, Jeffy. Don't be ridiculous. All right, we'll see! Come on, baby. Let's let him eat. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, did you enjoy your mac and cheese? I can't hear you, Daddy. What'd you say? Marvin, his ear fell off! Look what you did, Daddy! This is all your fault! But, Jeffy, you did not lose your ear by eating vegetables! Yes, I did, because I'm allergic! Wait a second, Marvin. What are those scissors doing here? Shit. What, scissors? Wait a minute. Scissors, the mallet, and the bat. The scissors, the mallet, and the bat in the dining room where Jeffy was eating his vegetables, and now he looks like that! You just figured out Blue's Clues. You just figured out Blue's Clues. You just figured out Blue's Clues because I did it to myself. Oh, what? You did it to yourself, Jimmy? Yes, because all I wanted was cookies. Jimmy, cookies is not worth all this. Yes, it is. I hate green beans. Jimmy, you are insane. And don't you forget it. Marvin, you... just let him eat the damn cookies before he dies. Fine, Jimmy. You want cookies that bad? Eat all the damn cookies you want. But when you get fat, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Can we at least put your ear back on, Jimmy? <sighs> He's insane. Yes. Jeffy, you're not going to use my card. Why do you need 50 bucks? Daddy, check it. I found this girl online, and she said she would eat a hot fudge sundae off my junk for 25 bucks behind Walgreens. For 25 bucks? Then why do you need 50? Because I wanted to do it twice. That's a lot of ice cream, Jeffy. Yeah, hopefully she's not lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant? Uh-huh. Mm, I only have $100. Well, then four times it is. She's going to do it no times, Jeffy. Well, then do you want me to ask for change? What? No, no, Jeffy. Listen, she's not going to do it 
at all because I don't want you eating ice cream in my car. Well, here's the thing, Daddy. I'm not eating ice cream. She is. I'm just the bulb. <laughs> well, no, Jeffy. I don't want any ice cream activities happening in my car. Just, just go get a job or something. What do you want me to do what she does for a living? Well, no, Jeffy. Just go to your room and play, please. <sighs> all right, Daddy. I guess I'll ask her if she can get me a discount. No, no discount. Just No, you're not going to do it. Marvin, maybe we should get Jeffy a car. Well, why would we get Jeffy a car? So we can go to Walgreens and do ice cream stuff? No, but he could get a job and drive himself to and from work. I guess you're right. If we do get him a car, he, he can go to get a job and he's 18 now, so he can start being an adult. But we only have $100. Maybe I can go see if we can get like a cheap used car. Yeah, okay, Marvin. All right, baby. I just got Jeffy a very used car. Is it nice? It's... It's a car. Uh-oh, you hesitated. No, baby, it's good enough for Jeffy to go find a job, drive to work, and go do his ice cream festivities. Okay. All right, Daddy, check it. I got her down to 20 bucks. So if we take that 100 over there, you go two times, I'll go three times. No, Jeffy. All right, fine, I'll let you go first. Well, no, Jeffy, but me and your mom got you a very late 18th birthday gift. <gasps> Did you get her to come here? I gotta go clean my room. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, it's in the driveway. Daddy, you don't have to call her an it. Her pronouns are he, she, him, hers. It said it on the profile. Jeffy, though, listen, it's not whatever you're talking to. Come outside. All right, Jeffy. Surprise! Surprise! You guys got me a car? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old now, so you might want to get out of the house, get a job, make your own money. Marvin? Can I pick up fat hoes? Jeffy! What, 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 why are they going to be fat? More cushion for the pushing, Daddy. Well, uh, Jeffy, you can pick up whoever you want in that car, because it's your car, and you can do whatever you want with it. Daddy, can I pimp my ride and spray paint my car yellow? No, Jeffy, you cannot spray paint it yellow. But you said I can do whatever I want to my car. You did say that, Marvin. But spray paint's going to look so ugly, and it looks so nice right now. But, Daddy, I want to pimp my ride. Uh, you know what, Jeffy? Do whatever you want. Just, just go look for a job, please. That's all I needed to hear, Daddy. Oh, he's Come gonna, on, Marvin. He's going to ruin the car. It's time to Jeffy-fy this hoe. And done. The Jeffy Mobile is complete. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just got done spray paint my car, Junior. Whoa, you got a new car? It's so sick. It says your name on the hood. Yeah, I call it the hoe puller because it pulls hoes. Check out where they sit, Junior. Oh, shit here. That's so awesome. Yeah, and check out the trunk. It says, Shibby. Oh, can we go for a ride? Sure, Junior. Let's go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals. Holes love Happy Meals. They will suck your Kremlin. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, Junior. You ready to get some Mickey D's? Yeah. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> let's try some tunes. All right. <laughs> I'm riding my Spider-Man bike. I'm just like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 when he was delivering pizzas on his bicycle. That movie had Dr. Octopus in it. It was so crazy. Jeffy is trying to pull hose, to pull hose, to pull hose. Jeffy is trying to pull hose in this car. He's gonna help me do it. Woo! What, Jeffy, what was that noise? Oh, no, Junior just keeps singing. Jeffy is trying oh, to I, pull hose. I think you hit something. Pull... No, I didn't. Junior just keeps singing. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy is trying to pull hose. Jesus Christ. What do we got, Simmons? Looks like a hit and run, mate. Ah, he didn't quit it, just like he used to do in college. So how's the victim? He was airlifted to the ICU. He's in a coma. Hmm. So we're not going to be getting any answers out of him anytime soon. Any evidence left behind? Uh, not that I see. Wait, what's this? Look, Simmons, yellow paint. Oh, I thought that was mustard. I thought he was eating a hot dog while he was riding his bike. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is just yellow paint. Well, why would he eat a hot dog with yellow paint on it? That'd what? make him sick. No, no, S Simmons, like, it, it was it was a yellow car, and it left its paint behind when it hit the bike. Well, what if the car was covered in mustard? <sighs> okay, Simmons, you know, I really appreciate how you think outside the box sometimes, but this is not one of those times. We need to find a yellow car. Well, it could be the Oscar Mayer mobile. Oh, okay, you, you look for that. I'm gonna go find a yellow car. All right. Hey, Danny! Me and Junior just went and got Happy Meals. Peep the box. Happy as fuck. Jeffy, language! You didn't go to Walgreens, did you, Jeffy? Oh, man, Danny completely forgot about Walgreens. I'm gonna need that hundred bucks. No, Jeffy, that's why we got you that car, so you can go get your own job and make your own money. Oh, maybe I can get a job at Walgreens. Then on my lunch break, I can go in the back and have an ice cream party. Every day would be a Sunday. Beep. No, Jeffy, how about you get a job at McDonald's? But he, she, him, hers, they, them isn't at McDonald's, Daddy. The news. Breaking news, okay? There was a hit and run involving a child on a bicycle, and police need your help to find out who did it. Mr. Goodman is on scene now with an eyewitness who saw the whole thing. 
Goodman? I'm here at the scene of the crime where a yellow car has struck a child on a bicycle and left the scene. I'm here with the only reported witness, Cody Nutkiss. Now tell me, Cody, give me every detail of what happened. Don't leave out any details. Well, I was just sitting here eating my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and all of a sudden I heard a BAM, so I guess that's what that was. Truly remarkable and very graphic detail. Now, police are on the scene now, so if you have any information as to a yellow car missing paint, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no, I hope that poor kid is okay. Good thing we don't know anyone that owns a yellow car. Damn it, they forgot my toy. Wait a minute, Jeffy, you spray painted your car yellow, right? I sure did, Daddy, and that hole looked clean. I'm talking yellow like a banana. Oh wait, that's where I could work, Daddy. I could start my own paint and body shop. I could call it Jeffy's Blow and Go, or Jeffy's Spray and Pay. I spray it, you pay it. Wait, so Jeffy, did you hit anything while you were driving today? Daddy, the only thing I hit was the gas pedal to get where I was going. I'm talking here. But like you didn't hit like anything like, like a kid on a bike? No, but they did add a weird speed bump in the neighborhood today. What? Hmm, if you were a yellow car, Simmons, where would you park it? Is that a trick question? No. Because you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Wait, wait, Simmons, look over there. Well, 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 Simmons. If I had a dog, his name would be Bingo. What does this car have to do with your dog? Wait, no, S Simmons, I'm saying that we found the car we were looking for. What type of dog are you going to get, mate? I I'm not getting a dog, Simmons. I'm saying that we found the car. I like cockapoos. Okay, great, but I'm saying we found the car because it's a yellow car that has scratches on it. Oh, so no mustard. No, no, no mustard. Now let's go knock on the door and serve up a hot plate of justice. Good, because I'm hungry. Who's at the door? Uh, uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, what do you fine officers want? Fine officers? <laughs> Buy me dinner first, handsome. I hook up with his mom. Oh, God, you have to mention that today? Uh, do you guys have a warrant? What? Okay, that was the most guilty thing you could have said. What would do? Do you have one? Because I don't know what you could be doing here. Okay, look, I don't know if you heard, but there was a hit and run today involving a yellow car, and we found a yellow car parked in your driveway. Oh, well, that's my son's car. Oh, can we have a word with your son? Uh, yeah, sure, come in. Who's at the door, Marvin? It's the cops. Good, because I would like to file a report against McDonald's for forgetting my Happy Meal toy. Oh, I hate when they do that, especially when it's like a limited edition toy. And I really hate when they give you the toy you already got last time. It's like, you should know that I already have this toy. It's stupid. Why are the cops here? Oh, well, there was a hit and run involving a yellow car, and your son happens to have a yellow car. How do you know it was my car? Well, because there are scratches on your car, and there's yellow paint on the bike you hit. Well, how do you know it's not mustard on the bike? It, it's not mustard. Did you taste it? I... I did not. Hold on, I'll go taste it. Jeffy, if you did it, you should go admit to it right now. They'll give you less time if you admit to it. I plead the fifth. Ugh. Oh God, no, that that is paint. That is not mustard. You definitely hit that bike. Well, what if the kid on the bike hit my parked car? Hmm, damn, I hadn't thought of that. He's got us there, Simmons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Hello? What? The kid woke up from his coma? That's great! Well, you heard me, the kid woke up from his coma. So I'm gonna go ask him what happened. Oh, Jeffy, you're gonna go to jail. I didn't even do anything. Hey, kid, how you feeling? Where am I? Why does my body hurt? Oh, well, you got hit by a car and you just woke up from a coma. That's so crazy. Yeah, listen, we need you to tell us if you remember getting hit by a car. Oh, yeah, I was delivering pizzas like a Spider-Man 2, and then all of a sudden his car came, and I tried to jump over with my spider powers, but I didn't. Wait, so you were actually trying to jump over the car? Yeah, but my webs couldn't attach to anything, so I got hit. Oh, uh, you're the real Spider-Man? Yeah! Oh my god, Simmons. We have to protect this kid's identity at all costs. If he presses charges, everyone's gonna find out his real name. We can't have that. Don't worry, kid. Your secret's safe with us. Hey there. What'd the kid say? Well, I can't divulge that information because of the Hippo Act, but I may or may not have met Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Him. I met him. Or maybe I didn't. Did you meet him or not? I don't know, maybe maybe I met him, maybe the kid was him, maybe he was the kid, I don't know, maybe he's Spider-Man, maybe he's not, who knows? The kid's Spider-Man? Oh, who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that, he's not He's not Spider-Man, unless he is Spider-Man, I, I don't know, I didn't say that. Spider-Man's real? Yes, he's real, and I met him, maybe. Well, oh, okay, so what's going on, is the kid pressing charges or not? No, Spider-Man is not pressing charges. So the kid is Spider-Man? No, no, I didn't I didn't say that. You, you said the kid is Spider-Man, you said the Spider-Man's not pressing charges. Sp Spider-Man is his lawyer. Look, stop asking me questions, okay? I need to go get an autograph. What? All right, Jeffy, uh, do you learn a lesson from today? Daddy, she agreed to me here! Wait, who? The ice cream he, she, him, her! Who's that? It, it, them! Hello? Hey, I'm here to eat ice cream sundaes for 20 bucks. Jeffy, dinner's ready! Oh man, I 
can't wait to eat pizza. Daddy, what is this? It's a hot dog, Jeffy. I don't want a wiener in my mouth, Daddy. That sucks. You've had hot dogs before, Jeffy. Just eat it. No. Baby, can you get him a napkin so he doesn't make a mess? Okay. What, Jeffy, you ate that hot dog already? He did? Sure did, Mommy. I scarfed that wiener down like a girl trying to get her rent paid. Jeffy! Well, that's what they do. We know, Jeffy. Do you want another one? You ate that really fast. No, Daddy, I'm full. You're a growing boy, Jeffy. I'm gonna get you more. Here's three more, Jeffy. But Daddy, the rent's already paid. Well, you can get ahead on rent. Baby, can you get him a drink so he doesn't choke? Okay. What, Jeffy, you already ate all three hot dogs? Wow, you ate that so fast. Sure did. Can I go play toys now? Baby, we should sign up Jeffy to a hot dog eating contest. Marvin, I don't think we should profit off of Jeffy eating unhealthy food. Oh, come on. He's going to make millions of dollars. Jeffy, do you want to make millions of dollars eating hot dogs? Yeah, could be good. Could be shit. See, he doesn't care. Look, I'm going to call a food competition eating advisor man judge. What? I, I don't know. I'm going to call someone. Hey there, somebody call a hot dog eating fast committee advisor man? Wait, you're from the board meeting of fast eating food people? <laughs> I, I think I am. That sounds right. Uh, yes, yes I am. What, look, what I'm here to do is to just test how long it takes him to eat a hot dog to see if he can be in a hot dog eating contest. Well, Jeffy can eat a hot dog really fast. Tell him, Jeffy. Yeah, I can eat it really fast. Yeah, so, so he, he, I think we can set a world record. Okay, well, see, I have this timer here. And what I'm going to do is test how long it takes him to eat one hot dog, and then I'm going to do the math to see how many hot dogs he could eat in 10 minutes. Okay, Jeffy, are you ready? Yep. Okay, and go. I have to sneeze. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, you ate that so fast? That only took you like four seconds. That's like that's like 150 hot dogs in 10 minutes. That'll blow the world record out of the water. What's the world record? 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Oh my God, Jeff, you're gonna set a world record. No, 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 well, hold on, hold on. There's been a lot of cheating in the hot dog eating community, okay? There's been a lot of people who've been like, hey, look over there, and then they just throw the hot dogs over their shoulder into like a flower pot or something. Oh no. Yeah, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is see if he can eat five more of these bad boys, and then I'm gonna time them, okay? Okay, let, let me get Jeffy five more hot dogs. All right, Jeffy, here's five hot dogs. All right, now when you eat these hot dogs, I'm gonna watch you like a hawk to make sure you're not cheating, okay? My eyes are never gonna leave your mouth, got it? Yep. All right, let me start the timer. Oh wait, I, I can't look at the timer because I have to watch you. Mm. I can start the timer. No, no, I have to do it because if you do it, you might tamper with it. Hold on, I'll get it. Uh, go up, go up, and to the, to the right. More up, more up. Right, right there, right there. Did I get it? Yes. Go! Uh, mommy, why is your nipple out? Okay. What? what? No, it isn't. Oh, oh my god, did you eat them already? Oh my god, that was so fast. I wish I could have seen it, but when somebody says nipple, I just jump like a dog. Well, wait, Jeff, you ate five hot dogs in nine seconds? Yeah. That's pretty good. Man, I guess I'll have to take your word for it, but I mean, there's nowhere else you could have hidden them, so they have to be in your belly, and I couldn't possibly ask you to eat five more hot dogs. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I officially declare you a hot dog eating contest contestant. Wait, wait, Jeffy's a contestant? Yeah, he can compete in hot dog eating competitions. That's so awesome, Jeffy! You can try to win millions of dollars now! Great! Alright, but you better train up, because the contest is tomorrow. Wait, it's tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, Jeffy, you need to get to training right now. I think I'm good, Daddy. My throwing arm is ready. What, your throwing arm? Yeah, because I'm going to throw the hot dogs into my mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to be ready tomorrow. All right, I'll see you all there, but keep your nipples in your shirts, okay? I'm kind of a horn dog. <laughs> I don't know why I'm married. I mean, I can shop around, but I can't buy anything. I did hire an escort one time because I had a plus one for my daughter's piano recital, and I wanted the other dads to think I had some arm candy, you know, but then I caught her banging the janitor, and everybody thought she was my wife, so that was just even more embarrassing. So now whenever I go to pick up my daughter from school, everyone's like, oh, you, your wife banged the janitor. And my daughter's like, Dad, why did Mom do that? And I'm like, that wasn't your mother. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, Jeffy, let's train for that hot dog eating contest. Let me get you more hot dogs. All right. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, do you want to put sticky notes on people's windshields so they can crash their cars when they drive? That sounds so sick. But, guys, people are going to notice the sticky notes on their windshields before they even start driving. Okay, we'll put the sticky notes on their windshield while they're driving. What? Oh, okay, first of all, the wind would blow the sticky notes off the car, and also, how are we going to get onto a moving car? We'll stand on an overpass, or we'll wait for the car to drive under it, and then we'll jump, land on the windshield, and start putting sticky notes. But, Junior, we're not Deadpool. That would kill us. Stop ruining and all the fun, dude. You're so lame. Hey, guys, hold in. We're trying to find something fun to do. But Cody's ruining all the fun. I just don't want to get hit by a car. Well, I'm joining a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> Did somebody say long meat sticks and throat holes? No one said that. He said hot dog eating contest. Yeah, it's the same thing. I can do that. You can't do that. It's an eating contest, not a sucking contest. <laughs> I can multitask. Just ask Ken. I can churn butter while blowing a trumpet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How many hot dogs can you eat, Jeffy? I can eat 150 hot dogs in 10 minutes. <laughs> Child's play. I can double that. 
that number. Wait, do we have to use only our mouths, or can we use all of the entrances of the body? All the entrances? Oh yeah, none of my holes are exits. Any hole's a goal. <laughs> I'm used to an intruder busting in the back door. Cody, it would take you ten minutes to eat one hot dog. Pfft, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, whatever, man. Could somebody please inform Junior of how gay I am? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody want to tell him? Flaming. Yep, I'm flaming. That's right. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, uh, Jeffy, can you please get uh, Cody a hot dog to see how fast I can eat it? Yep. I want to see how fast you can eat it, Cody. Okay. All right, Junior, here's the hot dog you asked for. All right, Cody. Wait, why do you have your shirt off? Oh, well, I just didn't want my shirt constricting me from eating the wiener. And plus, I do better with my clothes off anyway. But I kept my bow tie on, because I'm a gentleman, not a whore. Well, we're going to time you and see how fast you can eat this hot dog. So, Joseph, when I say go, you start the timer, okay? Okay, dude. All right, Cody, you're going to try to eat the hot dog as fast as you can. I know how to do it, Junior. Three, two, one, go! On the knees, hit her back. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Cody, you're faster than that. Come on, it's already, it's already almost 10 seconds. Come on, Cody. Take all of it. Go. Keep going. As good as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought you were fast. Go. Go. Uh, how fast was that? Uh, how fast was that? Oh, 23 seconds. Oh, not my best time, but I enjoyed myself. Well, Cody, there's no way you're going to beat Jeffy at that time. Hey, look, okay, it's been a long time since I took a wiener that big. Maybe if I had friends that would let me practice on them, I wouldn't suck. Well, I, I mean, I would suck, but I wouldn't suck at sucking. I, I would suck. I, I, you know what I mean. Look, well, you didn't even finish the whole thing. That wouldn't count as eating a whole one. Look, Cody, just leave the hot dog eating to Jeffy. He's, he's good at it. No, I'm going to enter this hot dog eating contest, and I'm going to win. You'll see. Oh, whatever. Well, I'm going to go practice, guys. I'll see you later. I'd rather put sticky notes on cars. Right? Hello and welcome to the International Hot Dog Eating Competition. I'm your host, Steve Staleberger, and with me is the judge, Brooklyn T. Guy. <laughs> More like Steve Stale Hot Dog, right? Because... Because this is a hot dog eating contest, and your last name is Stale Burger, so... Stale hot dog. <laughs> okay. Let's meet our contestants! These four fat asses are gonna commit one of the seven deadly sins for our entertainment. They're gonna cram their guts full of hot dogs until they can't no more. Our first contestant is Tubby at So McPherson! Oh man, he sure look good! <laughs> man, Steve, I'd hate to give him a piggyback ride. You know, because he's fat and I'm not very strong. Our next contestant is Cody Raw Dog Nutkiss. Uh, I never asked to see the rules. Do we have to use our mouth? Oh man, how do you eat that many hot dogs and still have a body like that? I want his workout secret. Then maybe my wife wouldn't cheat on me. All right, our next contestant is Jeffy Dog Slinger Jeffy. Wait. This is going to be televised? Of course it is, dumb shit. For the entire world to see me kick your ass in arena swallowing. Oh, what am I going to do? Now, I personally saw that kid eat hot dogs yesterday, and man, I'm telling you, that kid can eat them fast. He's like a machine. Our final contestant is 25-time winner, Teriyaki Kobayashi! Come on, bring it, stupid Americans! Man, chopsticks really didn't slow him down. You know, if I used chopsticks, I'd be a lot thinner. It, you know, because they're so hard to use. Like, I can't pick anything up. Like, why? Just use a fork. All right, contestants! When I say go, you have 10 minutes to eat as many hot dogs as you can! Get ready! Okay, Jeffy, the competition's about to start. Are you okay? No. W why not? I'm not okay because I can't eat this many hot dogs. Sure you can, Jeffy. I saw you eat this many hot dogs at the house. You're fine. Have you, Daddy? Have you seen me eat this many hot dogs before? Yeah, you ate a plate of five of them in like two seconds. You you've ate them before. It everything's good. No, because I was distracting you, and when you weren't looking, I was throwing them into the flower pot behind me. Wait, what? Yeah, I've never eaten this many hot dogs. I can eat maybe one, maybe two, but not this many. What? Jeffy, 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 you're screwing with me. Well, what? on live TV, you, you, can't, you can't be doing this right now. You ate all those hot dogs, right? No, I didn't, Daddy. I'm telling you right now that I didn't eat any of those hot dogs. I was just throwing them behind me. Jeffy! Well, on national TV, I, I wanted the prize money, Jeffy! Well, if you want the prize money so bad, you can get over here and eat all these hot dogs. Look, look, look Jeffy, you cheated your way here. You're going to cheat your way to win. What, is he trying to put him in his butt, too? Can, can we not do that? Can somebody clear this up for me? Because, I mean, if so, I'll just sit on the plate, and then when I stand up, it'll be squeaky clean. <laughs> Every crumb in my bum. But can you ask, though? Uh, listen, Jeffy, look, I'm going to try to distract the judges, but you're going to try to win this. Just do your best to try to look like you're eating them and hide them or something. I'll do what I can, buddy. All right, we're ready to start. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> 
God, nobody answered my question, so I'm just gonna put them in my butt. <laughs> Hurry up, dumb shit! You're in the last place! <laughs> Man, the fat one sure is chowing down! Which fat one, Steve? Uh, hey, uh, does anyone know where the bathroom is? Hey, no spectators allowed in the booth! Yeah, sure, man, it's just down the hall on the left next to the vending machine. But, I mean, hey, just a heads up, that vending machine does not work, okay? It ate my dollar, and I really wish I had that dollar back, because there's another vending machine that does work, like, two halls down, and that one has cheese its Hey, focus on the competition! Wait, wait, did you notice that, uh, three of the, three of the contestants have nipples out? What, nipples? No, really? Oh, nipples, these nipples. Yeah, see, Jeremy doesn't have a nipple out. Don't look at him, don't look at him, look over there. Oh, 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 oh nipples. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mm. Mm. Hey, he's a throw your hot dogs in. No, I'm not. Whoa there, throwing food is an immediate disqualification. You two are disqualified. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Disqualified? No, I have not lost in 25 years. I'll kill you. Yeah, it's right. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah, sock him in the mouth. Oh, man, now this is fun to watch. Security, could you please get these two bozos out of here? <laughs> oh, come on, bugger. Stop your fun. Go on, show, show. Thank you, security. Well, that was my son, so I, I guess I'll just go. What's this? It looks like we have a winner! <laughs> okay, okay, my colon's about to burst, but I did it. <laughs> the winner is Cody Spastic Colon Nutkiss! Oh, I did it? Really, I won? <laughs> Take that, Junior and Joseph. Oh, man, I gotta poop. <sighs> Hi Marvin, how did the competition go? Jeffy got disqualified for fighting another contestant. Oh no, is Jeffy okay? I sure am, mommy. Aw, Jeffy, I just know you would have won if you hadn't gotten to that fight. No, he would not win. He was never going to win because he actually wasn't eating the hot dogs this whole time. What? Yeah, he said he was throwing them over in the corner in the flower pot. I told you, daddy. Look, just shut up, Jeffy. Don't get my hopes up about winning prize money ever again. Well, can you go get me some pizza? Jeffy, say please. <clears throat> Go! Ow! Hey, chumps. You're looking at the newest hot dog eating champion. What, you actually won, Cody? Yeah, although it's more like the hot dog stuffing champion, because my caboose is all full of meat. How much did you win, dude? Yeah, how much money did you win? Oh, there was no prize. The only prize was my free medium french fries that I get every week. Yeah, that's right. We remembered, and we're going to keep doing it, too. Oh, yeah, hold these, Ken. Look at these french fries. Mmm. I'm mm, so tired of you and your so french fries. Good. They're I so do. good and they're free. Mm, mm, mm. my friends. No, Jeffy, we're watching a movie right now. But Danny, I gotta catch these dubs. Catch these dubs? Is that a disease? No, these W's. What are W's? Because when starts with a W, I gotta catch these wins, Daddy. Don't worry, Marvin. We're just getting old. All the kids are talking like that nowadays. Baby, I think I know what he's saying. He's saying he wants to win the game. Well, you can win the game later. But my friends won't be on later. Well, that sucks for them. Come on, Marvin. Just let him play one game. But what? I thought we were watching a movie. Come on, Marvin, please. Well, okay, Jeffy, you can play one game and then you gotta leave. All right. You hear that, guys? Ready the F up. I've been ready. Yeah, I was ready the whole time, dude. Well, I'll be ready as soon as Ken gets his butt out of my face. Well, wait, come back. Okay, fine, I'm ready. All right, where are we landing, guys? You already know the spot. We're going to Tilted Towers. Oh, yeah? We're going to walk out of there with about nine of limbs. Is, is nine of limbs good? Guys, my old fart daddy just asked me if Nine Eliminations was good. <laughs> what a noob. <laughs> Boomer. Guys, guess who's playing with one hand right now? What, what are you doing with the other hand? Shimmy. I, I don't know what that means. What? Guys, I got a gold gun right off the rip. Oh, dude, I got a shotgun. But Jeffy, what kind of guns you got? Currently looking for one, Junior. Yeah, me too. And currently getting shot at. Well, don't die. We just landed, Jeffy. I'm trying, but I'm lagging. I'm running in place right now. Oh, come on. I'm trying my pings at 9,000. I got more ping than a Chinese phone book. What, is, is ping good? I don't know, Marvin. Is, is ping good? But Je Jeffy, you're going to die. Oh, no. No, dick. Well, Jeffy, do not talk like that. Come Jeffy! Jeffy! Her Spaniel, the dog! Well, Jeffy, stop saying bad words like that. You're only saying that because you're around your friends. Oh, you think it's because of my friends? Well, Daddy, the internet is dick. Well, Jeffy, do not say if you say dick one more time, you're grounded. Well, Daddy, guess what the internet is? What? Dick. Jeffy, stop me. That is it. You are grounded. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't going to play anymore anyway because the lag is so bad. Because of this McDonald's internet. We do not have McDonald's internet, Jeffy. McDonald's like five miles away. Well, then move me closer to a McDonald's because then maybe my signal will be better. Well, Jeffy, listen, we have internet here and it's fine. The internet is perfectly fine. No, 
it's not. Call the internet company and have them fix it. Well, well, it then it wouldn't hurt to get better Wi-Fi. You gonna take his side? If he gets better Wi-Fi, he can sit in his room, play his games, and we can be alone. <sighs> I guess you're right if I do have better internet. Okay, well listen, even though when I, even if I get the internet fixed, you're still grounded so you can't play on it anyway. Okay, that's fine. It'll be better next time when I'm not grounded. Oh, okay, l l let me call them. Great. Okay, Jeffy, I'm calling the internet company. Thank you. Hello, this is Camille Habib Habab. Camille is in camel. Habib Habab is in corn on the cob. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Uh, yes, my internet is being really slow. No, Daddy, tell him how bad it really is. He needs to know. My son says the internet is dick. Oh, I'm so sorry you're experiencing dick internet. Let me pull up your account and see what I can find out for you. Oh, I see the problem. When I pull up your account associated for the phone number in which you are calling, it shows here that you are currently paying for the lowest internet package. Marvin, what is he saying? He said I'm paying for the lowest internet package. Well, how much for the fastest one? How much for the fastest internet? Well, currently you're paying $2 a month for dick internet. If you'd like to upgrade to the fastest internet, it would be $200 a month. $200 a month? How good would it be? Not dick? It would be not dick for $200 a month internet. I don't know, Marvin. That's a lot of money. Well, let's do it! Let's pay for it! Well, hold on, hold on. Is there any way to fix my internet without upgrading it? Like, could you send a guy out here to see if, like, he can unplug it or plug it back in or something? Well, we can try troubleshooting it. I would have to send a technician out and he will have to assess the problem with the internet, but it could work. Oh, okay, yeah. Send out a technician before we do any upgrades. I don't want to spend that kind of money right no, now. No, I want to upgrade, Daddy! Let's upgrade! Shush, Jeffy! Okay, look, send the technician. All right, the technician will be there any minute. All right, thank you. Daddy, pass the puff. What? what? The puff that you're puffing to get you this high to think well, we don't need faster internet. Uh, Jeffy, listen, th listen, they're sending a technician to try to fix our current internet, and before we spend $200 a month, that's a lot of money, Jeffy. Daddy, $200 a month is a small price to pay for me to catch dubs. Jeffy, you can catch dubs on the internet once the technician fixes our current internet. Listen, Jeffy, he'll be here any minute. Well, you're hot. <laughs> there he is, right now. The internet's gonna be fixed right now. Just sit right here and be patient. Hello? Hey there, I'm here to fix your crappy internet. Oh, thank God you're here. My son's been complaining about it all day. Oh yeah, kids these days sure do love their internet. I don't understand it. I think kids should just go outside, you know? Throw a football around. Get bit by a snake. Get stung by a wasp. See how long you can stick your hand in an ant pile. Put a jellyfish down your pants, you know? Live! There's a whole world of dangerous animals out there, and you just want to sit inside and play video games? Lame! Yeah, yeah. you want to fix the internet? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here's the internet box. Look, all the green lights are on, so why is it so slow? Well, I mean, you do have the cheapest internet. Okay, so can you do something to make it faster? Um, hmm, well, I mean, I guess I could unplug some wires, you know, maybe cut a few. What, cut some wires? Why? Oh, well, you know, you might have some bad wires. I'll just, you know, snip those real quick. And uh, are you sure you know what you're doing? You're asking me if I know what I'm doing? I work for the internet company. They wouldn't have hired me if I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, okay, I was just making sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna deal with this and I'll come get you when I'm done. Uh, okay. All right, Jeffy, the technician is working on the internet. Well, he's not doing a very good job because now the internet's out completely. Because he's working on it, Jeffy. That's why it's not working. Uh, hey, so I goofed. How'd you goof? Um, it turns out you're not supposed to cut all the wires. I told you that, but you said the internet company hired me. I know what I'm doing. Hey, listen, man, I watch a lot of movies, okay? You know, and in the movies, the bomb squads, they defuse the bombs by cutting the colored wires. So I was cutting the red one, and I thought it would blow up, but it didn't. The internet just went out. So now I don't have any internet. Well, I mean, it's not that much worse than what you already had. You had dick internet. <laughs> no, I don't have any more internet. Jeffy, calm down. All right, look, look. I want to upgrade my internet. I don't want the most expensive. I want the level above mine. Well, what, what, what's the level above mine? Well, the level above dick would be ass. What? Well, you have dick internet, and then above that would be ass internet. How good is that? I mean, it's ass. And when you're using it, you're not going to go, man, this internet's dick. You're going to go, this is ass. Okay, what's above that? Above that would be shitty internet. What's above that? Above that would be poor internet, and then above that would be McDonald's Wi-Fi internet, and then above that would be Walmart parking lot internet, and then above that would be IHOP Wi-Fi internet, and then above that is your basic internet, and that's where it starts to get usable. How much is basic internet? That's a hundred bucks a month. Oh man, that's expensive. How much is ass? Marvin, just get the basic internet! Uh, baby, a hundred dollars a month is expensive. How much is ass? It's four dollars a month. That sounds like a deal, Jeffy. No, let's get the most expensive one! Jeffy, we can't afford that. Listen, I wish there was a way that we can have fast internet without paying a lot of money, but it's just not an option. Hmm. Okay, listen, man. I'll tell you what. You give me a hundred bucks right now, I will give you your neighbor's Wi-Fi password. He has the best internet, okay? It is God-tier internet. It's the fastest you can get. 
Will, will, will he know that we're on his internet? Oh, Orphan, no. Orphan, you can't do that. That's illegal. It's stealing. Or, baby, shut up. Men are talking. Okay, will he know that we're on his Wi-Fi? Oh, no way, dude. No, his internet's so fast, 50 people could be using it, and it wouldn't drop at all. Okay, you know what? Here. Here's 100 bucks. We want his Wi-Fi password. Okay, his password is Haywood Jablomi. Let's type that in, Jeffy. What is it again? Haywood Jablomi. Oh, hey, look, it worked! Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah, so, point. so would you? What? Hmm? No, 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 nothing. You you enjoy that neighbor Wi-Fi. Oh, thank you so much. Baby, I'm sorry for yelling at you, but look, I, we just got a deal. We have internet for free now. We're just using the neighbors. Marvin, isn't Jeffy grounded? But, Mommy! Hush your mouth! Zip your hole! Yeah, Jeffy, you are grounded. So, you know, after this game, you gotta get off. But, Daddy, I've already gotten, like, two eliminations. I got three gold guns, and I'm already at, like, 500 mats each. Oh, Jeffy, just... Let me Sue's at the door. Just, just keep playing your game, I guess. Hello? Hey, hey are, are you stealing this guy's internet? Uh, but no, what are, you, what are you talking about? I noticed an unauthorized device on my IP broadband connection, and I stream and mine Bitcoin, and I noticed a slowing in my speeds. So I want to know who's fucking me. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 what he's trying to say is somebody is using his internet, so somehow, and he wants to press charges. Because that's stealing, and I traced the device back to this address. Well, it's not me. I, I can promise you I do not have a device connected to your internet. How would I even get the password? Yeah, 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 yeah. How would he even get the password? Hmm. I guess I'll have to go back to my house and change my password. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. Oh, man, I'm so sorry about him. That guy is nuts. Can you believe him? He noticed his internet drop by just a little bit. Well, what am I going to do for internet now? Well, I mean, I guess I can go back over there and try to get his new password. Oh, no, he'll notice, and he'll come back over here and try to press more charges. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, man. I've done all I can. Well, come on. That's got to be something you can do. Well, I guess all you're going to have to do now is just move closer to a McDonald's. Oh, thanks for nothing. But Okay, jeez. Oh, mommy, I'm about to get this win. Oh, get this win, daddy. What, what the? Daddy! What's wrong, Jeffy? I got kicked off the internet. I thought you paid. Well, the cops were downstairs with the neighbor. He found out we were stealing his internet, and he changed the password. Marvin, I told you it was a bad idea. We should have just paid for Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi is so expensive. You just wasted $100. We could have put it towards one month of basic internet. Or that would have been half of the good internet. Listen, Jeffy, listen, listen. I promise you'll be able to play games on the internet today. How? We don't even have Wi-Fi! Look, I have an idea. Grab your controller, grab your system, follow me. Okay. See, Jeffy, I told you I'd get you Wi-Fi, didn't I? Oh! Oh! I just got a win, boy! Emote on that hoe! Emote on that hoe! Daddy, I'm not MFing good! I, me, Jeffy, MFing Jeffy, just got a win on McDonald's Wi-Fi! I'm not MFing good! Bye! I scared you. I like to sleep with my eyes open because if I close my eyes, I'm afraid that someone will come in and steal all my money. Hi, my name is Mr. Goodman, and welcome to a day in the life of me. I wake up every morning at 6 a.m. Not because I want to, but because the sun is beaming through that window. Chives, close the curtain! Very well, sir. Chives, I made a stinky. I'm going to need you to change me. Very well, sir. See, I don't get up to go to the bathroom because that's for poor people. I just lay here and defecate in my pants. That is one poopy butthole, sir. Well, then pressure wash my ass, Chives! How about a bath? Sounds fantastic. Fantastic. You know how I like it, Chives. Very well, sir. Come with me to the bathroom. Your bath is ready, sir. Thank you, Chives. Every day I start my morning off in a bath of $15 million, all $100 bills. And I even take the bath with my suit on so it saves on laundry. All right, sir, let's wash that tush. You get down there, Chives, and don't forget your snorkel. Very well, sir. Oh, and Chives, can you turn on Tom and Jerry? Sir, it's 6 a.m. Tom and Jerry isn't on. Are you serious, Chives? There isn't a Tom and Jerry streaming service by now? No, sir. My bath has been ruined. Go ahead and pull the drain plug. Very well, sir. And Chives, go ahead and make my breakfast. Very well, sir. Your breakfast is ready, sir. Loaded mashed potatoes and a filet cooked medium. Thank you, Chives. Uh, Chives? Is there an issue, sir? Where are my peppercorns? We were out of peppercorn. Spanking! Very well, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Every morning, I start my breakfast with a filet mignon, cooked medium, and loaded mashed potatoes. Are you ready for your wine, sir? What type of question is that, Chives? Pour it! Very well, sir. Thank you, Chives. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Uh, Chives? Is there a problem, sir? There is a speck of dirt on my wine glass. I can assure you I just washed the glass. Well, there's dirt on it. Was that absolutely necessary? Yes, Chives, because there was dirt on the glass. Now go to the store and get me new wine glasses. But sir, there are plenty of clean glasses here. I don't believe you, because that one had dirt on it. Now go to the store and get me new wine glasses. Very well, sir. Now where is my maid? Quinceanera? Uh, Mr. Goodman, my name Patricia. Whatever, Paprika. I spilled my drink and I need you to clean it up. See, si, Mr. Goodman, I'll get right on it. Are you wearing underwear? No, Mr. Goodman, you told me not to. Good. This is my maid, Enchilada, and I've gotten her pregnant seven times because we don't believe in Plan B, only Plan C, because the C stands for cash. We have the kids, I claim them on my taxes, and then we ship them off to Cancun or some shit. Uh, Mr. Goodman, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera because I'm making a documentary of my life. Now bend over and clean up that mess. See. Si. I'm planning on having an eighth child. I wanted a nice view with my meal. Speaking of kids, where's my son Richard? Richard, get in here and eat your breakfast! What do you want, Dad? I was playing Fortnite. I was paying everyone to lose so I could win. Ugh, filet mignon again? I wanted lobster! If you want a lobster, you get your ass out there in that water and you catch one yourself. I hate you, Dad. I hate you too, son. Uh, Dad, I see the maid's tush. Why are you looking? You go eat somewhere else. Okay, Dad, I'll eat in my room. Ungrateful piece of shit. So I've returned with your new wine glasses. I'm not thirsty anymore, Chives. I would like to play golf. Fetch me my clubs. Very well, sir. All right, sir, I have your balls and your club. Chives, ew, there is a worm on my putting green. A worm, Chives. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll remove him at once. No, Chives, I want you to eat him. Uh, must I absolutely, positively have to, sir? Yes, Chives. I want you to eat him like a bird. Like the white ibis I have a painting of in my kitchen. Very well, sir. How's it taste, Chives? It's chewy, sir. Yeah, I bet. Now watch me get this hole in one. Bitch! Look, you made it, sir! Yeah, thought so. You're so good at golf, sir. Are you being a smart ass, Chives? No, absolutely not, sir. You know what, Chives? Now go get it! In the water? No, in outer space! Yes, in the water, because that's where it went! But sir, there are sharks in the water. I don't give a rat's fuck! You get your old geriatric wrinkly ass in that water and you get my ball. That was my favorite ball. Well, maybe you shouldn't have hit it in the water. Spanking! Yes, sir. Now you get your ass in that water and you get my ball. Very well, sir. Sir, I am cracking your golf ball. Now spit it in the hole, Chives. Very well, sir. Hole in one. Now, boat time. But boat time, sir? Ah! Chives, call the police! My boat has been stolen! Sir, you sent your boat out to be painted yesterday. Well, then go to the neighbor's house and tell him I want to buy their boat. But, sir, your boat will be back in four hours. Spanking! <sighs> Why am I being punished, sir? Because during my bath this morning, you didn't remind me that I didn't have boat time today. Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I'm gonna go sunbathe by the pool. Very well, sir. Shall I undress you for your swim, sir? Ew! Chives, what is that at the bottom of my pool? It appears to be a leaf, sir. Probably from the tree directly above your pool. Well, I want you to jump in there and get it out. But that's the pool boy's job, sir. Well, now it's your job. So shall I call the pool boy then and let him know he's fired, since I'm assuming his responsibilities? No, I want him to show up and I want him to see you doing his job. That's how he'll know he's fired. Very well, sir. That leaf has ruined my swim time. I want you to drain the pool and clean it. I'm going to go take a drive in my Lamborghini. Very well, sir. This is my Lamborghini. I buy a new one every week when the odometer hits 100 miles, because then it's just too used for me. Oh, Chives! What do you need, sir? Call up the airport and have my private jet ready. And where are we going this time, sir? 
I will be flying around for a few hours so I can think. Are you sure you don't want me going with you in case you need some help, sir? No, but what I do want you to do is, is fetch me Chimichanga or whatever the hell her name is. I believe you mean Patricia the maid. Don't correct me, Chives! Spank him! Very well, sir. Chives, you go to your room and you stay there! Yes, sir! Chives lives in a little room under my stairs, like Harry Potter. I had to put him back in his room because he's been snappy today. Mr. Goodman, why you need my help? The car already clean. I don't need you to clean the car, Quesadilla. I need you to clean something else. Oh. This is my private jet. It's fast as fuck. Let me give you a tour of my jet. It's the most expensive jet in the world. All of the seats are made out of elephant asshole skin. This is where Chives flies the plane, his old ass. Wherever I touch on the screen, my private jet will take me. Snacks out the dick. The bottles of water come straight from Fiji. So I'm gonna go fly around for a few hours. I'll see you guys when I get back. Chives, I'm back from my flight! Oh no, he's home! No, oh no! Oh, Chives, you can come out of your closet now! Oh, yes, sir! All right, now let's walk around and do a house inspection to make sure you stay in your closet the whole time. No, we don't have to do that, sir. Oh, we absolutely have to do it. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. Chives, did you touch my pool balls? No, sir. You must have hit them before you went on your private jet. No, I would have remembered that. When I left, they were perfectly wrapped right here. No, oh, how strange. Shall we move on? No. You binge your old ass over this Brunswick label. Very well, sir. Oh! Oh, more than one, sir! Yes. How old are you again, you old fuck? Sixty-seven, sir. Sixty-seven spankings it is. Uh, you stay in your room! Uh, yes, sir! Old, uh, crusty, uh, man, uh, ass cheeks! Uh, Alright, let's check my bank account to see if there's still four commas in there like there should be. Ah, yes. One trillion dollars, just like it should be. Oh, Chives! Yes, sir? Has Marvin paid his house payment this month? I don't believe so, sir. Ah, let's pay him a visit, shall we? Now I'm at Marvin's house to get his house payment. He never has his house payment. Come on, let me show you. Hello? Oh, good man, what are you doing here? I came to get your house payment. What? Why is there a camera crew here? Because I'm filming a documentary about my life. Now, do you have your house payment or not? Uh, I, I, I don't have it this month. All right, well, you're coming with me. Uh, come what? on, come on. All right, Marvin, since you didn't pay your house payment, you're gonna live under my stairs for a few days. No, please don't make me do that. Get in there! What? No, I don't want, it smells so bad in there. Because that's Chad's little room, and he has a little pot in there that he has to pee and poop in. And then every day, he's supposed to clean it out. And by the smell of it, he hasn't cleaned it out today. So get in there! Please don't make me go in there. Get in there! Okay! Now you sit in there and you think about what you did. Chives! <sighs> You called for me, sir? I did, Chives. Tonight, you will have a roommate. But, but, sir, there's not enough room! You will make his life hell like you make my life hell. But I help you, sir. Do you, Chives? Because I don't see a mimosa in my hand, and it's mimosa time! And you should know that without me having to remind you! Here is your mimosa, sir. Is the glass clean, Chives? Of course, sir. I checked it twice. Dare I look? Go right on. Chives, there is a fingerprint on my glass. A fingerprint, Chives! Well, I can assure you it's not mine, sir. I'm wearing gloves. Did you finger fuck my mimosa, Chives? No, sir. Maybe it's your fingerprint. Hmm. Maybe it is. I'm sorry, Chives. Don't worry about it, sir. Ah! I'm tired, Chives, and I no longer want this mimosa. So I want you to stick it up your ass and come tuck me into bed. Stick it where, sir? Ass! Up it! Very well, sir. Uh, after a long, stressful day, I'd like to have Chives come tuck me into bed. Chives, come tuck me into bed! Very well, sir. Thank you, Chives. You're welcome, sir. Is there anything you need before going to sleep? Maybe a bedtime story? Oh, yes, yes! A bedtime story, Chives! And make it scary! All right, sir. Once upon a time, you were poor. Ah! Too scary, 
chives? Show me money. Show me that I have money. Uh, look, a hundred dollars oh, oh, now. Oh, oh, good. Oh, that was so scary, chives. Never tell me a scary story like that ever again. Understood, sir. Is there anything else you need before bed? Maybe a lady for the night? Oh, yes, chives. A lady friend for the night, because I'm lonely. And what is the budget, sir? Thirty thousand dollars. Ah, going cheap tonight, I see. No, chives. Actually, this is what I want. I want you to find a girl, have her shave her head, and wear a monocle like the Monopoly guy. Then I want you to take her to the hospital and have her leg amputated because I want to know what that's like. Ah, oh, sparing no expense, I see. Yeah, uh, so go go fetch. Well, how about I just bring you the lady from last night, sir? <sighs> Fine, I guess that'll do. Understood, sir. Hi. That was fast. She never left. Uh, well, well, she smells too nice. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go outside and run three miles, but I want you to do it barefoot because I like the little black asphalt feet. Okay. Lock the door, Chives. But, but, sir, how will she get back in? She won't! I don't want dirty asphalt feet all over my 100% goose down sheets. Ew! But you're the one that told her to go run, sir. I know, Chives, but you know what? Cancel it. Lock the door, but I want you to cuddle. Come here. H how about I just go get the lady, sir? Big spoon me, little spoon you, Chives. I want to smell that dirty old man bald head of yours. <sighs> Understood, sir. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a day in the life of me. And that's just my off day. And make sure you tune in for when you see me go to work. Jeffy, come look! All the presents are under the Christmas tree! Are all these presents for me? They sure are, buddy. <laughs> all that? Um, 36? 36? Well, last year I got 37! I want two new presents! But, Jeffy, these presents are already so big. I don't care how big they are! Well, listen, this is what we'll do. When we go out, we'll buy you two new presents. How's that, pumpkin? Can you guys please stop quoting Harry Potter? Sorry, Marvin. So you guys got me all these presents? Yes, we did, Jeffy. So then when Santa Claus comes, he's gonna bring me even more presents? Of what? course, Jeffy! Yay! Best Christmas ever! No, Jeffy, you're eight 18 years old, it's time for you to know. Marvin! What? But baby, we gotta rip this band-aid off. He's 18 years old. No, Marvin, stop it. What are you guys talking about? Um, what he was saying was that we got a letter from Santa and he told us that you're on the nice list. He did? Can I see the letter? Um, uh, uh, when, when, you, when you read the letter, the words disappear. It has invisible ink on it. Well, then can I see the piece of paper? No! Uh, it, the, the paper blows up after you read it. Huh. Well, well, Danny, how does Santa Claus know what I want for Christmas? Because I never went and told him what I wanted. Oh, Santa knows what you want. He can hear what you're thinking. He knows when you're sleeping. You know the song. Well, how does he know that if I didn't tell him? I need you to take me so I can tell Santa Claus what I want for Christmas right now. No, Santa Claus is busy. It's Christmas Eve. He's getting his sleigh ready and he's yelling at his elves. He has a lot to do today. Well, he's at the mall so you can take me there right now and I can tell him. No, no, the mall is so packed on Christmas Eve. How about you write a letter and say what you want and we'll ship it to him. Well, if I write a letter it won't get there in time. Okay, how about you just tell us what you, what you want and we'll tell him we have his phone number. No! I want you to take me to the mall right now so I can tell Santa Claus what I want for Christmas! Oh, come on, Marvin. Let's uh -oh. just go. Okay, fine. We'll go to the mall. Just hurry, get in the car. Hurry up. Oh. Okay, Jeffy, we made it. Hey, you here for pictures? Yes, we are here for pictures. All right, just have a seat. Say cheese! No, 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 we want pictures with Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus! Oh, we stopped doing that weeks ago, man. What, weeks ago? I don't get to see Santa Claus! What, what, what are we talking about? Well, it's the day before Christmas, man. All the Santas are at home with their family. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, no, 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 come on, you have to call up Santa Claus, like, you gotta have a Santa Claus around here somewhere. Sorry, man, all you have is me in this chair, and don't make fun of my costume, it's a child's large. Well, no, 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 legs, isn't that fun? I can dance. No, no, listen, 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 I just need you to, like, call up a Santa Claus, please, that's something you gotta do. Listen, Jeffy really wants to talk to Santa Claus. I mean, listen, man, I can, unless you, uh, unless you have money. What, money? Yeah, if you pay me, maybe I can find you a Santa Claus. Ugh. All I have is a hundred. Mm, okay, yeah, that'll that'll work. Uh, let me just call my buddy Tim. You guys just go hang out at Cinnabon or something. Oh, uh, Jeffy, come on! They're getting Santa Claus. We have to wait over here. Okay. You better pay me good. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry it's so last minute. I was sitting on my couch eating potato chips. Yeah, I know. I know how much you love your chips. I'm sorry. It'll be real quick. I promise. Yeah, they were laser sorted. That sounds great. Just just put your beard on. Get ready. Oh my. Okay, we're ready for the next kid. Okay, Jeffy, there's Santa Claus. Santa Claus! <laughs>
Oh, ho, ho, ho. And what's your name, young man? <laughs> Jeffy, tell him your name. Uh -huh. uh, come here, boy. Take a seat. Okay. And what do you want for Christmas? I have to whisper it to you. Okay. I want! Oh, don't, oh, don't yell at oh. Santa, please. Jeffy, whisper it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. How about... How about we just give you a candy cane? Are you going to get it for me? S Santa will do his best. I want your beard. No, no, no. Ah! 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 Imposter! What? No, Santa just shaved so he, he couldn't get his beard in time. Yeah, Jeffy, Jeffy, uh, that's uh, the real Santa. He just, uh, give what did you do with the real Santa Claus, you imposter? Come on, Jeffy, come on, Jeffy. the real Santa Claus. Ah! Oh, what a nightmare. Daddy, what did they do with the real Santa Claus? That was a fake Santa Claus. That Santa Claus smelled like Pepto-Bismol and bad decisions. Uh, Jeffy, listen. Look, that, that Santa Claus was a messenger Santa. So all the malls across America, they hire messenger Santas to find out what kids want, and then they tell the real Santa, right? Well, I want you to call Santa Claus because you said you had Santa Claus's phone number. So call him. Well, uh, he's busy. He call him. Uh, he's I, call I, him. I, I don't want to call him. Call him. Right? I don't want to call him. Santa Claus is real! Ah! What are you talking about, you bitch? Uh, Jeffy, Santa Claus is not real. You're 18 years old. It's time for you to know. Ah! Oh, are you going to break everything in the kitchen? Uh, what, no, Jeff, no, Jeff. Well, then how could you tell him that? Well, he's 18 years old. He's screaming at me. I, I don't know what to say to him anymore. Santa is real! <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Ah! You Santa, you lying bitch! Ah! Ah! Jeffy! What's the point of being good all year? Santa Claus isn't real! You want to! I tried really hard! No, you don't! Ah. You don't try to be good, Jeffy! Marco, we gotta do something! Uh, 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 I'm, I'm gonna call someone! Hey there, somebody call an elf? Yes, I need your help because you caused a problem in my life. But what did I do? Well, you had that stupid fake Santa Claus at the mall, and then when my son pulled his beard off, my son freaked out and cried, and then I told him Santa wasn't real because I didn't want him to cry anymore. Well, it sounds like it's your fault for telling him Santa's not real. No, it's your fault for hiring a crappy Santa. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have the real Santa at the mall on Christmas Eve. Well, can you call the real Santa? No, baby, because Santa's not Santa's real. Santa's way too busy today. What? Well, yes, yeah, Santa's very busy. It's Christmas Eve. He has to load up his sleigh and then deliver presents to the Republic of Kiribati or some shit. That, that's where the day first starts. I like your jingle bell. Thank you. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that you could actually get a hold of Santa Claus? No, I'm saying I can't because he's too busy. Well, then you have to find a way to get a hold of him. You're an elf. You can find a way to talk to him. You know I'm not really an elf, right? I just work at the mall and take pictures. Listen, can you please help me? My son's breaking uh, plates and screaming and crying. Please get a hold of Santa. What, what, what do you think we could do? Huh. Well, the only thing I can think of is we kidnapped the Tooth Fairy. What? The Tooth Fairy? Yeah, the Tooth Fairy is Santa Claus's daughter. Not a lot of people know that. Wait, she is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Santa and Mrs. Claus had a daughter, and they named her Tooth. So her name was Tooth Claus, and that was kind of scary, especially because she collected teeth, and she collected claws. Like, whenever cats got declawed, she would collect their claws and give them money. But they're cats, so they didn't need the money, so she stopped doing that. But anyway, they decided Tooth Claws was too scary, so they named her the Tooth Fairy, because that's a lot cuter. Okay, so you just created another problem. How do we get the Tooth Fairy here? Oh, that's easy. We just gotta put somebody's tooth under a pillow. Okay, well, I don't have any teeth. Me neither. Oh, I got one in my pocket. Hold on. There you go. Wh whose tooth is that? I don't know, some kid. Why do you have some kid's tooth in your pocket? Oh, well, I work at the mall, right, as an elf, so there's a lot of kids around. So this one kid ran up to me, and he was like, elf boy, elf boy, and he kept throwing candy canes at me, and I was like, listen here, you little shit. If you don't knock it off, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth and knock your teeth out. And then he stomped on my foot, so I popped him in the mouth and knocked his tooth out, and he ran away crying, and I was like, now you're useless and toothless, you little bitch. So then I kept the tooth to warn anybody else who wants to mess with me that this used to be in someone's mouth until they met me. I'm him. I'm Himothy. Himmy Johns. Oh. Okay, so how do we get the Tooth Fairy here? Oh, that's easy. Where's your comfiest bed? Just put it under the pillow and I'll take a nap. Uh, come on. Okay. All right, here's the bed. Okay, so let's just take this tooth and then put it under the pillow. And then I can just tuck myself in. Do you have any warm milk? No! Okay, well, I don't know how I'm going to sleep without any warm milk. Listen, we have to catch the Tooth Fairy. Okay, then hide, bro. <sighs> I'm asleep. <sighs> I sure am sleeping. I could for the tooth. Get him, Marvin! <laughs> What, only a quarter for that tooth? You know what I had to do? I had to punch a kid. That's not your tooth. No, and now we're gonna kidnap you. Yeah. Well, oh shit. Well, where'd she go? I forgot she can poof. Well, she can poof. Well, we had to kidnap her. Yeah. Hey, but look, we have a quarter, and we still have the tooth, so we win. She's dumb. Ha ha. Okay. How are we gonna get Santa Claus to come here then? I don't know. Let's just go back on the couch. Oh. <sighs> 
happened? Where's the tooth fairy? We tried kidnapping her, but she poofed away. Yeah, but we got one of the quarters, though, so we robbed the tooth fairy. Yeah, we robbed the tooth fairy. You did what? Santa Claus! How long you been standing there? Long enough. How dare you? Try to kidnap my daughter on the eve of Christmas. No, 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 no. We weren't trying to kidnap your daughter. We were just trying to uh, uh, take one of her quarters. Yeah, yeah, because she she has the best quarters. Like, th this one's 1972. That That's rare, I think. You can't lie to me. I'm Santa Claus, all knowing. I know when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I know whether you've been bad or good. So be good, for goodness sake! Uh, well, Santa just tried to smash you. He did the smash. He did the Santa smash. He did the smash! It was a North Pole bash. He did the smash! He came in a flash. Ho ho! <laughs> Not me! It was his idea, get him! <laughs> Fine! Go back to the North Pole! I, I work at JCPenney. Go! I'm okay, I'm going. <laughs> Sharp, maybe you can use it like as a weapon or something. Oh, he throw it to me. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just stab myself. Look out! Ah! Ah! Oh! Like, what did I do? Why? I feel so bad. Why? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Well, you stab Sid in the neck. Sid, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I got stabbed in the neck. I'm dying. This should have been you. Dad? Is this really Santa Claus? Uh, yeah, and he's dying. <gasps> Santa Claus is dying? Can I get you anything, Santa Claus? Boy, yes. For my wish. For my dying wish. I would like some milk and cookies. Okay. Here's your cookie, Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> what the milk, boy? Oh, okay. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm alive! It is all thanks to you. How can I ever repay you? Well, there is something I want for Christmas. Name it, whatever it is. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Danny, this pole smells like a Captain D's hush puppy. Jeffy, I can't believe you wasted your wish on a stripper. Well, she's a free stripper because I don't have to pay her. And Danny, guess what? There's something wrong with her underwear. What's wrong with it? They're not in my mouth. Oh my God, you're so funny. Well, Jeffy, at least you're having a good Christmas. Who wants a lap dance? Right here. Um, Danny, I'm going to need you to leave so she can give me the second part of my Christmas gift. I'm out of here. Well, I'm just glad I didn't kill Santa. Oh man, I don't think I could have lived with myself. You know, and I was really worried that I would become Santa like Tim Allen did in that movie. I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. That's a lot of work. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Merry Christmas. I hope you got what you wanted, and if you didn't, that's that's life. That just happens sometimes. And at least we all have each other. Yeah. Jeffy, are you ready for school? Sure I am, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what'd you do to your shirt? I cut it up because I wanted it to look like Swiss cheese. Jeffy, you can't go to school like that. Yeah, they're going to send you home for having holes in your shirt. Darn, didn't know that was going to happen. You're still going to school, Jeffy. But I don't have a shirt to wear. Sure you do, Jeffy. I got you this shirt for Christmas. It has a turtle on it, and it says, Turtly cool! Oh, that's so sick, Mommy. I want to put it on right now. <laughs> All right, Mommy. How do I look? You look turtly cool, Jeffy. Damn right I do. All right, Jeffy. Let's go to school. Danny, everyone's going to be so jealous of my new shirt, I'm going to pull major hose. Oh, that's good, Jeffy. Come on. Hey, idiot, what happened to your old shirt? Did you wipe your butt with it? You're just jealous you don't have a cool shirt that has words on it. Oh, yeah? What's it say? It actually says, turtle and cool, and it has a little turtle with sunglasses on it. <laughs> it should say that you're returtled, or, or returned. Yeah, that's it. You're returned. <laughs> My mommy told me that I was turtle and cool. <laughs> Your mommy dresses you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want this stupid shirt anymore. <laughs> well, calm down, Incredible Hulk. Well, wait a minute. You don't have any nipples. Hey, everybody. Jeffy doesn't have nipples. <laughs> it's not my fault I was born without nipples. <laughs> 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 Jeffy, 
Wait, why'd you take your shirt off? Because I thought that shirt was gonna make girls give me major treatment, but all it did was get me made fun of. They made fun of your shirt, Jeffy? Yeah, because apparently it's not cool to be turtly cool. They called me retarded. <laughs> Marvin. Well, it's funny. Those kids are just mean, Jeffy. Well, I'm never wearing that shirt ever, 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 ever again. That's okay, Jeffy. I got you another shirt, and it says, Mommy really loves me, and it has two whales hugging. You really want me to get made fun of, don't you, Mommy? Oh, it's cute, Jeffy. Is it going to make girls turn into bobbleheads? I don't know about that, Jeffy, but go ahead and put it on. Okay, Mommy. I'll wear it tomorrow, but it better not get me made fun of. <laughs> I see you got your old shirt back. Wait, that's not your old shirt. That's a new shirt. What's it say? Nothing. I want to know what your shirt says. No. No, show me your shirt. I'm not showing you my shirt. What does your shirt say? It says, my mommy Whaley loves me and it has a whale on it. <laughs> my mommy Whaley loves me? That's Whaley lame. Well, at least my mommy loves me. <laughs> well, what, is your mommy a whale? Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. <sighs> I was just really glad the joke wasn't about me for once. <laughs> you gonna go to the ocean and see your mommy? Mm, that's it! I'm tired of this! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you gonna go kiss your mom's big whale lips? <laughs> it happened again! They made fun of your shirt again, Jeffy? Yeah, and they called you a whale, mommy! What? <laughs> Marvin! You eat a lot of Cheetos, baby. Marvin! Oh, look, uh, Jeffy, your mom got you another shirt. I did! It says hanging with mommy and has two slots. Oh, absolutely not! I'm done with shirts! They want to bully me? I'm gonna become the bully now! Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> hey, loser, what's with the new look? Your balls finally drop? <laughs> hey, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off! No! No, no, stop! Stop! It. Stop! No! No! Oh, no! He, he pulled my underwear up over my face! Oh, God, I have doo doo stains on it! This is so gross and embarrassing! I'm going to get pink guy. <laughs> Anyone else want some? Huh? Cody called your mom a whale. What, Junior? What, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, Daddy. Uh, he gave me a wedgie. Should have pulled harder. Ha ha, Cody! You have rainbow pony underwear? Junior, they're not underwear, they're panties. Oh my god, I have those! Can I smell them? Ew, no, Junior, you're gross! Jeffy, stop worrying everyone! Go into principal's office now! Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, 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 Oh! Jeffy, why do you pull my underwear over my face? Ew, I got doodle stain! Ring ring doesn't do my laundry! Ah! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Shut up, nerd! Jeffy! What'd you call me? Nerd, because you are one! What, what, what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? <laughs> he, he put my underwear on my face! Jeffy! That is it, Jeffy, you are grounded! Oh, you're, you're gonna ground me? I'm gonna show you grounded! What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Giving you a swirling, nerd! What? what? Jeffy, if you put my head in that toilet, you would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffy, dear God, please help me! <laughs> you had enough yet? I've had enough, I've had enough! All right. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong? Jeffy gave me a swirly. He what? He put my head in the toilet. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because he's a nerd. Jeffy, that's not how we act. We treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, everyone wants to bully me, so now I'm going to be the bully. So no one mess with me! Marvin, what do we do? I'm calling the cops. He assaulted me with my underwear and a toilet. Hey there, somebody call the police? I heard an old lady say that at the barber shop today. She called me the police. I like that. I'm gonna say that from now on. Police. So what do you need? My son is bullying me. He gave me a swirly and he put my underwear over my eyes. <laughs> classic. Not classic, he's assaulting me. Well, I know how to deal with that kind of situation. You do? Oh yeah, I used to get bullied a lot in high school. Let me tell you a story. I always get bullied by this guy named Trevor. He used to call me names like Brace Face, you know, because I wore braces at the time. And he used to pull my pants down in front of all the cheerleaders. And they would all laugh at me and say, ha ha, tiny. So one day, I decided to get revenge on him by pulling his pants down in front of the cheerleaders. And boy, did that backfire, because he was hung like a horse. All the girls liked him, even Miss Jenkins. I, I, I had a crush on her. She was kind of a hot teacher. But anyway, me and Trevor became friends after that because I helped him get so many girls by pulling his pants down. So I guess the moral of this story is what you should do is pull Jeffy's pants down in class. No, that don't do that. That's not right. That's 
It's not what I meant at all. Okay, okay, okay. Better example, better example. Okay. I also used to get bullied by this guy named Travis. Now, Travis was a real freak. He put a wasp nest in my backpack. So whenever I opened my backpack, a bunch of wasps flew out and they started stinging me. So I ran around the classroom taking my clothes off. And then everybody just pointed at me and laughed and said, ha ha, tiny. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So the next day, I put a wasp nest in his backpack. And then when he opened his backpack, he got stung by wasps and he ran around the class taking his clothes off. And boy, did that backfire because he was Hacking. All the girls liked him, oh yeah. Except we didn't become friends because he was pissed that I put a wasp nest in his backpack. So the moral of this story is you should put a wasp nest in Jeffy's backpack. No, don't, don't do that either. That was, okay, that sucks too. Okay, 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 okay. But last example, this one's gonna be good. This will make sense, I promise, okay. So I also used to get bullied by this guy named Trent and we rode the bus together. So what he would do was put gum in my hair, which sucked because then I'd have to shave my head to get the gum out and then everybody would laugh at me and say, ha ha, baldy and also tiny, you know, because they remembered from when I got pants and the whole thing with the wasps. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So what I did was I put gum in his hair and he had to shave his head. And then the next day he got hit by a car and I felt kind of bad. So I went to visit him in the ICU and I walked in when they were changing his body cast and he was packing. I mean, all of the nurses wanted to help him. So the moral of this story is you should push Jeffy in front of a car. No, 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 don't. Oh, man, I'll, I'll admit, I, I, I'm not the right guy for this. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 let me just talk to him, and I'll explain to him why bullying people is wrong. Oh, okay. Hey, champ, what are you doing? Writing hate comments on SML videos. Oh, but they work so hard. But they won't bring back their plushies. Oh, well, they can't do that. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about something. What do you want, loser? Oh, okay, so you're already starting with the name calling. Now, I know the only reason you're doing that is because you're just lashing out because you don't know how else to express yourself. Well, you're ugly. Okay, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But look, what I wanted to say is that... But I used to be just like you. I, I mean, I wasn't cross-eyed like that, but I, I did get bullied a lot. You did? Oh yeah, I get bullied all the time. And you know how I got over it? I found out that everybody was packing. Uh, I don't really know why. But then, when I grew up, I became a cop. So I can bully whoever I want. It's my job to bully people. You going too fast? Boom! Speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are my swirlies. So wh what I'm trying to say is I know that deep down, you know that bullying is wrong, right? <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Oh no, he did it to you too? Yeah, the only thing I learned here is I gotta start wiping better. Well, what do we do now, officer? Yeah, what do we do? I don't know. He's probably just going through a phase. I'm sure he'll grow out of it, or he'll end up in prison. He might be packing. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. No, don't go. We need your help. We really need your help. Well, I've done everything I can do, and I don't want my face to end up in your toilet again. Look, I have an idea that'll, that'll get him to stop bullying people. What, really? Yeah, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to see it, because I got underwear in my eyes. Oh. Thank you, but I would wash my hands if I were you. All right, we're all gonna wear these shirts, and when Jeffy sees them, he's gonna bully us for wearing these shirts, and he's gonna realize he's became what he hated most, being a bully. I hate this shirt. I look like a dingus. Aw, it's cute. Hanging with mommy. I hate my mother. I would never hang with her. I also hate sloths. They're all lanky and they're creepy and I hate them. Look, you only have to wear the shirt for like a few minutes for Jeffy to see you. Yeah, so he can make fun of us and then shove my face in the toilet again and then put my poopy underwear in my face? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, he's gonna realize that he's a bully and he's not gonna want to be a bully anymore. Jeffy, get in here! What do you losers want? Don't hurt me! Oh god, no, please! Well, just, 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 look at our shirts! Look at our shirts! Turtly cool? That's retarded. Well, look, Jeffy, look. You just bullied me the same way you used to get bullied in school. <gasps> You're right. What have I become? I've become the same thing I swore to destroy. I'm like Darth Vader. Diaper. Diaper. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to be a bully. I was just tired of people bullying me. It's okay, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, as long as you promise you won't bully anyone ever again. Yeah, Daddy, I won't bully anyone ever again. <laughs> I bet you're not even packing. Oh, no, I totally am. I got a wiener like a Coke can. Damn it. Jeffy, it's time for bed. Daddy, can I send it one more time before bed? Jeffy, what is this thing? Well, there's a little car in here, and when I hit this thing, it goes around the doodah. Then just do it real quick. All right. Oh, Jeffy, you hit me with the car. Can I do it one more time? No, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed. Come on. <sighs> Let's do all the things you want to do. Okay, Jeffy, just lay down and go to sleep. But I want fried okra. Wait, what, Jeffy? No, it's too late. You're not getting fried okra. I want it fried. You're not getting it, Jeffy. In my mouth. Jeffy, just go to sleep. I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Peep. Peep, peep. Jeffy, shut up. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, did you just shoot me with a Nerf gun? No. Wait, Jeffy, what is that? 
fried okra. Where'd you get fried okra? The fried okra tree. Jeffrey, why don't you just eat that fried okra? Because that's yesterday's fried okra. You can't expect me to eat day old okra. But Jeffy, I don't know what's going on. Just, just go to sleep, please. Aww. All right, Jeffy, good night. This door is so squeaky. Jeffy? I want fried okra. No, Jeffy, you have fried okra in your bed. Go to sleep. That door is so squeaky. I have to get that fixed soon. Uh, I just want to lay down and watch TV. <laughs> Jeffy's dumb toys on the couch. I'm going to play with it. It's broken. It's dumb. Jeffy, your dumb toy's broken. Jeffy, close the door. Okra. No, Jeffy, you're not eating okra. Okra. It's too late for okra. Close the door. Okra. I'm closing. <laughs> Jeffy, I said close the door. Thank you. J J Stop it! Stop it! Jeffy! It's so annoying! I'm getting a fix! I'm calling somebody to fix it! Hey there, somebody call a handyman? I can do literally anything except give handies. So I guess I'm a not handyman. But I can fix things, so what do you need? Well, my son's door is Oh, really is this Hot Wheels? Oh, that's so sick. Hey, do you mind if I send it? <sighs> sure. Oh, so close! Oh man, that was cool. Hey, do you mind if I try again? Okay, fine, but like, yeah, let's know what's wrong. So, my son has this door that's really squeaky. I'm listening. The, 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 my son has this door that's really squeaky. Oh, right there, every time! Okay, I'm trying again. Oh no, but my son door is really squeaky, and I want you to fix it, and you're not even listening. Oh, okay, this thing sucks. Uh, what, what, what are you saying? So my son has this door, it's really squeaky, and I was wondering if you'd fix it. Oh, squeaky door? Yeah, that's easy, I can do that. Just show me. Okay, it's over here. All right, here's the door. Listen. Hey, hey, you know what that sounds like? My bed springs in college. Huh? Yeah, because I was doing a lot of this, you know? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually have a girlfriend. But you know, good for the people who can get hoes. Can you please fix my door? Oh yeah, it's an easy fix. I just gotta use some of this WD-40. What's WD-40? You don't know what WD-40 is? Pfft, what an idiot. Everybody knows what WD-40 does. It, it, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it stops squeaks, removes and protects, loosens rusted parts, frees sticky mechanisms, drives out moisture, and is fatal if swallowed. Nah, I'm just kidding. But can you imagine, though? Just, and that's it. I'm gone. Dead. That's it. No more me. Can you please fix the door? Yeah, sure. You weren't gonna stop me? Pfft, yeah, some friend. No, I just want you to fix my door. No, 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 no. You act like you're gonna do it. Well, no, I don't want to do No, that. act like you're gonna do it. No, 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 don't do that. Don't you know that's fatal if swallowed? You're gonna die. Hey, hey, man, I care about you. I don't want you to do something like that. See, that's what you should have done. Oh, look, I just want you to fix my door. I know you're not gonna do it. Okay, fine. Okay, I put a crap ton on there. Now let's see if the door squeaks. What? What the hell? It's still squeaking. Okay, okay, fine. I'll just put more on there. And you know what? I'll do all the hinges. Except for that one. That one's too high up. That one's higher than my ex-wife during the custody hearing. I mean, she still got custody of the kids because I had two DUIs. But let's see if the door squeaks. What? Oh, oh okay. What's going on here? Does this stuff not work? I bet it's not even fatal if swallowed. What, really? You weren't gonna stop me again after all that? You know what? You're a bad friend. You deserve to have a squeaky door. Hm. What, no, 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 I, I just want you to fix my door, please. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me some peanut butter. Peanut butter? Who's the handyman here? Me or you? Go get the peanut butter. Okay. Why are you putting peanut butter on my door? Because it's gonna muffle the squeak because it's so thick. Just like my ex-wife. You know, she was thick, fat. All right, whenever I close the door, you're not gonna hear the squeak anymore. What is that? What is that crunching noise? What? Oh, no, you didn't. What? You got extra crunchy peanut butter? Yeah, I like it. What, what, are you sick in the head? Who the hell uses extra crunchy peanut butter? I do. What, do you put glass in your cake? What? Do you, do you eat eggs with the shell still on them? No. Well, it's the same thing. Well, I just like extra crunchy peanut butter. Do you have creamy peanut butter? No, just that. Well, see, that's the problem. You used crunchy peanut butter, so now we got a crunch and a squeak. You just added a crunch to the squeak. Oh, oh well, can you just fix my door? <sighs> Go get me a belt. A belt? Yeah, because the door's making a noise, and when I was a kid and I was making noises, my mom would beat me with a belt, and that sure shut me the hell up. A belt's not gonna work with a door. Go get the belt! Ugh. Okay, here's your belt. Oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Okay, hold on, let me get into character. <clears throat> Brookie, get your ass in here! Yes, Mommy? Brookie, let me see your report card! Have you been drinking, Mommy? Shut up and let me see your report card! What's this? All C's again! No son of mine's gonna be this average! Ugh, ugh, ugh. You think I 
like doing this? Well, I do. It hurts you so much more than it hurts me, and I love it. Okay, this door's definitely not going to squeak after that. Oh, you want some more, do you? It's not going to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, man. I've, I've never seen a door this squeaky in my whole life. Well, can you fix it or not? Hey, do you think there's more doors in the world or wheels? What? Like, in the whole world, do you think there's more doors or wheels? I don't know. Well, like, if you think about a car, there's, like, four doors, but there's also four wheels. So, I mean, I guess it kind of evens out there. But if you think about an 18-wheeler, there's so many more wheels than there are doors. Oh, and, like, in skyscrapers, like, there's a whole bunch of doors, but, like, no wheels. I mean, I guess there's wheels in the elevators. But then there's, there's, there's also doors, too! Well, in a car, there's also a steering wheel. Oh, my God, you're right. They got, like, five wheels. Oh, okay, so how many cars are there in the whole world? I don't know. Well, Google it. No. Okay, fine. I'll Google it. How many cars are there in the world? What? There's 1.4 billion cars. Wow. Oh, okay, so you multiply that by five. That's, that's like, almost six billion wheels. Man, that's, that's, cra that's crazy. That's a lot of wheels. Oh, oh my god. You know what else has wheels? Trains? Trains have wheels? And, and trucks? And buses? And, and not boats. Oh, they have a steering wheel! Oh my god, I gotta Google so many things. Oh, no, 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 can you please just fix my door or not? <sighs> Listen, man, I think only God could fix this door. <gasps> That's it! We can ask God to fix the door! God is too busy to fix my stupid door. Well, it's worth a shot. God, please fix this door. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, God, I'm sorry for bothering you. Oh, not at all. I was just in my room looking at TikTok. You know, I've been alive forever. That's a really long time, so I'm pretty bored by this point. You know, I used to watch dinosaurs fight and kill each other. Now I just watch people lip sync and dance. <sighs> what happened? I'm gonna send a meteor and reset this whole mess. So what's up? Um, well, see, my door's really hey, squeaky. Hey, hey, God, are there more doors in the world or wheels? Oh, that's a really good question. It's actually wheels, but it's close. I knew it. Well, God, so my door's really squeaky. No, no, sorry, that's all the time I had. I gotta go meet Poseidon at Cracker Barrel. Ugh. You know those little peg games they have on the tables? I've never been able to figure those out. All these years, I've never been able to do it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. What the, what the, oh, great. Not even God was able to fix my door. Yeah, sorry. I'm just really obsessed about this whole doors and wheels thing. Glad I got my answer, though. Are you able to fix my door or not? No, man, I don't think I can do it. This door's a lost cause. I knew it. I knew you couldn't do it. What, excuse me? I knew you weren't good enough to fix my door. What? Hey, I'm pretty good. No, if you were good, you'd fix my door by now. I'm gonna go hire a real handyman. What? Oh, okay. Okay, you want your door fixed? All right, fine. I'll fix your door. What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing it! What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing your door! No, you just broke my door! Oh, that was just part of the plan. Uh, I was gonna break the door so that I could buy you a new door that doesn't squeak. What? Oh, you gonna go get me a new door? I, I, yeah, I'll go get it right now. Oh, oh my god. Uh, here you go. Here's your new door. It looks just like the old one, except it doesn't have a big hole in the middle. Yep, and this one doesn't squeak. I guarantee it. Well, then install it. All right, here we go. All right, the new door's installed. But does it squeak? Let's find out. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah, you hear that? No squeak! But you did it! Yes, I am so good. Why am I so good? Well, mm. Where'd you get the door from? Oh, I took it off my daughter's bedroom. She doesn't need it. You know, she's getting older. She might start having boys over. So anything she does not there, she's going to have to do with no door. Well, how much do I owe you? hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? Yeah, man, I did a lot today. I, I had to steal my daughter's door. I had to relive childhood trauma. I did a lot. Okay, let me grab my wallet. Okay. All right, here's your hundred dollars. Thank you. I think I'm going to use this to buy a Hot Wheels set like this one. It's so cool. Oh my god, I didn't even think about all the wheels on toy cars. They got like four wheels and no doors. Oh my god. How many Hot Wheels cars do you think there are in the world? I don't know. Well, I'm going to Google it. How many Hot Wheels cars in what? Oh my god, there's like four billion Hot Wheels cars. And it says if you leave them all end to end, it'll circle the entire globe four times. So there's four billion cars. That's like, that's like 16 billion wheels. No wonder the wheels are winning. That's so crazy. Oh, I didn't even think about Lego wheels. All oh, the wheels are just piling up. Ugh. Hey, Daddy, why'd you replace my door? Because it wouldn't stop squeaking, Jeffy. Oh, you mean this noise? What? Jeffy, was you making the noise? Maybe. What, Jeffy, so we'd have to replace the door? Maybe. Well, Jeffy, why would you do that? Because I wanted fried okra. Oh, that sounds so good. Hey, you want to go to Cracker Barrel? I heard God's going to be there. Oh, my God. Leave. Both of you guys leave. Oh shit.
Hey, um, Daddy, I need a favor. What do you need, Jeffy? Can I borrow a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? What do you need a thousand dollars for, Jeffy? Cause I want to go to clown school. See, cook. Clown school? Why do you want to go to clown school? Cause it's always been my passion. I love making people laugh, and I really like Badoon. Jeffy, you don't have to go to clown school. You already are one. Marvin! It's true. We already act stupid and dumb. You don't have to pay someone a thousand dollars to teach you to act like that. You never support my dream. No son of mine's gonna be a clown. I hate you. Now go to your room. Marvin, you should support your son. No, baby. I want him to be something successful, like a doctor or a lawyer. You honestly think he's going to be a doctor or a lawyer? Uh, no. See? Well, look, baby, I, I don't want him to be a clown. He's going to get made fun of, and that's not a career. Marvin, I'm going to go talk to him. Well, I'm not paying for this. I don't support it. <laughs> I hate my daddy. <laughs> Jeffy, are you okay? No. Jeffy, it's going to be all right. <laughs> no, it won't. Not unless you write me a check for a thousand dollars right now so I can go to clown school. Jeffy, why don't you just save up your money so you can go next year? Because I won't want to be a clown next year. Then why does it matter so much that you go this year? Because I want to be a clown right now. Jeffy, do you really want to be a clown? Are camel's nipples purple? <sighs> well, Jeffy, if you promise to be the best clown that you can be, I will give you the money to go to clown school. Heck yeah. Mommy, this is so pee pee. Okay, Jeffy. Just don't tell your dad. Oh, I won't, Mommy. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Mommy's giving me a thousand dollars to go to clown school. Jeffy! I'm just kidding, Mommy. <sighs> okay, here's the plan. What was that? Oh, nothing. No, nothing. Je Jeffy, you yelled my name. No, 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 I'm not going to clown school or anything. No, not at all. Oh, that's right. You're not going to clown school ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just stay in your room. Nah, yeah, Jeffy, nah, here's nah, the plan. Nah, yeah, Jeffy, nah, nah, Jeffy, nah, focus. Nah. Focus. Okay. You're gonna sneak out the window and go to clown school, okay? All right, Mommy. I'm gonna be the best clown I can be. See you later, Mommy. Hello and welcome to clown school. My name is Screwball, and if you're wondering, yes, I hate my life. Being a clown isn't easy. It's long hours of kids pissing on you, you pissing on yourself, kids trying to punch you in the balls, Fat kids trying to eat your hair because they think it's cotton candy. Waking up in different motel rooms handcuffed to the headboard. I've seen it all. Like, if you think it, it's probably happened to me. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the room and each one of you going to tell me why you chose this miserable path of life. You first, kid. Um, I want to be a clown because I like making people laugh. Trust me, kid. You're not going to be making anybody laugh. They're gonna be laughing at you, not with you. People only hire clowns nowadays just to beat them up and piss on them. At least that's what happens to me. But anyway, what about you, sir? Why do you want to ruin your life? Looks like you already got the hair color going. Oh, with me? Uh, oh, well, my daughter's birthday party's coming up, and I figured if I was a clown, then maybe her and her friends would think I was cool. You know, like I'd be the cool dad, like, oh, cool, your dad's a clown, but... After hearing your stories, I'm starting to doubt that. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to be cool unless getting beat up and pissed on is cool. Then you'll be the coolest dad in the world. But anyway, the first lesson of clown school is if you want to be a clown, you got to look like a clown. So there's clown costumes in each one of your desks. So go ahead and put those on. What the hell? Oh, God, it smells like piss. Yes, they all smell like piss. They're all from clowns who died from blunt force trauma to the head from a five-year-old with a boppet. Wow, this clown outfit's so cool. Oh, oh, God, why is it so itchy? Oh. Yeah, because the clown that wore that outfit before you had scabies. Be honored. All right, the next step to being a clown is picking your clown name. My name's Screwball because when I was younger, I got in a horrible accident and they had to screw both of my balls together. So I have one big ball. That's why I'm called Screwball and not Screw Balls. All right, so just yell out whatever clown name you want and I'll tell you if it's taken. Uh, what about, what about Butterball the Clown? Taken. What about Diarrhea Pants the Clown? Taken. That was my father. Uh, what about Noodles the Clown? Taken. Dingleberry the Clown? Taken. Uh, Poof Pants the Clown? Taken. Ball Pit Shit the Clown? Believe it or not, Taken. What, really? Uh, okay, what about, what about Fart Sucker the Clown? Taken. He was a good clown. What, oh, okay, then what isn't Taken? Uh... Tugball's not taken. Yeah, that fits you. You're now Tugball the Clown. Well, I am not going by Tugball the Clown. Oh, yes you are. Once you're assigned a name, you can't change it. I did not pay a thousand dollars to be called Tugball the Clown. No refunds. All right, kid, what do you want your clown name to be? What about Blue Balls the Clown? Mm, 
Actually, that one's available. Congratulations, get your blue balls the clown. Yay, I got my clown name, I'm Blue Balls. What, he got blue balls? Why am I Tug Ball? All right, now that you got your clown names, I'm gonna teach you how to do the first trick you're gonna need to know for a kid's birthday party, and that's balloon animals. They're gonna want you to make dogs and giraffes and elephants. Mm-mm, it's too hard. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna blow up the balloon, and then you're done. It's a snake balloon. See? Snake. And if they say, oh, I don't want a snake balloon, then you hit them with this. Worm. See? So the only two animals that you need to know how to make are a snake and a worm. Any questions? Okay, but like, what if they want a dog? You say, snake or worm. I'm paying you a thousand dollars. You can teach me how to make something other than a snake or a worm. Snake or worm. Okay. All right, so the next trick you're gonna need to know for a kid's birthday party is how to juggle. So you're gonna take three balls like this and start juggling. Watch me. Oh, 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 oh. See, I can't juggle. But that's all right. You don't need to know how to juggle. You don't get paid enough for that. They're just gonna piss on you anyway. What, so you can't juggle? Are you gonna teach us anything? Snake or worm. What? I, I gave you a thousand dollars. The next thing you're gonna need to know for a birthday party is you gotta get horny. <laughs> You gotta have your little clown horn walk around and do it in people's ears and give them tinnitus. Okay, what is this? Are we seriously not gonna learn anything? I spent it that. What, what, what are you doing? Get, get, get this out of my face. What? Uh... Okay, that is it. Okay, that's it. I don't wanna be a clown anymore. Give me my money back. Don't be a party pooper. I can't give you a refund. I already spent the money. But come up here, I'll show you something cool. Okay, are you actually gonna teach me something? Sure. All right, so the next thing you're gonna to need to know for a kid's birthday party is getting pied in the face. What? Oh, oh God, why does the pie taste like piss? Because I pissed in it. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. I don't want to be a clown anymore. I'm reporting you to the Bandit Business Bureau. Um, am I officially a clown yet? Before you become a certified clown, you have to pass the clown test. It's only one question, and the question is, what two animals can you make out of balloons? Uh, snake or worm? Congratulations, Blue Balls! You're now a certified clown. Go out there and get pissed on as much as you can. Thanks for the thousand bucks. Yay, I became a clown! This is the greatest day ever! My dream finally came true! Hmm, I haven't seen Jeffy all day. Oh, um, well, he's probably just in his room, but you don't need to check on him, though, because he might be in there doing teenage boy things. Hey, Daddy! <laughs> Guess where I've been? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Where'd you get a $1,000 to go to cloud school, Jeffy? Mommy? Jeffy! You weren't supposed to tell him. Well, I didn't want to get yelled at. You gave Jeffy $1,000 to go to cloud school? I'm sorry, Marvin, but it's his passion. Look at him. Oof. But Jeffy! I'm Blue Balls the Clown, Daddy! Blue Balls the Clown! Uh huh? Jeffy, you better show me what you learned at clown school for a thousand dollars. Oh, I learned a bunch of things, Daddy. I learned how to make balloon animals. Oh, well, you better show me the best balloon animals in the world. You better make me a huge elephant. Like, I'm talking a life size elephant. Mm mm. Too hard. Too hard? Nothing should be too hard for a thousand dollars! Snake or worm? Uh, snake. Alright. It better be the best snake I've ever seen. What? It's a snake, Daddy. Ooh, that's cool, Jeffy. It's not cool. It's dumb. Get out of here. It's so dumb. It's literally just, you just blew up a balloon. That took no talent. Jeffy, can I have a worm? Coming right up, Mommy. You could just ask me for one. Here's your worm, Mommy. Ooh, it reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. What? No, that, get these balloons out of here, Jeffy. None of that took any talent. All you did was blow up the balloon and said it was a snake and a worm. Well, you want to see me juggle? I learned how to juggle. Ooh, that's cool, Marvin. I mean, I guess juggling is kind of Cool. Show me you juggling, Jeffy. All right. I mean, at least juggling's a talent. All right, Daddy. Watch me juggle. Yeah. Oh my. Too hard. What? Too hard? Just why is it too hard? Pee on me. What? Yeah, that's what they taught me in clown school. All right, Jeffy. That's it. You got ripped off for giving him a thousand dollars to do something that was a scam. But Daddy, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Want to see it? Yeah, it better be the coolest trick in the world, worth a thousand dollars. All right. I can't believe this. All right, Daddy. See this pie? Yeah. Why does it taste like piss? Because I peed in it. Alright, Jeffy, that is it. You are grounded. You can't ground me. I got a birthday party to go to. See, Marvin, he already has a job. What, someone hired you for their birthday party? They sure did, Danny. So, I'm gonna go do that. I'll see you later. Go PJ! Go PJ! Go PJ! Go me, that's right. So how you ladies liking the party? This party's so awesome! Yeah, I hope it never ends. Yeah, well, you know what they say. There ain't no party like a PJ party, because a PJ party don't stop. Woo! 
<laughs> so over here, I got some Danimals and some Gogurt. I got some Spider-Man and SpongeBob Gogurt. You know, whatever gets the juices flowing. And over here, I have some powdered donuts, so you can just get into that whenever you're ready. Uh, PJ, can I please have your autograph? Sorry, babe. You're gonna have to wait till after the party. Okay. Okay, ladies, on the count of three, I want you to say what would make this party ten times better. And don't say more PJ. Okay, one, two, three. I more PJ! Uh, Clown, that's right, a clown. I hired a clown. Oh, yeah, no, you didn't. I sure did. Get in here, Blue Balls. I'm Blue Balls the Clown. <laughs> All right, make me laugh, funny man. Okay. <laughs> PJ ain't laughing. That's not funny. Um, well, I can juggle. Okay. All right, yeah, let's see him juggle. Well, that'd be really cool if you could juggle. Yeah. All right. It's too hard. Want to pee on me? What? What? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Ah, this is gross. Yeah. This party's lame. Bro, you're ruining my party. You better do a cool trick right now. Oh, uh, well, I can make a, a balloon animals. Uh, okay, balloon animals. Yeah. I, I want a balloon animal. I want a pig. I want a balloon. Yeah, yeah I want a balloon animal too. Yeah, I, I want. A, I want a bird. Um, snake or worm? What? Snake or worm? Uh, a snake, I guess. That's okay. lame. What? It's a snake. This party's so not cool. It's so not cool. What, bro, bro, nobody has ever said a PJ party wasn't cool. You better do a cool trick right now. Well, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Okay, but it better be the coolest trick you've ever done. Yeah, it better be cool, PJ. I'm leaving. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> No ladies, come back! Uh, bro, you ruined my party! No lady has ever left a PJ party! I'm calling the party police! There, I just got done cleaning up the mess. I wish we made a mess that I had to clean up. Ew! Hey, I got you, kid. Oh, Jeffy, you got arrested? Yeah, I had to trespass him for ruining PJ Crenshaw's party. PJ Crenshaw? Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw! Here are Jammy's Crenshaw, that's the one. What'd he do? Well, he did a bunch of lame tricks and it made PJ's girls leave. <gasps> Not his girls leave? Yeah, his girls. Oh. Well, so what's gonna happen to Jeffy? Well, I gotta revoke his clown card so he can't be a clown anymore. Wait, I can't be a clown anymore? No, you're permanently banned from being a clown. Wow, all that for nothing. Wait, wait why is your nose red? Oh, because I also went to clown school, but I dropped out because it was just way too much piss for my liking. And I kept the clown nose to remind myself I'm a clown for paying $1,000 for that. Well, she's a clown for paying $1,000 for Jeffy to go to clown school. What a waste of money. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to my other job, leading Santa's sleigh. Oh, like Rudolph. Roar! Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm in my lion costume, Daddy. A lion doesn't go. Well, this one does. Jeffy, look, take your costume off. It's not Halloween. No, Daddy, I just want you to put it on to make sure it was scary. Roar! Is it scary? No, it's not scary, Jeffy. Well, I bet if I ate someone's face off, it'd be scary. Jeffy! You're not Jeffrey Dahmer, you're a lion. Well, my name's Jeffy. Look, just, just, just go outside, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. Rawr! <sighs> Wee! I'm playing at the playground with my pencil, no shoes, and my pants are down. This is a good day. Wee! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, it's a lion! <laughs> oh, 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 no! <laughs> 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 So, baby. Yeah, Marvin? Jeffy's outside and we're all alone. Oh! <laughs> so I was thinking maybe I can give you a full body massage. Okay, Marvin. I see where this is going. See what it leads to. <laughs> oh, sick! You're sick! You're just sick! <laughs> I got you, Marvin! That's disgusting! <laughs> no, Let's do it again! No, the, the news is on. Let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay? A lion has escaped from the local zoo and attacked a child at a park. We have an exclusive interview with the child now. Let's go to that. So I was at the park with my favorite pencil that I always bring with me to the park, and then suddenly a lion attacked me and I stabbed him in the nose. Wow, truly terrifying. If you've seen this lion, please call 911 immediately. There's a $10,000 reward for anyone who finds him. Marvin, there's a lion on the loose and Jeffy's out! Okay, I'll go get him. Oh, thank God, Jeffy, there you are. You have to go inside right now. There's a lion on the loose. Don't you yell at me, Jeffy. Get inside. Jeffy, knock it off. Oh, good, Marvin. You found Jeffy. Yeah, but he won't stop acting like a lion. Wow, Jeffy, your roar's gotten really good. <laughs> Jeffy, just go to your room. 
Or Jeffy! What did he do, Marvin? He clawed open the couch! Jeffy, you're not a real lion. You can't do that. Yeah, Jeffy, go cut your fingernails. <laughs> oh, it's gonna cost so much money to fix the couch. All right, world, hear me roar. Roar! Oh, hey, what's going on? Gotcha, you, you little bastard. Don't worry, everybody, I caught the lion. Where are you taking me? What, a talking lion? No, 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 I think I still have some of those brownies in my system. Come on, let's go put you down. Oh, baby, yeah, oh, I love the way that feels. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh. Hey, Shaq what are you doing? Uh, Junior, I'm beating my meat. Oh, leave me alone. Let me beat it in peace. I could help. Oh, Cody, I know how to beat my meat by myself, okay? Leave me alone. I could use my mouth. Just, just get out of here. Get out of this room, you little brats. God. What happened to my meat? Who took my meat? Junior! What's wrong, Chef Pee, Pee What did you guys do with my meat? Well, we didn't do anything with it. You wouldn't let me help. Look, I was beating my meat, then you guys came in there and bothered me, now it's gone! Well, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I can help you get it back up. Yeah, help me get it back! Alright, whip it out. No, 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 not that! I'm talking about my steak! Steak? What steak? Oh my god, god, Cody! Marvin! What's wrong, Chef Pee, Pee? Have you guys seen my meat? What? Seen your meat? Yes, it's big and floppy. I was just beating it in the kitchen. What? Well, no, we haven't seen your meat. Come on now. Somebody seen it, because somebody grabbed it. Now tell me who grabbed it. I didn't grab your meat. Did you grab it? No, I didn't grab your meat. I know you grabbed it. You look like you grabbed meat. Come on now. No, you... I did not grab your meat. Baby, you grabbed his meat. Marvin, I didn't grab his meat. Now, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted a taste of it. What? What? No, we didn't taste it. Look, tell me who grabbed it, and I'll give you a taste of it. I promise. What? No, no, no. I'm going to call the cops. You're being perverted, Chef PB. What? Be perverted? I'm just talking about my steak. Wait, steak? Yes. Wait, wait. Look, he has it. What? Jeffy, you ate Chef PB's steak. I'll give it back. Get my meat out your mouth. What? <laughs> Get it. Give it up. Your... Sorry, Chef PB. Yeah, that's my meat. Don't touch my meat no more. <laughs> Jeffy, you know what? You're grounded for taking Chef PB's meat. Come on. Yeah. All right, Jeffy. Lay down and go to sleep. It's past your bedtime anyway. Bye. Hey, you better calm down. You're lucky I'm letting you wear your lion costume to bed. Bye. Go to sleep. <laughs> so, Marvin, did you get Jeffy to bed? Yeah, but he was fighting it. So, we're alone again. Yeah. Do you want to give me another back massage? Oh, no, I'm not going to fall for that again, Miss Toots Columbo. Well, come on, Marvin. How about if I give you a back massage? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, lay down. Hey, Marvin, look up real quick. What? Back up, sick, sick. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you. <laughs> the news is on, the, the, the news. Breaking news, okay? The lion that escaped from the zoo has been found. Since the animal attacked someone, he has been deemed too dangerous to keep alive. He is being euthanized by firing squad tomorrow on pay-per-view. Thank God they caught that lion before it hurt someone! Ugh, my eyes are so itchy. What's wrong, Marvin? My eyes are itchy. Oh my God, your eyes are pink! What, they're pink? Why would they be pink? I don't know, maybe you caught something! Call the doctor! Okay, I'm gonna call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a very happy doctor. Why are you so happy? Because I caught the lion. You lion! No, no I'm not. Hey, listen here, okay? It was on the news. There was proof. The city paid me to catch that lion, okay? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar because I caught the lion and it's gonna be executed tomorrow morning by firing squad on pay-per-view. Anyway, why'd you call me? Because my eyes are pink. Hmm, well that could be caused by one of two things. Either you've been having some of those special brownies I make, or you got pink eye. But what's pink eye? Well, it's when you get shit in your eye. What? Yeah, you get some fecal particles in your eye and it makes them all red and itchy. What, fecal particles? Yeah, you know, doo-doo. What, how would doo-doo get in my eye? Well, I don't know, uh, I guess sometimes when you're wiping your butt, you know, and your finger breaks through the toilet paper, you get some poo-poo on your finger, and then you rub your eye, and then, you know, you get pink Who would do that? You, apparently. Well, no, that's not what I did. What? Could it happen from someone farting in your face? Well, yeah, but why would that ever happen? What if your wife did it to you twice? What? Oh my god, did, did she do that? It was a prank! Yeah, she farted right in my face. No, 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 do you want to press charges? I would like to, yeah, because she farted right in my face, it was wet and stinky. If it my, was funny! If my wife did that to me, they would make a Netflix documentary about what I did. I would kill her. What, you, uh, listen, how do I fix the pink eye? Well, I could give you some, uh, you know, some antibiotic eye drops, but I don't have those on me, so you'd have to go to a pharmacy, you know, like Walgreens, or CVS or Walmart Pharmacy, or Kmart? Is that still a thing? No, I don't think they had pharmacies when they were around, so don't go there. Okay, so what do I do? Well, just don't let her fart on you again, but definitely get that looked at. Ugh, it's so itchy. Sorry. You gave me pink eye. I'm sorry. All right, everyone, my meat is ready. Who wants to taste it? Ooh, I'll try it. All right, baby, while you taste his meat, I'm gonna go ask Jeff if he's hungry, because he hasn't ate anything for dinner. Okay. Wow, wow. Jeffy, are you hungry? <laughs> Jeffy? Listen, there's a steak in there if you want to eat some. 
Okay, mister, for raising your voice at me, now you have to eat green beans. So come on, come on. Baby, I'm gonna go feed Jeffy green beans because he talked back to me. How was Chef Beebe's meat? Oh, it was really good. Nice and juicy. Wait, there's no bite taken out of the steak. <laughs> Chef Beebe strikes again! Oh, you Chef Beebe, why I oughta? Ugh, I'm gonna go feed Jeffy green beans. <laughs> Jeffy, stop chewing on the table. I got you a big old plate of green beans, so eat up. <laughs> that is it, mister. You are so grounded. Come on. Baby! I'm sorry, Marvin. It won't ever happen again. What? what? No, no, no. Jeffy threw his plate of green beans on the ground. Marvin, he always does that. Well, I'm sick of it, so you're grounded, Jeffy. And also, I found out that Jeffy has homework. Oh, but why don't you help him with it, Marvin? Okay, Jeffy, I'll help you with your homework. Okay. Right. What is the estimate of 3.596 plus 2.4? Anyway, Jeffy, you're the one in school, not me. You're the one that has to do this homework. So do it. <laughs> Jeffy! Don't you worry. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, oh, he bit my head. He bit my head. Let go of it, Jeffy. Let go. Oh, he bit my head. Oh, my God, Marvin. Your hand looks horrible. You need to call the doctor. Jeffy, I might press charges on you now that you're 18. You might go to jail. Oh, my God. My hand hurts so bad. I'm going to call a doctor. Call Marvin, go. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. My head! Hey, you are not gonna raise your voice in me, sir, okay? We're gonna use our inside voices like adults. Now tell me what happened. My hand! Jesus Christ, look at your hand! What happened? Oh my God, has anybody seen his hand? My son bit my hand. What, your son did that? Yeah. <laughs> Th that's not your son, that's a lion. He's just in a lion costume. Huh, how about that? Wow, that is a really realistic lion costume. Where'd he get it? Spirit Halloween. No, he did not get that at a Spirit Halloween. No, if you don't want to tell me, just say so. Listen, what are we gonna do about my head? Man, that's pretty torn up. You want to push charges? Yeah, because he didn't even say he was sorry. <sighs> Man, that looks pretty bad. You might need stitches. Yeah, it hurts really bad. Hold on, hold on, I'm having a flashback here. Hmm. Oh my god. What? I just remembered. I didn't wash my hands after I wiped. Ew, I'm gonna get pink eye now. Well, don't wipe that on me. Hey, you already have pink eye. What do you care? That's gross. Wait, wait, wait. I'm having another thought. Huh. That lion I caught was in your front yard. You lion. Bitch, I already told you that it was on the news. There's proof, okay? Wait, 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 what, were you, what, what were you talking about? What were you talking about? I... Damn it, I forgot. You, you were saying something. We'll try to remember. Backtrack. Okay, hold on. Stinky fingers. Pink eye, wipe it on you, interrupting cow. You said there's a lion in my front yard. Yes, yes, the lion I caught was in your front yard, and he could talk. What, you he... lion! Hey, okay, I... I'll kill you. Oh, no, listen, you said he... Okay, you said a lion could talk? Lions can't talk. Oh, this lion could talk. H hold on, make your lion talk. Jeffy, say hi. <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> he can't talk. Hmm, this lion can't talk, but the lion I caught said he wasn't a lion. So he wasn't lion? Huh. Maybe he wasn't lying. Maybe he really wasn't a lion. Maybe I caught your son. What? And if I caught your son, then that means... Uh-oh! Ah! Ah! What do we do? I don't know, man. The only lion I ever caught was your son, and he came quietly. I don't want to die! Come on, think of something, think of something. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, man. That is some good catnip. <laughs> I can see why cats love it so much. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, look at the lion. <laughs> he, he, he's just lying around. <laughs> Marvin, Marvin, he's not a lion. He's a hyen. <laughs> because he is suited out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> Man's is stuck. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. But we gotta stop doing this to fix our problems. Wait. Wait, I gotta go save Jeffy before he's executed by firing squad tomorrow morning, and I gotta take the lion with me. Hey, hey, wake up, buddy. Uh, he's not waking up. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Hey, Marvin, I saved Jeffy just in the nick of time, too. They were about to blow his head off. Yeah, I felt like I was in Call of Duty. Good. That was, that was good. Wait, you guys ain't catnip without me? <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> Today was a wacky day. <laughs> Okay, all right, you know what? That's it. Oh, I'm good. I'm leaving. That was disgusting. Marvin, our Halloween costumes are so cute. Jeffy's the cat in the hat and we're thing one and thing two. And thing three is in my pants. I'm just tired of Halloween already. 
Marvin, don't say that. Halloween's amazing. You get to dress up in costumes, you get to carve pumpkins, and you get to go trick-or-treating. Cat penis. Jeffy, stop it. Well, Danny, what does a cat wiener look like? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. Listen, I'm just, I'm tired of Halloween. Like, you dress up in costumes every year. It's so short. I don't wanna look at a cat wiener, Jeffy. Why is it bigger than mine? Put your phone away, Jeffy. Okay, so what, do, what does everyone want to do for Halloween? Well, I think since I'm dressed up as the cat in the hat, I should try to rhyme every time I talk. Okay, uh, what's your favorite candy? Reese's Pieces. Um, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Reese's Pieces. You can't say Reese's Pieces to everything, Jeffy. Uh, what's your favorite color? Reese's Pieces. But that's not a color! Marvin, maybe he's saying he likes the color orange and brown. And yellow, pillow. Yellow and pillow don't rhyme, Jeffy. Yes, it does, Santa Claus. What the, that doesn't rhyme. Okay, look, I'm gonna stop getting so mad about your stupid costume and in the rhymes. All right, listen, so what are we gonna do first? Let's carve pumpkins. What's carve pumpkins, I asked. What's carve pumpkins? But you can't rhyme your first sentence with the... <sighs> We're gonna go carve pumpkins, Jeffy, come on. Okay, Jeffy, you're gonna carve this big pumpkin right here. And I'm gonna carve this tiny one. If my wiener was your pumpkin, it'd be the tiny one. That didn't rhyme, Jeffy. Reese's Pieces. You can't end every sentence with Reese's Pieces. That doesn't count. Well, rhyming's too hard, so I give up. Okay, look, let's just carve this pumpkin. What does carve pumpkin mean? Uh, baby, show them what it means. Okay, you take a knife, and then you stab your pumpkin like this. Ah! You stabbed your baby pumpkin in front of its mommy! You're going to hell! Murderer! Jeffy. Murderer! Yeah, you're supposed to Murderer! Jeffy, you're supposed to do that what carving pumpkins is. Murderer! Come on, Jeffy. You guys killed a baby pumpkin! We were carving- Murderer! That's how you carve pumpkins, Jeffy. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Or should I say, a uh, Jedi? What? Hold on. Damn it, stupid thing. Um, wait, give it a second. It's supposed to light up. Uh, uh, ha, 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 a Jedi? Isn't that sick? Isn't technology amazing? You know, like those Velcro shoes? You don't even have to learn how to tie your shoes. I sure didn't. Anyway, why'd you guys really call me? My parents are murderers! Oh no, were they killing younglings? Yes! That sounds like Sith behavior to me. Ugh. Ow! You, come here. Ugh. Ow! Okay, I took care of them, but what's really going on? Okay, we were carving pumpkins, and we stabbed the baby pumpkin. In front of the mommy pumpkin? What, yeah. Ugh. Ow! Okay, first of all, actually, also, anyway, nevertheless, uh, carving pumpkins is not illegal. We were trying to tell Jeffy that, it's not illegal. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go back home and pass out candy, which is what you should be doing. Ugh. Okay, all right, guys, we're gonna do what the cop said. We're gonna go pass out candy, come on. All right, Jeffy, when you hear the doorbell, you're gonna pass out candy, okay? Okay. There's someone at the door. What, Jeffy, you're supposed to wait for me to open the door. Oh, okay. Trick or treat, ow! What, Jeffy, no, you're supposed to toss the candy in the bag. Oh, okay, let me try again. Well, no, don't give me more candy. Ow! I'm racist, Cubs. We all pass out candy to racist cops. What? What? No, racist Cubs. All right, look, you got enough candy so you can go. But he didn't put the candy in the bag. Look, just go. Okay. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, I'm going to pass out candy to the next trick-or-treater because you don't know how to do it. <gasps> There's someone else. Trickleist, trickleist. Your boy, Dougie. You're supposed to say trick-or-treat. Church is chicken. What? No, no, look, you can't trick-or-treat at your own house. But I don't want no candy. I want some money. I'm not giving you money. Well, I need the new Coolerist Doodlers. Look, look, look we, you can get that later. Well, I'm the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. Bye, your boy, Dougie. Wait, where's my money? <sighs> okay, look, let's go upstairs and figure out something else, because handing out candy's not fun. Okay, we just passed out candy, we carved pumpkins, I'm ready to go to bed. No, Marvin, we still have to go trick-or-treating. Yeah, Daddy, I want some candy. Okay, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating, let's get it over with. Actually, Marvin, I'm tired, I'm gonna stay home. Well, no, if anyone gets to stay home, it's me, I don't wanna go out in the cold. Well, someone has to pass out candy. Well, yeah, Daddy, she's got a point. Well, I'll pass out the candy. No, Marvin, you're thing one. Thing two by themselves doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Daddy, I got thing two right here, on the Oh, okay, come on, let's just go. Okay, Jeffy, let's hurry up and go trick-or-treating so I can go to bed. What? Trick-or-treaters, ugh. Hello? <laughs> Trick-or-treat, what, what the fuck? What, Jeffy, don't, don't throw candy at him. Uh, what are you doing here, Goodman? I'm here for your house payment, Marvin. Already? Yeah, because it's the end of the month. Uh, well, me and my son were about to go trick-or-treating. Marvin, do you know what my costume is? You're a horse? Yeah, and in case you're wondering, the carpets do match the drapes. I got a horse cleaner, Marvin. Okay. Yeah, so since you don't have my house payment, I'm taking your candy that you're going to give out to the kids in your neighborhood. What? So now you look like an asshole. Oh, don't, don't do that. Trick or treat. Oh, oh. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. Okay, Jeffy, this is the first house. Danny, why do I have a cupcake pan? Because we didn't have any trash bags. Are we poor? Yes. Aww. Ooh, trick or treat. Jeffy, be nice. 
Hello? Trick or treat, suck my ass. What's your face? Oh, what lovely man is. That's the spirit. I'm Count Succula. I can suck anyone off. Yes, you can. I was her first victim before you knocked on the door. Thanks for interrupting. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm Tiger, the rapper. Oh, I thought you were a tigger. Ooh, you one let off from getting the ass open, boy. Here you go. Here's some candy. All right, Jeffy, what do you say? Piss off. What the heck? Come on. Oh, Count Succula, I, I think I need to be a victim again. Meow. <laughs> okay, Jeffy, this is the next house. This is not the candy you're looking for. Oh, hey, it's you guys. I guess you came here for the good candy. Well, too bad, because it's all mine, especially the Reese's Pieces. No one can have those. Those are my favorite. Now, boy, you don't be stingy with your candy. Ugh, this is my wife. She's a mermaid. It has nothing to do with Star Wars. Boy, you were supposed to be my princess. Rick. Yeah, well, I don't know who that is, so you can have fun passing out the candy, but don't give them my Reese's Pieces. Uh, can we have some candy, please? Okay, sure. There you go. Happy Halloween. More. Jeffrey, no, come on. Boydie, I handed out the candy. Wait, wait a minute. One, two, three. Karen, two of my Reese's Pieces are missing. Your what? My Reese's Pieces. These. Oh. I thought you said Reese's Cups. We don't have any Reese's Cups, Karen. Well, I'm sorry, Pointy. I didn't understand the directions. Hey, Yuki and Guy. Well, Jonathan, what are you doing here? Well, since I'm your brother, I figured it was okay if I just walk in your house. No, leave. You didn't even ask me what my outfit was. I'm tomato. Because you're like toes. Get it? Yeah. Karen, show me your toes. Oh, I'm a mermaid. I don't have toes. Show me your boobies, then. Okay, Jonathan, I think you need to leave. Can I have some candy first? No. I'm telling mom. Oh, don't tell mom. Damn it. Karen, I can't believe you gave away two of my Reese's pieces. I'm gonna, I know where those people live. I'm gonna go find them and I'm gonna get my candy back. Boy, need you leave those nice people alone. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's look at all the candy we got from Trick or Treating. Yeah! Okay, well, I got some fruit roll-ups. I have not quite enough Snickers to spell Snickers, but I can spell Rick's, and I have some Starburst. Cody, what is your Halloween costume supposed to be? Yeah, dude, I was wondering that all day. Wait, really? Come on, I'm Harry Potter. Oh, you look like a lawyer. What, a lawyer? Is this what you think a lawyer looks like? Well, you have a tie on and a suit and the Harvard scarf. What, what did you think this thing in my hand was? Um, it, like a pen so you could write down stuff in court? But no, why, why do you think I have a broom? So you could sweep up your office? Dude, I thought you were a lawyer, but from Antarctica. What, Antarctica? Yeah, because of the scarf, duh. Oh, yeah. No. Well, Joseph, what is your costume supposed to be? Isn't it obvious, dude? I'm a green astronaut. Oh, yeah, a famous green astronaut. I've heard of those. Uh, uh, Cody, you haven't asked what my costume is. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Well, come on, guess. Is it my mom? No. But really? No, it's not your mom. It's your mom, but in Minecraft. Oh, Jesus. He's thinking outside the box. Junior, you've already been my mom for Halloween before. But I've never been your mom in Minecraft. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, guys, let's trade some candy. Okay, what's your first offer? Okay, well, I really want that Starburst. So, I'll trade you a Milky Way for your Starburst. No, 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 no way. No way I'm trading my Starburst for a little tiny mini Milky Way. Okay, how about this? I will trade you um, ooh, my Kit Kat for the Starburst. Mm, no, no. How about your Cheez-Its for my Starburst? I'm not trading my Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its, okay? So, how about I trade you my fruit snacks for your Starburst? Well, I already have Mott's fruit snacks, and that's actually pretty similar, so no. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Joseph, I, I, you have two Starbursts, so I'm going to trade you something. Um, I'll trade you my Cheez-Its for your Starburst. Oh, deal, dude. What, what the fuck, Junior? That's exactly what I wanted. But he has two Starbursts, so he, he has, like, more to trade than you do. What? Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna pass up on a good deal. <laughs> but it's the same, but... It's not the same deal, look. Now, give, give me my, give me, yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have been greedy. Should've given me the Starburst. This is bullshit. Hey, guys, call me the baker's man, cause I got a cupcake pan. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, are those Reese's Pieces? Oh, dude, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. No, I'll trade you all my candy for the Reese's Pieces. Oh, no, I want the Reese's Pieces. Back off, guys. The Reese's Pieces are mine. Yo, man. Oh, darn it. <gasps> Ugh, I'm done with this stupid holiday. Baby, can you help me take my costume off? Okay, Marvin. Be careful. You don't want to touch my thing one. <laughs> my... My one thing. What? My one Daddy, I struck gold. Check it out. Two packs of Reese's Pisces. Wow, Jeffy, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to eat them. Not so fast. Those Reese's Pisces are mine. Wait, 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 actually, he got them trick-or-treating, so they're his. Yeah, well, my, and I hate to call her this, my wife accidentally passed those out, and she knows they're mine, so I am taking these. And if you have a problem with that, 
you're gonna die. Well, then you're gonna have to fight me. Oh, yeah, my red thing's out. Yeah, my ew, red thing's out. Oh, 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 no, I dropped my lightsaber. If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Ow, my eye! Ow, I'm telling my mommy. All right, Daddy, open up a pack of these Reese's Pussies. <laughs> Today, you have a test today. So today, I'm gonna come around and pass out your test today, and you will take your test today, and then you will turn in your test that you took today, and I'll grade your test tomorrow. Wait, I'm confused. When is the test? Today. But we get our results... Tomorrow. Okay, thank you. I was very confused. All right, Jeffy, here's your test. I'm gonna fail this show hard, and here's your test today. Oh, I didn't study. All right, Kraus, you may begin your test today. And remember, no cheating. Oh, I don't know any of these answers. I can't fail. My mom is going to ground me. Oh, I'm going to try to Google the answers. Hey, Pazzer, are you using your phone to cheat on the test? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. That's it. You fail. Go to the principal's office now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone get the nurse! Oh my god, poor Patrick! Whoa, dude, that boy going bonkers! No, I think he's challenging us to a breakdancing competition. <laughs> oh, no way, I can breakdance better than him. No, I can't. No, guys, he's having a seizure. <laughs> I bet his favorite pizza place is Little Seizures. <laughs> hey, knock it off! You're distracting me from my test! <laughs> Did someone call the nurse? Woo! All right, you just calm down now. What happened? You just experienced a seizure. Now come with me to the nurse's office and we're going to get you home. Oh, it must have been my low blood sugar. I have diabetes. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, Patrick, I hope you get better soon. I'll just go ahead and pass your test for today. All right, everyone, back to taking your test. No, wait just a goddamn second. This kid gets to act like a bag of shake up fries from Burger King and gets an A on his test, and I'm over here scratching my balls. Trying to figure out why there's letters in math! I passed him on his test because he had a medical emergency. He couldn't help it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, if he can do it, so can I. Teacher, I don't feel so good! <laughs> oh my god, Chris! Another seizure! Someone get the nose! <laughs> I bet Jeffy's favorite salad is seizure salad. <laughs> I'm really good at food based seizure jokes. Did Last time. Oh my god, another one! Now just calm down! Do I get to go home? Of course you do! Now come with me! Heck yes! I'm out of here, guys! Alright, Jeffy, I hope you feel better! Suck on this, Teach! Right this way! I know. Man, you guys are dropping like fries! Get back to taking your test! Guys, I think Jeffy just faked his seizure so he didn't have to take his test. <laughs> it looks like he really seized the opportunity. Whoa! Oh, dude. Oh, Cody, that's messed up. Yeah. What? I thought we were all making jokes. You can't make jokes about seizures. That's wrong. Yeah, it could be you. You never know, dude. Well, Bully was making food jokes. <laughs> I bet him and Patrick are going to go eat at Steak and Shake. <laughs> <laughs> shake? That's what a seizure does. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> ah, settle down. You're supposed to be taking your test. Hey, not what, Jeffy, what are you doing home from school so early? School just started, Jeffy. Well, I got an A so fast in my test, the teacher said I could come home. You got an A on your test? I sure did, Daddy. I passed that bit with flying colors, boy. You never got an A on your test before, Jeffy. That's amazing, Jeffy. Yep, and there's going to be plenty more A's on my test coming around. Because you've been studying so hard? Yeah, let's go with that. Well, Jeffy, we have to go out and celebrate. But first, go do your chores. Go do the dishes and take out the trash. <laughs> Jeffy, knock it off. Go do your chores. Seizure! What? Marvin, I think Jeffy's having a seizure! Uh, I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, he won't stop shaking. Whoa, whoa, hey, calm down, champ. Tell him I can't do my chores. What, doctor, why is he shaking? Oh, it looks to me like he's having a seizure. Why? Uh, maybe he's epileptic? What does that mean? It, it, it means you have seizures. Well, what causes them? Yeah, how do you stop from happening again? Uh, everybody shut up. I don't know. I don't know, okay? I'm, I'm not a very good doctor, and I cheated on that part of the test. I don't really know anything about seizures. I just know they have something to do with your brain. Okay, then what can we do to stop Jeffy from having seizures in the future? Um, I guess we could give him medication. I mean, I heard THC helps. Okay, where do we get THC? 
THC. Well, lucky for you, I'm a doctor. I can hook you up. Yeah, my friend sold me these brownies, and I was going to eat them alone in my house, but I'm pretty sure there's a good amount of THC in here. So if Jeffy has one, he shouldn't have any more seizures. All right, Jeffy, look, eat a brownie, and I'll eat one with you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, hey, Marvin, hey. What do us and those brownies have in common? <laughs> We're all baked. <laughs> whoa, whoa, look at my boy Jeffy. <laughs> he is in space, my guy. He is fucking zooted. <laughs> he is in Andromeda right now. No, 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 no. No, he is, he is beyond Andromeda. He is in Alpha Centauri. <laughs> he is riding the Hubble telescope. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, Marvin. Marvin, look at this. Do you see my hand? Oh my god. I have the reflexes of a cat. Oh, I think I could catch a bullet. Oh my god, this uh, is amazing. I don't, I don't, I don't think Jeffy could take these brownies every day. I can. <laughs> I, I think he needs real medicine. Oh. Wait, wait, did you say something? I, I don't, I don't feel good um uh, hey I, I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go drive home Jeffy I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> okay now that we're all sobered up we have to find a realistic way to treat Jeffy's seizures well maybe because Jeffy got so zooted it cured his seizures do you think they're cured Jeffy well it depends on if you tell me to do my chores or not no I think you should stay away from chores I don't want you to get dizzy or I'd fall over yeah I agree no chores for me Marvin I think I have the munchies yeah me too let's go downstairs and get something to eat well, if we don't get pizza, I think I'm going to have another seizure again. So, Marvin, what are we going to have for dinner? Yeah, Daddy, what's the moves? Pizza time? No, Jeffy, I know what you're going to eat. You're going to eat a big old plate of green beans to help out your brain and eat some vitamins. Oh, no, Daddy. I feel it coming. What? I feel it coming. What? Marvin, he's having another seizure. What do we do? Pizza. Marvin, we have to call the doctor. Okay, I'll get a doctor, doctor. Uh, hey there, is somebody called Dr. Doofenshmirtz? What? You know, like Phineas and Ferb? Candace? Candace Wiener fit in your mouth? <laughs> You're still zooted? Yeah, I get hungry on the way back to my car, so I had another brownie. Well, look, Jeffy's having another seizure! Hey, hey, man, calm down. You're good, bro. See, you're good. What happened? We tried feeding him green beans and he had another seizure. Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> it's time for dessert. <laughs> See you, Marvin? No more seizures. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, my brother in Christ, you're in another dimension, my boy. <laughs> See, he can see colors we can't even imagine. Colors that are not even on the color wheel. <laughs> hey, Marvin. Hey, Marvin, you know who my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster is? It's Red Eyes Black Dragon. <laughs> you get it? Because he's baked. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Marvin, you know what pisses me off is when people say tomato, tomato, but like, I've never heard anybody say tomato, <laughs> like, like, I'll give you that cheeseburger, but no tomato, <laughs> nobody says that, or like, like potato, potato, like nobody says potato either, like, like I'm gonna go play with my Mr. Potato head, <laughs> or, or, or give you that bowl of mashed potatoes, <laughs> oh man, okay, alright, I think I'm gonna go home. Okay, now that we're all back to normal, Jeffy, we have to find a real way to cure your seizures other than eating those brownies. But Marvin, those brownies help Jeffy's seizures. Well, he, he can't eat those brownies his whole life. He can't function being like that all the time. So, Jeffy, just go to your room and lay down until we find out a way to help you. But I wanted to play Fortnite all night. You can't play Fortnite, Jeffy. That's a video game, and a video game is flashing lights on a screen. That will cause another seizure. It will? Yeah, so go lay down. But what if the video games help my seizures? It, it won't, Jeffy. Just go lay down and rest. Okay, daddy. And make a loud noise if you have a seizure. Go, dude! Okay, guys, guess! Um, uh, wiener. Is it a wiener? A, cro a crooked wiener. A crooked wiener. I'm seeing a crooked wiener. No! Uh, uh dri a drippy wiener. A crooked, drippy wiener. No, it uh, has... Uh, uh big... Uh, balls. A, a crooked, drippy wiener with big balls. What? No! It, look, Cody, it's a faucet. Like, like a water faucet. Oh, I'm so close. Hey, guys! Oh, hey, Jeffy, I have a question. Did you, did you fake the seizures at school today to get out of taking the test? Sure did, Junior. And I've been faking seizures all day and getting baked. Rad. What? Jeffy was faking it this whole time? 
Oh, he's so grounded. Baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Did you know that Jeffy's been faking his seizures all day? Don't say that. No, 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 no. I just heard Jeffy tell his friends that he faked his seizure in school today to get out of taking a test. What? So it all makes sense now. Jeffy faked his seizure to not do his chores. He faked his seizure not to eat his green beans. He's been faking his seizures all day. Oh, my God, Marvin. What do we do? We whoop him. Jeffy, get in here. Dearest father, are you going to give me a spanking? Oh, you're damn right I'm going to give you a spanking. Whatever for? Because you've been faking your seizures all day, Jeffy. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Oh, uh, 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 oh. Well, what if he's actually having a seizure? I'm not falling for it this time. Jeffy, knock it off. All right, you caught me. See, Jeffy, you've been faking your seizures. That is so wrong. That is, you're making fun of people who have seizures? I'm sorry, Danny. No, Jeffy, there's people out there really suffering from seizures, and you're sitting there faking it for your own personal gain. That is so wrong, Jeffy. I know, Daddy. I won't ever do it again. You better never do it again, right? Jeffy, it's so wrong. You know what? I'm going to have to call that doctor back and let him know that we're sorry for wasting his time because Jeffy was faking his seizures. All right, I'm starting to think you guys are just calling me for my brownies. No, 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 no brownies. I just want to let you know that Jeffy's been faking seizures all day, and I want you to tell him it's wrong. Meh, it's all good in the hood, bro. Well, no, it's not all good in the hood. What Jeffy did was wrong, and I want him to be grounded. Hey, 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 man, you need to calm down. You know what I think? I think you need to have some more brownies. <laughs> you see, Marvin? You're not so mad anymore, are you? <laughs> hey, hey, you know what word I hate? Nonchalant. It, it doesn't even have an S in it. It's chalant with the CH. <laughs> Isn't that some bullshit? <laughs> and you notice you can never be chalant, just nonchalant. You never hear anybody say, man, I am very chalant. I'm having a bad day. I'm feeling very chalant today. <laughs> you never hear that. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what else is crazy? Like, like wood comes from trees, but houses are made of wood. So if you think about it, all houses are tree houses, man. Damn. Are we still watching a scary movie tonight? Yes, baby. Jeffy's put on his pajamas, then he's going to bed, and then we're going to watch a scary movie. Ooh, I'm so excited! Hey, Danny, check the fit. I got my bunny shoe on, got my carrot on. I'm ready for bed. Oh, you are ready for bed, Jeffy, so how about you hop on over to your bed and go to sleep? No. What do you mean, no? Before I depart off to bed, I have just the teensiest request. What's your teensy request? I would like one pepperoni pizza. Jeffy, you're not getting a pepperoni pizza before bed. Why well, want pizza? Jeffy, say please. My balls itch. Okay, first off, even if he says please, he's not getting a pizza before bed. And also, Jeffy, what about your balls? Just stop it, Jeffy. Listen, pizza before bed will, uh, give you nightmares. Pizza these nuts. What? I'll give you a pizza something. Jeffy, you... You can't, you said the, 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 the punchline before the- Pizza these nuts! Look, you're not getting pizza before bed! Danny, I assure you, your night will go a lot smoother if you get me pizza. Is that a threat? No, Danny, it's not a threat. I'm just saying the back of my bunny suit opens up and it exposes my butt cheeks. And I had one of those watery poops today and I didn't wipe my turd tunnel. So I have plans on rubbing it across your couch like writing happy birthday on a birthday cake. But instead of icing, it's gonna be shit from my poop hole. Marvin, I kind of want a pizza now. How'd that make you hungry? I am going to wipe my poop hole, the dirty poop hole, across your couch like smearing Crayola crayon. Okay, Jeffy, I'll get you a damn pizza. Great. All right, Jeffy, here's your pepperoni pizza. Ew! What's wrong? Why are those red things on it? Those are pepperonis. Well, I don't like pepperonis. Take them off. You said you wanted a pepperoni pizza. Where's the cheese? Under the pepperonis. Well, I want the pepperonis taken off. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll take the pepperonis off. <sighs> all right, Jeffy, I took all the pepperonis off the pizza so you can eat it. I don't want it anymore, I want hot dogs. <laughs> Father, you're scaring me. Jeffy, you're gonna eat this damn pizza. <laughs> Marvin, the sooner he eats, the sooner we can watch our movie. Baby, you're not going to actually play his game. He wants hot dogs now. You want hot dogs, Jeffy? Yeah, Mommy. But you're going to want to write this down because I like my hot dogs a certain way. Okay. Yeah, so check it. This is what I want. I want two hot dogs boiled. Then when they're done cooking, I want you to put them on a plate loosely. No bun or anything because I like to watch them roll around. Then on the center of the plate, I want you to put ketchup and mustard on there. But it's up to you to balance the plate so that the hot dogs don't touch the ketchup and mustard because if they do, you're going to have to start start all over. And then to drink, I want some of the water that the hot dogs were cooked in with milk. Then, once you got all that together, go ahead and put that in the trash because I'm not going to want that either. Jeffy! 
Jeffy! Oh, that's it, Jeffy. You're going to bed. Hold on, I got one more request. Go to bed, Jeffy. But, Daddy, you didn't hear my request. I want grapes with the skin peeled off, and I want bananas, but I only want the stringy part. Good night, Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy frustrates me so much. Calm down, Marvin. Let's just watch the movie. And look, we have a cheese pizza we can eat. Yeah, you're right. And I guess if you want to add some sausage to that pizza, it's right here. You picked it off and put it in the corner. What? Those are pepperoni, not sausage. Pepperoni is a type of sausage. No, it's not. Okay, well, let's just sit here, you be wrong, and watch a movie. Okay. Air oh, no. there. You caught me. But Jeffy, go back to bed. But I heard movie, and I'm going to watch a movie. You're not going to watch this movie, Jeffy. It's scary. Jeffy, it's really scary. You can't watch it. Well, how scary? Is it boop, scary or boop, scary? It's boop, scary. Well, I can watch it. I'm a big boy. What? No, Jeffy, it's going to give you nightmares. It's a really scary movie. I don't care, Danny, because I want to watch it. Oh, you know what? Fine. We'll watch it. But when you get nightmares, you don't come crying to me, okay? I won't go cry, Daddy. It's called Nightmare on Poopy Street. Great. <laughs> Wait, why am I jogging at night? Suck my ball! Get over here! Run, bitch, run! Jeffy! Run! No, please! Run! What the? What? Damn cat! I'm tired of you scratching me while I sleep. Go, get out of here, shoo! Man, the damn cat ruined my favorite white sleeping shirt. What's wrong, honey? Come back to bed! The cat scratched me while I was sleeping. I told you we should get that thing declawed! I know, I know, it's just... It's like cutting off their fingertips. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. It's just a cat! I, okay, I, I'm not gonna argue right now, okay? I'm tired. Here's the ah! Ah! Wait, hold on, do that again? Oh yeah, uh, a little lower. Right here? Oh yeah, that's it. That's the spot. That's good. Okay, alright, you can kill me now. <laughs> ah, Daddy! This movie's scary! Well, Jeffy, we told you it was a scary movie. So he killed you in your dreams and then killed you in real life? Yeah, that's the point of the movie. Ah, I'm not going to sleep! It's not real, Jeffy. So I'm not going to dream about him? Well, I mean, you just watched the movie, so you might. Marvin! Well, I'm just being honest. Like, the, 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 he's not going to kill you because he's not real, but you might have a nightmare about Marvin! him. Marvin! I mean, I'm just telling the truth, baby. Marvin! I'm never going to sleep ever again! Mm. What are you doing, Jeffy? I'm trying to keep my eyes open so I don't go to sleep. At some point, you're going to have to close your eyes, Jeffy. No, I don't. You're going to have to go to sleep at some point. No, you're not. All right, Jeffy, how about this? What if I have this special little thing that will stop him from coming in your dreams? Special little thing? Yeah, look, look, come to your bed. Come, come on. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, come in the bed. But then my sheets will be all sticky. G get in the bed, Jeffy. Okay. All right, Jeffy, if you just go to sleep, Freddy won't come in your dream. Okay, well, how are we going to stop Freddy from blowing a load in my dream? He's not going to come in your dream. He's not going to go in your dreams because you ha I have this special little tool, and this tool will stop Freddy from coming, going into your dream. You won't dream about Freddy if you have this special tool. Okay. The tool's right here. It's this chapstick. So they say if you have a chapstick on your bed, then Freddy will stay dead. Okay. I'll let you know when that makes sense. So look, you can sleep and have all the dreams you want because this chapstick will stop Freddy from going into your dreams. So good night, Jeffy. Okay. Good night, Daddy. All right, my daddy said that as long as I have my chapstick, then I'll be safe. All right, time to go to sleep. <laughs> Wait a minute! I'm on the same street as that movie! That means... <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, I'm just trying to check on you. What? Jeffy? Where'd you go, Jeffy? What? Jeffy? What? How are you floating like that, Jeffy? What? Jeffy, get back in bed! Oh, Daddy! That Freddy guy came in my dream! No, he didn't, Jeffy. You were just having a nightmare. No, Daddy! He really did! He picked me up and he was shaking me! We gotta call the cops! Well, I mean, you were just being shaken in the air like you were just floating there, so... 
So he actually probably was in your dream and, and picked you up. He is real. Yeah. We, we have to call the cops. Come on, Jimmy. Baby, 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 baby. We just called the cops. What? Why? Because Freddy's in Jeffy's dream trying to kill him. What? Hey there. Somebody called the cops? Yes. Oh, I can see why. Why not just order a cheese pizza? Who orders a pepperoni pizza and then picks the pepperonis off? That should be a felony. Officer, I have a question. Is pepperoni a sausage? Hmm. Everything was a sausage to my ex-wife, especially the next door neighbor while I was at work. Did he pepperoni? <laughs> That's not funny. My wife cheated on me with my neighbor. It was heartbreaking. But I'm glad you get to make your little pepperoni joke. Anyway, what do you fine people need? You need my help eating this pizza? Huh? Huh? You need my help opening the garlic sauce? You need my help dipping the pizza in the garlic sauce? You need my help eating the garlic sauce pizza? <laughs> no, listen, have you seen the movie uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Which one? There's like nine. Well, whichever one has Freddy Krueger in it. That would be all of them, so yes. Well, listen, Freddy Krueger's in Jeffy's dream trying to kill him. Marvin, that's ridiculous. Oh, no, I believe him. Freddy is very real, and he kills people all the time. As a matter of fact, whenever we can't solve a case, we just chalk it up to Freddy. Well, well, Freddy's in Jeffy's dream trying to kill him. How do we stop Freddy? Well, I have good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is stopping him's pretty easy. I know a guy who does that all the time. What, you do? What's his name? Maybe you You've heard of Jason Voorhees? He's my cousin. What, he is? Oh yeah, he kicks Freddy's ass all the time, so that's the good news. Oh, well, then call him. Well, see, that's the bad news. The bad news is he lives on the bottom of a lake, and he only comes out on Friday the 13th, and today is Saturday the 29th. Not even fucking close. Well, well maybe you can, like, maybe he can do you a favor and come out today instead of the 13th. I mean, he lives on the bottom of a lake, so I can't really call him, but I guess I could send an email. Yeah, do whatever you have to do. Uh, hey, cuzzo. It's me. You know that thing you usually do on Friday the 13th? Uh, need you to do that on Saturday the 29th. Please, thank you very much. Okay, well let's see if he answers. everybody, he showed up! I, I know, Jason, I'm sorry. I know it's not your day. We just really need your help. Yeah, so, so, Mr. Voorhees, Jason, Mr., um, my son, Jeffy, he's been having a lot of bad dreams about this Freddy guy that's trying to kill him, and we want to know how to stop him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. So, uh, Jason says that Jeffy needs to go back to sleep, and when he dreams about Freddy, he needs to steal Freddy's hat, because Freddy hates that, and that'll bring Freddy into the real world, and then Jason can kick his ass. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right, Jeffy, let's go to sleep until you can take Freddy's hat, all right? Okay. Uh, uh, Jason also wants to know if you're going to finish that garlic sauce and the pizza, because we're hungry. You guys can have it. Yes. <laughs> all right, Jeffy, go to sleep, and when you see Freddy, you grab his hat, okay? All right, Danny. All right, I'm back on your street. Now, where is it? Yeah. Oh, I got your hat. Hey, give it back. Yeah. Oh, Daddy, I got the hat. Oh, give it to Jason, give it to Jason. <laughs> That's not fair. That's my hat. Give it back. <laughs> Do this every time. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Jeff. Hey, he did it! Yeah, he killed Freddy! Yeah, he does that, but uh, don't let him catch you on Friday the 13th. He's not gonna be so friendly. That's when he kills everybody. <laughs> So, Jeffy, I hope you learned your lesson not to watch scary movies. I sure did, Danny. So, what are we going to do for the rest of the night? Do you want to watch the sequel? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Psst. Honey? What? Are you still attracted to me? Yes, of course. It's just, we never spend time together anymore. It's just, I've, I've been really busy recently, and I'm working a lot of hours, and I'm just, I'm tired, okay? You never even hold my hand! You are my hand! Just go back to sleep. Okay! <sighs> Honey, I told you I'm not in the mood right now. Ugh, kill me! Okay! Ah! What? 
Jeffy, what happened to your eye? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You have a black eye, Jeffy. Did someone hit you, Jeffy? I can't remember. What do you mean you can't remember? I would remember if someone hit me in the eye or not. Well, I just don't know who did it. Marvin, we should call the cops. Someone assaulted Jeffy. You can't spell assault without ass. Jeffy, did someone hit you or not? I don't know. Well, we're going to call the cops and they're going to find out who did it because they'll take like DNA off your eye and, and, and check everyone's fist. Marvin, what if Jeffy's afraid to tell us because the person that hit him is threatening to hurt him more if he does? Jeffy, is someone threatening you? I don't know. If you say I don't know one more time, I'm going to hit you. Well, now someone's threatening me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, someone assaulted my son. <laughs> well, you can't spell assault without ass. Bingo. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Look, we just want to press charges on whoever did it. Okay, well, who did it? Uh, we don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? You can't press charges on somebody if you don't know who they are. Jeffy can't remember who did it, but can't you, like, scan his eye for, like, their fist print? What, fist print? What are you talking about? You can scan fingerprints, right? Yeah. So, like, can't you scan, like, the fist print and, like, go in the fist print database and find out whose fist it was? Fist print database? That doesn't exist. But there's a fingerprint database, and fists are just curled up fingers, so, like, can't you, like, get, like, a fist out of the fingerprints? What? No, no. no. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna happen. Then who, how can we find out who did it? Well, the only way we're gonna find out is if he tells us, or if the person who punched him punches somebody else and they tell us who it was like if it was like a serial puncher well can't you put out like an alert that like there's someone going around punching people i'm not gonna put out an alert for a like fist vigilante but but he's punching people and he's on the loose right now we don't even know what the guy looks like so then what are we supposed to do uh, okay I'll, I'll tell you what you figure out who it is and i'll arrest him okay all i know is i didn't do it well, I didn't ask if you did it. Oh, I know, but you're going to start asking questions about who did it, and I just want to eliminate myself as a suspect, because I did punch a kid in the face today, but it wasn't him. Well, why'd you punch a kid in the face? Oh, he had it coming, believe me, I'll tell you. So earlier today, I was patrolling in the park, right, and it was a beautiful day. So I was just walking around, minding my own business, and then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this kid runs up, and he shoves me, and he yells, Tag, you're it! And I'm like, what, what the hell? What is this, some kind of game? So I start chasing him around, and I'm putting on the burners, right, because this kid is fast. And he's running around, he's giggling, he yells, you're never going to catch me. And I'm like, oh, when I catch you, I'm going I'm to beat your ass. So then we're running around all over the park, and then he trips, and he falls in a sandbox. And I'm like, oh, I got you now, you little bastard. And then he kicks sand in my face. And I'm like, oh, you're not going to kick sand at me. So I punch him in the face, and I'm like, tag, you're it. And then he starts crying, and then his mom runs over, and she's like, you just punched my son in the face. Face. And I'm like, yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? So I throw her on the ground and I start arresting her. And then all these people run up with their phones out and they start taking videos of me. And I'm like, that's not good. So I start throwing haymakers. I start punching everybody there who has a phone. And then I take all their phones so there's no evidence of what I did. And I run away. So yeah, that's why I punched that kid today. Well, I guess if that's the only kid you punched in the Wait face. Wait a minute. I did punch another kid today. What, what you did? Why? Uh, don't worry. It wasn't your son, but you got to hear this. This one's even worse. So I run back to my house with all the phones I stole from the people at the park, right? And I throw them down on the counter and I'm like, honey, sell these phones on eBay because we're going to need the money for all the lawsuits we're about to get. So she asked me where the phones came from and I said I confiscated them from some criminals. She goes, okay, well, I made you some pizza rolls for dinner. So I start jumping up and down because I love me some pizza rolls. So I grab a handful of them and she's like, careful, honey, those are hot. And I'm like, shut up, bitch. So I start shoving those pizza rolls in my mouth, right? And then my mouth is on fire. Those pizza rolls are boiling hot. They're burning the crap out of my mouth. I I mean, they burn the roof of my mouth so bad, I got a little piece of skin that's hanging down and I keep playing with it with my tongue. It sucks. And then my, my wife, my wife has the audacity to say, I told you they were hot. So I throw the plate at her. I'm like, I know, I know what I did wrong. You don't have to tell me. I should have listened. I know, shut up. So then I'm in a bad mood, right? And then I hear the doorbell ring and I'm like, uh-oh, this must be the angry mob from the park. They want their phones back. But it's not. It's just some Girl Scouts selling Girl Scout cookies. So then I open the door and they say, do you want some Girl Scout cookies? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want some Girl Scout cookies. Shut up. Why am I even here? Take my money. So I give them a 20, right? And then you're not going to believe this. The Girl Scout says, okay, your cookies are going to be here in two to three weeks. I'm like, what, what, what the hell? What, what kind of Ponzi scheme is this? Are you even really a Girl Scout? So I punch her in the face and I take my money back. I, two to three weeks for cookies? What is this, the new iPhone of Girl Scout cookies? I'm not going to pre-order cookies. That's ridiculous. I, I could order cookies on Amazon Prime and get them faster. So I go to the store and I buy myself some Chips Ahoy and I'm happy. So I sit down on the couch and I'm like, two to three weeks for cookies, my ass, I say as I shove a cookie into my mouth in anger. And then I hurt myself because I remember I already burned my mouth on the pizza rolls. So now my mouth hurts and I hate that stupid little piece of skin that's hanging down off the roof of my mouth. Just, nah. 
Ugh, God, I hate it. Anyway, that was the second kid I punched. So you only punched two kids? Yep, just two kids. I mean, a whole bunch of adults at the park who had phones, but just two kids, and none of them were your son. So, how are we gonna find out who punched Jeffy? I don't know, just ask around, but be quick, because I might get fired by the end of the day. <sighs> Marvin, what are we gonna do? Okay, so we have to go ask everyone we know if they saw who punched Jeffy or if they punched Jeffy. So let's split up so we can ask more people. Okay, Marvin. Who you want to ask? You don't ask anyone. You sit here and you try to remember who punched you, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Cody. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts, Junior. It's a black eye. Dude, stop being a whiny little baby. Hey, boys, Jeffy has a black eye. Do you know what happened? No. I have two black eyes. Well, what about you? You have a black eye. How did you get that? Oh, you don't even want to know how I got this. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story. So us three, we were playing baseball, right? I was the batter, Joseph was the pitcher, and Cody was in the outfield. So Joseph threw a fastball. It was gorgeous. Thank you. And I crushed that hoe. I hit that baseball into outer space. Oh, yeah. We were seeing stars. It was flying. Yeah, so Cody was running after the ball going, I got it, I got it. It, but he wasn't paying attention. He didn't see the cliff that was coming up. So he runs off the cliff and he starts falling. He grabs onto the edge of the cliff and he's like, guys, help me. And I'm like, Cody, I'm on my way. I'm trying to save your life. And Cody's like, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Hurry. And I'm like, Cody, I'm almost there. So as soon as I get there, Cody lets go. And I reach out to grab him. And the only thing I can grab onto is his eyeball. So I grab his eyeball and I pull him up and I save his life. But he has a black eye because I grabbed his eye. No, Junior, that's not what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't happen like that at all, dude. You hit the baseball and then Cody went running towards the base. Baseball, but then there was an airplane trying to make an emergency landing because the president wanted to watch the baseball game. But the landing gear hit Cody in the eye. What, that would have killed me, and why would the president want to watch us play baseball? Well, Joseph, you forgot. You totally forgot what happened. No, I hit the baseball. The baseball hit the president's airplane. The plane started going down. The president jumped out and parachuted and gave us a thumbs up. Oh, then, the, then the baseball flew into the city. Godzilla appeared. <gasps> Godzilla! I totally forgot about Godzilla! Yeah, so Godzilla starts destroying the city, starts knocking over buildings, and a piece of the building fell off and hit Cody in the eye. But they didn't happen either. Dude, you forgot about the meteor that was coming for Earth. There was a meteor coming for Earth and then NASA had to shoot it down with a missile and it broke into a million pieces and one piece flew into Cody's eye. Oh yeah. No, oh. no, 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 I'll tell you what happened, okay? We were playing dodgeball and you guys didn't have a dodgeball so you decided to start throwing baseballs at my face. That's why I have a black eye. Oh, yeah. that, that we were doing that. Good time. Okay, but do you know how Jeffy got his black eye? No. <laughs> hey, Chef PB, I got a question. Oh, Marvin, it was horrible. How'd you get a black eye, Chef PB? Oh, the worst thing happened. I was trying to make a triple chocolate cake, the hugest cake. And out of nowhere, a fly came flying in my kitchen. And I couldn't let it touch the chocolate cake. It's too beautiful. So I picked up a rolling pin and tried to swat it like crazy. Swat it. Get out of here, fly. Go. And then the, the fly, the fly took the rolling pin from me. It started beating me up in my face like crazy. And then it called his fly homeboys. And, and they pulled up the box Chevy and said, wrong neighborhood, nigga. It started beating me up like crazy, even worse. Oh, no. What, what, what happened to the cake? They took the cake, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, Jeffy has a black eye, so I was wondering if you know how Jeffy has a black eye. It must have been those flies. They're ruthless, dude. I'm telling you, Marvin. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on, Chevy. I hope it's not the flies. Hello? Hey, Marvin. I'm here for your house payment. Wait, I, I, I don't have my house payment, but how'd you get that black eye? Well, let me come inside and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. So the craziest thing happened, Marvin. I was on my $300 million private jet, and you know it costs $300 million because I fly a banner off the back of it letting you know how much I paid for it. Well, on the jet, I have a map of the world, and I throw a dart at it, and wherever the dart lands, that's where the jet takes me next. So I was throwing a dart, and Chives walked right in front of it, and it hit him in the eye. I'm like, damn it, Chives, you got in my way. And then all of a sudden, a baseball crashes through the window of the airplane, and Chives gets sucked out. So I stick my head out the window and I said, Chives, get your old ass back in here or you're getting a spanking. Well, obviously he doesn't listen. So I grab my parachute and I parachute after him. And I land in some random park and I see Chives hanging out of a bush. So I walk up to him and I start giving him a spanking. I said, don't you ever run away from me again, old man. And then I pull out my phone to see where we're at and a police officer comes up and punches me in the eye. And then he steals my phone. So now I'm surrounded by all these poor people and this is the most embarrassing thing ever. Well, my son has a black eye, and I was just wondering, like, how did he get the black eye? Well, it's probably the police officer that punched me in the eye and stole my phone. Hmm. Any luck, Marvin? No, I talked to Goodman, and he said it was the police officer. But the cops said he didn't hit Jeffy. I know, but Chef Peepee said it was the flies. Flies? Well, who did you talk to? I talked to the boys, and they said it could be a meteor. <sighs> Jeffy, does any of this, like, make you remember? 
No. Oh, we're never gonna find out who hit Jeffy in the eye. Hey, any of you guys wanna buy some stolen phones? Ooh, I like the pink one. Baby, you're not gonna buy a stolen phone. I got a question for you. Uh, are you gonna ask if they have a warranty? Because no, they're stolen. And I don't know the passcodes either. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Well, no, listen, we, we asked so many people if they, if they hit Jeffy or what happened to Jeffy and no one knows. So maybe you hit him and you don't remember? Hey, look, man, I told you I didn't hit him. Well, c can you like look at him and see if you remember? Like maybe it jogged your memory? Hold on, let me take a look. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. What? what, what? Oh, you're not going to yell at me, are you? Oh, no, no. Well, what happened? Okay, I think I remember what happened. So I was walking to the store to buy cookies, right? And then I hear this roar sound, and I look over, and I see Godzilla destroying the city. And I'm like, well, that's not really my problem. And then I see Jeffy playing in the street with a baseball. And then I look up, and I see a plane falling out of the sky, and it's about to land right on top of Jeffy. So I run over, and I push Jeffy out of the way of the plane, and I save his life. And then Jeffy thanks me, and then all of a sudden, a little piece of meteor falls out of the sky and hits Jeffy right on the helmet. And I'm like, wow, it's a really good thing you're wearing that helmet. That could have been bad. And then Will Smith from Men in Black walks up, and he wants to wipe our memory so we don't remember Godzilla. So I just run away. But then he slaps Jeffy right in the face, giving him a black eye, and then wipes his memory. Yeah, I don't really know why I don't remember that. That was pretty nuts. You'd think I would have remembered that. I guess I thought it was a bad dream or something. So, Jeffy, do you remember any of that happening? No. He's not going to remember because Will Smith from Men in Black wiped his memory. Didn't you see the movie? He's got the little neuralizer thing, and it goes, pew, and it wipes your memory. You don't remember anything. Got it? Buy a stolen phone. Ah, dinosaur! Stop trying to bite my hand! You already bit my girlfriend in half! Hey, Junior, what are you doing? Playing with pipe cleaners. Why aren't they called pipe cleaners? Because you can clean your pipes with them. Here, play with a blue one. Clean pipes, you say? Well, I got a two-inch pipe it can clean. What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Notice anything different about me, bro? Did you get a tan? Nah, dude, you know I'm black. <laughs> I got my ears pierced. What, you got your ears pierced? Don't only girls get their ears pierced? No, dude, guys can get their ears pierced too. It's totally straight, nothing gay about it. Um, Junior, I think it got stuck. Well, Joseph got his ears pierced. Oh, no way, that's so cool. I want my ears pierced. Well, you have to ask your parents, dude. See me? I don't have parents, so I don't have to ask anybody. Well, who pierced your ears for you? Some homeless guy in the alley with a dirty needle. <laughs> well, I'm totally going to ask my daddy, and I know he's going to say yes. Hola, papi. Jeffy, don't call me poppy. Well, what do you want me to call you, daddy? Stop talking like that. Um, father, may I penetrate my earlobe with a very sharp device and wear it for fashionable purposes? What? Can I get my ears pierced? Oh, no, Jeffy, you can't get your ears pierced. Marvin, he's 17 years old. Exactly, he's 17. When he's 18, he can do whatever he wants, but since he's 17, he has to listen to me. You never let me do what I want. What's this poking out of your shorts? Don't touch it. <laughs> Son of a biscuit eating bitch! What, Jeffy, well, where was this at? It was in my wiener! Why was it there? Because it's a pipe cleaner, Daddy, and it was cleaning my pipe. And now it's as clean as a whistle. And the hose blow it like one, too. Like, yee, 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 yee. What, Jeffy, just go. Go get my ears pierced, or. Oh, no, no, you cannot get your ears pierced. Leave! I hate you! Mm. What'd your dad say, Jeffy? He said. No! How do you have time to make that? Why'd your dad say no? Cause someone pissed in his Fruit Loops. Oh, I hate when that happens, dude. Oh, somebody did that to me yesterday. I mean, I still ate it, but gross, right? So what are you gonna do now that you can't get your ears pierced? Well, I'm still gonna get my ears pierced. But your dad said no. Yeah, but if you take away the N, it leaves O, which means, oh yeah, do it. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, so let's pierce my ears. Oh, get the piercing gun. All right, got the piercing gun, dude. All right, Jeffy, what ear do you want to get pierced? Well, which ear means I like big sausage in my pooper? I think the right. All right, well, then strong left. Is it going to hurt? Well, any sausage in your pooper is going to hurt, Junior. No, I meant the piercing. No, dude, it'll hurt for like 10 seconds. That's it. Now, the blood infection from the dirty needle, that'll hurt. All, All right, right, let's send it. All right, dude. Here we go. Ah! I'm just kidding. It just felt like a pinch. Oh, whoa, whoa, what earring are you going to put in your ear? Oh, I got my mommy's jewelry box, so I'm going to go get an earring on that. All right, guys, check out my earring. Oh, my God, it looks so cool. You want to get the other ear pierced? No, I don't really like big sausage in my pooper. Hey, Joseph, you got your right ear pierced. It's totally straight, dude. A lot of rappers have both their ears pierced, and they're not gay. At least not that I know of. So what do you guys want to do now? How about we play tag? Tag your it. Ah! Uh, tag your it. Tag your it. Ah! Oh! Get back here, Jimmy. Oh! 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 Jeffy, your ear got ripped off! I know, Junior! It hurts so bad! Wait, what's going on, dude? Jeffy's ear ripped off! Ah! We have to call a doctor!
doctor. No, Junior, we can't call a doctor because my daddy told me not to pierce my ear. And if he finds out that I pierced my ear and I ripped it off, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, okay, Lou, well, let's try to put your ear back on. Come on, let's go to the red couch. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, we're going to put your ear back on. How, Junior, how? We need something sticky. Ooh, I got some chewing gum. It's pretty sticky. Ooh, put, put your gum on the ear. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, try to put your ear back on. Okay. Oh, no. It's not working, Junior. What do we do? Uh, we need something stickier, like tape. Oh, I'll get the tape. <clears throat> One more piece and done. All right, I just put tape on your ear. Now try it. All right, Junior. I hope this works. <clears throat> How does it look? It looks so good. Oh, no. Uh, it's not working, Junior. Okay, we got to think of something else. We really need an adult's help. How about we ask Chef Pee, -Pee? No, what if he tells my daddy? No, I trust Chef Pee, Pee. He's really responsible. Yeah, he's not a snitch. Yeah, let's go ask Chef Pee, -Pee okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm almost done with Junior's dad's soup. He's been bothering me all day about it. Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi. What do you want, Junior? I'm making your dad's soup. Well, Jeffy's ear came off. Ah! Hey, he made me drop his ear in the soup. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Chef Bibi, my soup better be ready. Oh, no, I gotta get the ear out. Man, oh, man, am I hungry. <gasps> Junior, what are you doing? You know the man of the house has to eat first. Give me that spoon. But, but, Dad, but, Dad. I, I, uh, uh, give me that spoon. I gotta eat first. But uh, I don't think you should eat that. I'm starving. Oh, wait, are you calling me fat? Everybody wants a 10. They're beautiful and pretty, but they're boring. They don't know how to cook. Ew, yuck, puh. Get you a two. Yeah, they're ugly, but they'll do anything for you. Yeah, I'm talking about anything. <laughs> so get you a two and not a 10. But dad, I don't want you eating this. Look, I have to eat this, Junior. I have to eat this so I don't become a 10. <laughs> no, dad, there's a ear in there. No, dad, no, please, I'm dead, dad. Oh, delicious. <laughs> he just ate Jeffy's ear. Oh no. Did he eat the ear? Yeah. Did he like it? Uh, yeah. It's the secret ingredient. I gotta chop some ears off. Junior, your dad ate my ear? I tried to stop him. Well, what are we gonna do now? Um, ooh, I got an idea. Come on, come on, come on. So what's the plan, dude? I just called Mr. Potato Head and told him to come over, so when he gets here, we're gonna jump him and take one of his ears so we can give it to Jeffy. Okay, okay, I like this plan. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. P Head, here to party. So what are we gonna do? Oh, nothing. Just turn you into mashed potatoes, bitch. Chop it, chop it, I got the ear. How's your look? It doesn't look too bad. Looks like our job here is done. I'm going home and taking Mr. P with me. Well, why are you taking him? Uh, because he doesn't have ten holes for no reason, dude. <laughs> well, look, your your face actually looks pretty good with the ear. Like you couldn't even tell. Like look over here. Really, Junior? Oh yeah, you can't even tell that's a fake ear. Hey Marvin, have you seen my other hoop earring? You know the one that I wear all the time, and it looks just like this. Wait, you're missing an earring? Yeah. And didn't Jeffy want his ears pierced? Yeah. Jeffy! I think your dad's calling you. Oh, I'm coming, Daddy. Jeffy, get in here. You summoned me, Father? Have you seen your mom's missing earring? Is it a big gold hoop? Yes. So it looks like that one? Yes. I haven't seen it. What? Yes, you have, Jeffy. No, I haven't. You know what I think? Oh, I think you pierced your ear and you wanted to put an earring in it, so you took one of your mom's earrings. Bingo. So I'm right? No, I was singing Bingo was his name-o and Bingo was his name-o. Jeffy, can I please have my earring back? I'll have it. Yes, you do, Jeffy, and you're grounded until you give it back. I'm sorry, could you say that again in my bad ear? Why well, you have a Mr. Potato Head ear on your head? I don't have a Mr. Potato Head ear on my head. Yeah, remove it, Jeffy. Ow! Oh, hey, hey, no hitting. Ow, hey! I said no hitting. <laughs> Jeffy, you're missing your ear. Yeah, because someone ate it. What? No one ate your ear, Jeffy. Danny, I know how this sounds. And for the first time in my life, I'm not lying. Someone ate my ear. Then who ate it? I don't know his name, but it was some bald guy wearing money slippers. That's a lie, Jeffy. Marvin, what if he's telling the truth? There's no way Jeffy's telling the truth. If Jeffy's telling the truth, I'll write, I like big fat wiener on my forehead. Is anyone missing an ear? I just threw it up. I must have accidentally ate it. Big fat wiener. That's what you said you'd write. Uh, can we get the ear, please? Here. Oh, uh, well, let's call a doctor so we can get your ear put back on. Not until you write it. Big fat wiener. Uh, I will write it, but I think we should call a doctor to get your ear put back on. Marvin, you said you'd write it. And I am going to write it, but I think we should we should worry about his ear. Stop that. I will write it, I will write it later, okay? We got to call a doctor. I'm going to hold you to it. 
Hey there, did somebody call a doctor? Wait, what happened to the other guy? Oh, you mean Brooklyn guy? Oh, he's sick, but luckily he keeps his door locked, so I can just go in there and steal his outfits. <laughs> so, what's your problem? What, she need a mammogram? I bet I could squeeze her in. Oh, no, she does not need that. Oh, oh, oh she needs a pap smear. I'm real good at smearing pap. No, are you good at surgery? Yeah, well, I mean, I've been inside a few hot babes in my day. Oh, no, no, are you good at surgery? Well, I don't know if you'd call it surgery, but I have rearranged a girl's guts before. No, my son is missing his ear. I'm the doctor here. Let me take a look. Hmm. Your son is missing his ear? Yeah, we're wondering if you could do surgery and reattach it. Oh, well, which one is his real ear, though? It, it, it's this one right here. Okay, well, I guess I can help your son with his ear. If your wife helps me with my ear. Rexion. What? what? But, look, can you just please put his ear back on his head? Well, I guess. Let's go into surgery. Marvin, how do you think the surgery's going? Well, the surgery was a suck, sis. Danny, it looks like I got a big fat ball sack on my face. Well, you put his ear on sideways. Hey, no refunds! And now that I've held up mine in the bargain, it's time for your wife to hold up hers. Will she be able to dethrone the smoke goat from the bowling alley? We'll find out. But if I have to take you home afterwards, I'm gonna need some gas money. Or else I'm not doing it. Alright, you need to get out of here. So, Jeffy, can you hear? What? Oh no, he can't hear out of his ear. Oh no, I can hear, I just wasn't paying attention. <sighs> well, at least you have your ear back and everything can go back to normal. All right, daddy, time to ride it. Write what? I like big fat wiener right on your forehead. Time uh, to ride it. I, I don't have to ride it because you got your ear back. No, you have to ride it. You said you'd ride it. Marvin, it was a deal. <sighs> Hell yeah. How long do I have to keep it on my head? Forever, and if it ever washes off, you gotta ride it again because that's how wrong you were. <sighs> Charlie and Friends, it's my favorite show ever! Ugh. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm going swimming. But there's one little problem. I can't swim! Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Charlie, why would you go swimming knowing you don't know how to swim? You're such a silly Billy, you silly goose. <laughs> hey, all you Charlie and Friends fans out there. Have you ever wanted to meet the one and only Charlie from Charlie and Friends? Well, now you can. Meet and greet tickets are now on sale to meet Charlie. <gasps> I can meet Charlie? Ah, I gotta get tickets! Ah, oh my God. Ah. Man, oh man, the pizza rolls are almost ready. Chef ah, baby, chef baby, chef baby! <laughs> Why would you do that? You ripped off my arm! Bro, you get it back when I meet Charlie! He's having a meet and greet and you need to buy me tickets right now! <laughs> I hate you, Braxton! I can't believe he ripped my arm off. Oh, let me buy these stupid meet and greet tickets so I can get my arm back. Wait, what? It's sold out? No way. I need to get those meet and greet tickets so I can get my arm back. Oh, I'll never get my arm back. Hey, all you Charlie and Friends fans out there. Are you upset that all the meet and greet tickets are sold out? Well, we're holding a hand clapping competition. Whoever can clap their hands the fastest wins a free meet and greet ticket. Are you serious? A hand clapping competition? How am I supposed to win the competition with one hand? Hey, Chef Baby, what are you doing? Don't talk to me right now, Junior. I need to figure out how to win this hand clapping competition with one hand. Why do you have one hand? Because your dad ripped off my other arm. Oh, well, I can enter the competition for you. Look, I can clap. It's too slow, Junior. You need to clap faster like this. Yeah. Well, whoa, your hand's super fast. That's what all the ladies tell me. <laughs> well, what if I hid in your coat, and I came over here, and I helped you clap with this hand? You know what, Junior? That's so crazy. It might work. Come on. Hello, and welcome to the first annual clapping competition. Whoever can clap their hands the most in 10 seconds wins tickets to meet Charlie. You're going down, nerds. Come on, Chef Baby, let's practice. Okay. <laughs> now hold your horses. Two people can't clap for one. That's cheating. But I only have one hand. All right, let's make it fair. Damn. 
Sorry, Chef Pee Pee. What? Come on, Junior! Three, two, one, go! God, you know what? I'm out of here! Forget and we it. have a winner! That's right! Dang it! Now I'll never get a ticket or my arm back! I'm sorry, Chef Pee Pee. I tried to help. Uh, hello? I, I heard voices and I was wondering if someone could help me. Who are you? Oh, my name's Floyd. <laughs> I'm blind. I was wondering if someone could help me find this Charlie and Friends meet and greet. See, I have this ticket, but... I kind of can't find it because I'm blind. Oh, I can find it. I can help you, sir. Oh, Chef Pee Pee, don't you dare. Junior, I need this ticket. I gotta get my arm back. So scram, brat, right now. Uh, let me see that ticket. Let me make sure it's real, sir. Oh, yeah, of course. You know it's been a lot of scams lately. <laughs> oh, definitely. So is it real? Hello? So, is it real? Hello? Hello? Here, I got you your Charlie and Friends meeting greet ticket. Now give me my arm back. <gasps> you actually got it? Oh my god, Charlie, here I come! Wait, where's my arm? Oh man, oh man, I can't wait to see Charlie! <gasps> oh, I'm first in line! No, I'm first in line. Oh, well, second's better. Who's ready to meet Charlie? <laughs> He'll be out in five minutes! Oh man, I'm his biggest fan! No, I'm his biggest fan! No, I'm his biggest fan! I'm, I'm his biggest fan! Hey, 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 break up! You, you, come, come, come. Right. I didn't you guys do are, anything! All right, guys, get out there. You're banned from meeting Charlie. What? No, seriously, you I can't do anything! I didn't even do anything! It was him! No, he told me! You know what you told me, dude! You did it! It's not me! No, no, I don't want to hear it. You guys can't go back in there. I gotta meet Charlie! I gotta meet Charlie, not him! I'm his biggest fan! I'm the biggest fan, don't you start it again! Yeah, guys, it's not you gonna happen! Know. Oh man, you don't even know this what? tree! Oh, the tree's gonna get it! I'm not even dealing with this anymore! See what you made him do! Oh. I don't care how many temper tantrums that grown man throws, he's not getting oh, back Oh, my mom said that to me one time, guess what? I, what? I, what? I'm telling you, I'm- See, he's hurting trees! Oh, that's too bad, guys, you're not getting back in there! What? Oh, come on! This is so- I'm gonna find a way back in! <laughs> I'm gonna sneak in using this disguise! I'm gonna sneak in wearing this disguise. Wait, you stole my idea! No, you stole my idea. You look stupid anyway. Now shut up. We're gonna get in and see Charlie. Well, well let's work together then. Then let's work together. Now shut up. Lead the way. God, God nerd. Who's the next fan? Me, 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 me. Hi, guys. Me. I'm Charlie. Oh, yeah! Oh, man, I can't believe we snuck in. Shut up. You're gonna get us caught. No, you're gonna get us caught. You're gonna get us caught. No, you're gonna get us caught. Shut up, you're gonna get us caught! Is there a problem here? Uh, no, sir. No, no officer, not me. Well, wait a minute. You two look kind of familiar. Uh, <laughs> nah. That's probably because you kicked us out earlier, but I didn't say that. Hold on, what? <gasps> I kicked you guys out earlier! Ah! Wait, get back here! Uh, next fan. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh man. Uh, uh, security! Got you, you big bastard. Oh. You're next. Security. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you two are going to jail for assaulting Charlie. Assaulting Charlie? I didn't assault Charlie. I was giving him a big bear hug because I love him. I'm his biggest fan. No, you're not. I'm his biggest Don't fan. You start that hey, 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 break it up. See, this is why you're in here. You can't control your anger. Oh, I won't make it in here. You don't get it. I need my Peppa Pig to sleep at night. Uh, okay, okay, but look, you're going to have to stay in here for at least 30 days. 30 days? You know how many 30, 30 days is? 30 days? It's, it's at least... It's more than ten! Uh-huh, I'm just I, gonna let you count that out. You, you don't get it. Come on, bro, snap out of it! We need to find a way to break out of here so we can meet Charlie. You're right. I'm a man. Mm -hmm. I ain't no whip. Let's go, we're getting out of here. Guard! Has it been 30 days yet? It's been about 30 seconds. 30 seconds? I just came oh. to tell you, you still have your one phone call. One phone call? I can't get in here! Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Hey, hey, look who it is! Oh, oh, oh! The sooner we break out of this jail is the sooner we see Charlie and Peppa Pig. You're right. For Peppa. And Charlie. Him too. We need a plan. Like what? You know what? I still have my phone call. And when that guard comes over, I'm going to punch him in his face. Ow! You didn't have to demonstrate on me. Sorry, I just get excited. Hey, guard. Hey. I'm ready for my phone call. Okay, come on. Okay, here's the phone. Wait, are you going to hit me? I don't know my mom's number. I don't know what to tell you, man. What are you doing? You're supposed to punch him! M mom, I I'm arrested again and the mean man put me in that cuffs. I don't think I'm that mean. Come on, punch him already! Do you promise? 
<laughs> love you, mom. Mom said that if I'm a babe and do my time, she'll buy me the Peppa Pig. Mom said. Okay, okay, buddy. Let's go back to your cell. <laughs> what are you doing? You were supposed to punch him. Oh, yeah. Hey, guard. What? Ow, what the hell?